All right, when last we were doing, uh, I had beaten the third gem, so I have three gym badges, uh, two Titan badges, and one Team Star badge. So I think Team Star is what we're going to be going for next here. However, they were really hard, Team Star. Also, I did not have the proper Pokemon to deal with, uh, with it, so it took a long time to play. It's also raining out here, so let me see what we got. What is the next closest? I can go to this guy over in the uh, over in the east or the the west here. I wish I could. I wish when you zoom in, it zooms in on where you're actually looking. But it does your cash. Five hundred bits from uh, Reese Cav. Five hundred bits with the nickname Shrimp with reverb. So you want the name? Hold on. Uh... It's a good nickname. Uh... I wouldn't mind trying to take this guy on, but this area looks very... Oh no, there's a, there's a direct path there! Looks like he's the dark type, so I'm gonna need uh, some fighting types to go in on this one. Fighting bug, and uh, who else? What else is getting its dark? Fighting bug and fairy. So let me go ahead and go into my boxes. Uh, I've got two psychics. Uh, yeah, we're we're not in a very good position here with the Pokemon that we're using right now. I do want to keep some of these other ones in for the sake of, uh, evolution. We did get ribeye the, the twin pepperhead. Is Swoos a fairy? No, Swoos is normal. Uh, let's go with Grigba Flank. Replace... Since I know I'm going to be carrying Morton and Flea for a long time, I'll replace them with who I want to put in here. So we got Grigba Flank. Um, Edward might be a good idea, even though he's a little underleveled. And then I got to get rid of Nick. I should probably do something about Nickname as well. Oh yeah, and Doc's Bun would be a good one. Uh, Damon. I'll write Nickname for that one. All right, so we got one of each of the types that are good that are good against Dark. Tauros? I listen. I really like the flamingo, so we're t we're keeping the flamingo. Fan P. We haven't caught a fan P yet, I don't think. Only shooting stars. Pluck. I think we tried to catch one once, and it ended up failing. Oh wait, the Pokeball next to it means that we caught one, right? Well, experience then. Sha! Oh, it's not a shark. I, I learned that last time. It's a different type of fish. It just kind of looks like a shark. Yeah, the funny thing about some of like the, the stuff when it's like when you get like the the pieces or when you get like the materials from the Pokemon Let me Just check to make sure I'm going the right way here. Yeah, I just don't take the fork in the road Keep going up that way, and I'll make it here and here. All right Enjoy picnicking. Enjoy- Oh god! I was trying to get that item and I ran into the- You know- God damn it. When we got that one person- uh, that one trade for our Tad Bulb that was like, has the fattest ass of any, uh, of any, uh, Pokemon ever. Let's try to pick up the item. His face looks like Grimace, so it makes me think of that one picture of Grimace where he's like leaning over. 
want my chicken nuggies? Oh, I already beat him. It's hard to tell with some of these trainers. Hey, you want my McNuggies? Very interesting, like, mix of, uh, of, um, what do you call it? Musical styles in this song, or in, in this area. Because cause this area feels very, like, Celtic Highlands. But the battle theme, uh, sounds- Ooh, a Char Cadet! Come here. I found a Timid Mint! It's level 30! I don't think this will kill it. It killed it. Why wouldn't it kill it? It's raining! God damn it! We'll find another one. It's the second Char Cadet I've killed. I am the murderer of all Char Cadet. I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center over here. I wanna see how true this is, because apparently... Oh, yep. All right, well, actually, it's not... Will we slide down this? No, that's a hill. Okay, hang on. I want to try to find one of those cliffs that you slide down when you, when you end up on them. Is this one? There's a few cliffs where if you land on them, you'll slide down them. There we go. There we go. Yep. So you can stay on there indefinitely if you jump backwards. So theoretically, I could get on top of- well, actually, I probably couldn't get on top of this thing, but... I saw this little tidbit on Twitter. There we go, made it up. I know I'm of the minority here, but man, I I love I love glitches in my uh in in my games. Game interact with the locals wherever uh you go is one of the best parts of traveling. Backpacker Mateo. Last last backpacker we fought was blonde moist critical. Now it's just moist critical. El Rookie with the 56 months of tier 1, thank you very much for that. Baby doll eyes. When he wins in a battle, he goes, Whoa! Must learn the move faint. No, thank you. There was a tutorial for remembering moves, and I completely skipped it. Wow, you're quite the character. Okay, that's like an underpass. Of the urchin variety. I feel like the backpacker's too young to be, uh, to be Plungo's dad. Your cash! I have a Mr. Loremaster saying, Hey Tom, managed to get three shiny so far. How about a name for a Pokemon as Tiny Tim? Well, we don't have a Drift Loon, so let's see what we get there. Hmm. Sensi, by the way, I sent you, um, I sent you something on, on Discord. I, I know you don't check it much, so I was wondering if there was a better, um, uh, place to do correspondence. Could be Plungo's sibling. We're gonna sketch this, it's just been a weird few days. Okay. Sorry, don't wanna don't wanna press you.
Yeah, I love, like, the, the mixture of music in this is great. Because again, the hills feel like very like the, the these hills feel very like Celtic with their with their theming and their music, whereas the battles feel very like country, like uh like or or would it be western, country western? Drifloon, the balloon Pokemon. With the depleting helium deposits in the world, Drifloon are floating lower and lower to the ground. Soon they will be on the ground permanently. There we go. We need a Drifloon with legs. Give us your cash. Uh, we'll add this one in before we get there. Uh, Andrew Pappas with the 500 bits saying, for a nickname, I suggest Mr. Schmoop. Then we come Dragaloon. With the umlaut. Ah. Mr. Uh, hang on. S H M U P. I'll put umlaut in, in parentheses. And that was from... Andrew Pappas. There we go. Alright, and our nickname is gonna be... Uh... This is Hungar! From Gred Gredmanson. And, um... Uh, this Drifloon ha loon has an aggressive lisp and is also just very aggressive. That was from Satsy the Matted. Uh, that is going to be on 11 and 24. Send a box. Hungar Am. I feel like a late game raising my Pokemon is gonna come down to me just doing a ton of the uh, the raids. It was carrying a coin. It was carrying a coin. It was. Trying to find a way to Pokemon carrying a coin. Find a way to Pokemon. Yasmin the student. Hey, Yersa! The way? That's interesting. I wonder if they. I wonder if one of the things. Uh, there are 300 bits from Madwood saying trying to form its own cult. Oh boy. Fiore swipes. So, one thing I'm kind of noticing here, between the NPCs having different hairstyles, but still having like the uh, the school uniform, it makes me think that it's possible that they were going to have this be a game where you could choose what like age your protagonist was. Even if even if they weren't doing that, that still seems like it'd be a cool uh, a cool like function. Considering the academy seems to be home to all types, no matter what their age is. Tink a tink. Hammer, 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 baby, 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 baby. Forging two. They didn't want to program to my office. Well, either way, the stu like the student, the way the students are like are shaped around here, uh, there's like a wide variety of them. But even with the wide variety, uh, there's also um, Trezor, but I can't find it. Just stare into the tall grass. There's still a, a variety of other trainer types around here too. Is what I'm saying. I mean, let's be honest here, this is the buggiest Pokemon release since Gen 1, so... So it's possible they cut corners in that, in that regard. 
in what regard? What a lovely prize. Let's battle. Nuria the student. Parse the sparse. The one thing that, that kind of goes in terms of like the patterns with these Pokemon games though, is that it comes out, Bingo! people complain, they keep they uh, they play it anyway, they play it for years, another Pokemon game comes out, and then they reminisce about the previous generation. So it's like, man, because because remember when when Gen Eight was was revealed and launched, and now people are looking back at it fondly. That's not to say I don't want the performance issues fixed. But it's just funny how like how this game is gonna be looked back on fondly, like uh, like even like warts and all, you know. Oh yeah, everyone hated Gen Five when it launched because uh, because it was all new Pokemon. It's like, oh, my favorites are gonna be able to be in here. And then like, um, and then, uh, Black and White 2, everyone ripped into that because it wasn't on the 3DS. Oh, Phalanx! It's just no good. Huh? <sighs> just no good, no good at all! You're a Ranger? The Courier. I'm glad we have so many elephant Pokemon in this game. Wait, this is steel type. I never tried this out myself. Does also is is Chansey in, in Sword and Shield? I think it was after the DLC that it was that was put into it, yeah? Isle of Armor, okay. Would a Full Dynamax level, level 100, uh, 100 chance you have over 1,000 HP or would it cap at 999? See, I told you! No good as a courier, but I always skip out on, uh, on work to battle. That's bad, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty bad. It does get over 1,000 HP, okay. Ooh, PP up. Getting them Gimmagool coins. I'm gonna do that raid. So here... Ah. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? Can't talk to you when you're up there. I just have to come back for that particular one. I think there was a TM somewhere as well that I that I missed because I was too focused on the Gimmagool. Na, 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 na. 
gotta be so many like arguments with some of this stuff where it's like some of them where it's like uh, pe people are like getting angry at objects being uh pokemon i remember i remember that that was that was something that uh because people were angry about um people were angry angry about uh about um chandelure which was which is the coolest concept for a ghost pokemon <laughs> Oh yeah, people hated Trubbish. I remember there being so many complaints about Chandelure. Not as much as, as probably Trubbish or Vanilla, uh, or Vanilla, or Vanillish rather, Vanillox, whatever the hell you want to go by with it. A three-star Cub Chew, normal type. Uh, have I caught anything that's a uh, higher level that could do some good fighting type damage? All right, you're on Edward First three star I've done I like clink and clink clang and all those clink clang and clink clang. I like those. Double kick. That ain't good. Ooh. Why aren't they attacking? No escape is a new one. It started to snow. All right, does this heal status as well? Just HP. It's perfective. Oh, this is going bad. I'm gonna call for some going all out here. All right, we're catching back up with the time. Is this just drowsy? Like, am I able to still possibly attack? No, it's sleep. Super effective again, and there goes my boost. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should have gone with Tauros. Ooh, it gets worse every time you die, huh? There's anything wrong with a Lechonk Evo. Yeah, I'll run. Not every Pokemon is going to be universally liked, just like how not every animal is going to be universally liked.
Uh, Alright, let's try this again. Oh. Hey, Cory. <laughs> surprise, surprise, Yellow, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was more or less waiting for you to finally pick up. Bam, 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 boop, boop, bam, 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 boop, boop. Ah, uh, man. I guess I'll, I guess I'll, I'll send Flea in there, I guess, to man, fight this thing. Man, the whole thing with Twitter, it's just like, man, do we really want to go back to Skype? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, unless Discord goes down, I think we got to worry about that. Yeah, true. Although there is the thing called Matsyodon, but I've been hearing some mixed things about that. I mean, like, there's also a ton of these things where it's like, you got like your your Facebook gamings, or I'm sorry, like 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 Google Google's got a thing now. Like they got rid of it and then they brought it back. Uh, Wait, Google Plus? No, Google uh, for for um, for a Skype like thing. Hangout. Yeah, because I I feel I think they said they were gonna get rid of it, and then they were they were like, oh no, you know what? Never mind. That was just a joke on our part. Ha 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 ha. Fingers crossed behind the back. With the scissors at hand as well too. Google Meet. There we go. Never heard of that. <laughs> I'm just gonna use since we got I'm gonna use two uh like. Everybody's like first turn for cheering should just be like like two people do defense, two people do attack. Uh, Kyra's asking if she wants to hop in. Oh yeah, the call. go for it. Man, I was. I, po I Kyrie, I posted in the uh, the mod chat about that, uh, saying that like anybody wants to come and uh, any mods who want to come and can join. Man, I was thinking you're gonna do the Simpson bit, then. <laughs> well, that goes that plan. <laughs> I've been saving for that plan for months. In fact, I was actually saving that for the next time you were going to do like a call code for Sky Factory. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, what Simpsons bit? Bart, I don't mean to alarm you, but there might be a boogeyman or boogeyman, boogeyman, in, boogeyman the house. in the house. <laughs> I like the, uh, my, I love the, uh, the, the version of that where, where it's just classical gas! And like, instead of Bart screaming, it's, it's classical gas. <laughs> Man, I haven't seen like a whole lot of the uh, old, older sets and stuff. At some point, I should probably do that, but then again, I'm too busy with a whole bunch of other things I need to get binge up on. <laughs> like, for I instance, believe I put it. In, I think I put it in mod chat. You yeah. Did. No, I put it in behind the scenes by mistake. Whoops. Because <laughs> the only people who responded to that uh was me. And Deef as well. Well, no, the only people who responded to the uh, the the ad incentive thing were were mods. Oh, oh, oh. So I thought it was the mod chat. Whoops. <laughs> hey, Bart, you want to see my new chainsaw and hockey mask? Ah! Smug goth powers go. Yeah, I can't wait to play this game on Tuesday because oh yeah, perfect. Hell yeah. Eat. How old you turning? Thirty. Nice. Welcome to the club. Ow. Yeah, it's not it's not I, as bad as you think not like really nothing changes yeah pretty much I, I mean, I, yeah I'm exaggerating a bit on that one I'm gonna mute so I can do pokedex so I can get clean audio for it mm-hmm which I should be getting one right here which I should also probably roll a name for the cub chew yeah, Bryn, yeah be, Bryn, uh, uh, this, okay whatever. this cub chew's name is Bryn and he and they believe in UFOs Oh, Bryn lives! Yep, Bryn lives. One sh moment, I'll be right back. Cub Chew, the chill Pokemon! The snot coming out of its nose is actually not snot, but something delicious. Eat it. I dare you. I picked up the wrong controller. There we go. And the worst part of all this is that I don't get to hear the effect, and that means I have to guess what, what you're trying to say because I don't want the uh, feedback. You, 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 have to guess, like, you, you have to guess based on the on the chat reaction. Everyone yeah. going, ew! Oh, that or oh, that makes sense. Yeah, speaking of speaking of what's last night, <laughs> our reaction to uh, Fitizen's nickname was an interesting choice. 
<laughs> I, I don't know uh, much about Final Fantasy XIV, so I have no idea uh, what uh, what that mean, what it's all to about. Be, and to be fair, this Can't is trust, mostly Pelican concerning the comic book character that is Friend from like, in Shadowbringers, and that's all I can say about the matter is ah. just Shadowbringers. Got 1,100 so, bits from uh, from the Ketchup Kid saying, going to get my nickname of choice and two personality traits that are on there. Bring back a Tom Classic with the name I, uh. Personality I've got has an insatiable lust for pancakes and has a weird association with the number 32. Thank you, the Ketchup Kid. I mean, I could have made, I could have gone with a different choice for that, but it still worked out perfectly, and I wanted to do proper fan art of that. Cho choice, wait, for what? Oh, the, uh, the, for the, for the, the, the shark, the fish that I have. I, th no, I thought no, you were. I thought no, you were talking. Not for the, not for the fish. Uh, for the, for the dolphin. Uh, Finison. At oh, least for that, the, oh, that's uh, where, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's where, that's what the nickname went. That's right. I thought you yeah. were talking about the person who just donated now. No. <laughs> what Because I was like, that's that's strangely judgmental of you, Corey. <laughs> so, so, sorry, catch catch. <laughs> I didn't. I did not mean to ten. Is, also, uh, I, you, you were just continuing the conversation that we had. We're having before. You weren't. You yeah, weren't. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I'll get that feeling for you. What nick I can't remember what nickname it was. Let me check the the list. I, uh, Emmett uh, Emmett Selk, uh -huh. and the and the personality trait. Those Finn is in. Um, their personality trait. The trait is that they're secretly a melon and hopes nobody knows. <laughs> uh, does that does that fit with that character? Uh, I, to an extent, a bit. But again, I don't want to go into details because it goes into spoilers. And Shadowbringers is very much a spoiler trip. It's wow. very much a Shadowbringers? I can't believe... Yes. I can't believe that, uh, that, that, uh, a character in Shadowbringers is, is, is actually a melon. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. It could be the grapes. The grapes? <laughs> you know, you have, uh, have you not seen the grapes from, uh, for, from Endwalker? I don't play Final Fantasy XIV. No, 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 oh, no, 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 wait, wait, the low poly, wait, low poly grapes? Yeah, yes. the low poly grapes. They, I, they, they, I love how they fixed those grapes and then everyone was like, what the fuck? I know. <laughs> yeah, we're too busy to be, yeah, we're too busy maybe on the whole entire her image and then they decided to fix it. Which is also another thing as well too, they also changed up one particular voice line as well too and they, it's basically another nerf. It ruins the meme. Mm -hmm. I like I hate the, it. My, one of my, uh, one of my favorite things that came out of that was art about uh, art of that, where it was um, grape juice made from those grapes, but the but the oh, bottle yeah. was also really low poly. I seen that as well, dude. That's so good. Seriously, lots of Pokemon material. They also took my like, smooth rock. Uh, is that uh, the Heaven's Word one? I I think that's yeah, low poly yeah, grape I, juice. Yeah, I think that's the. One key from a M4 that uh, is smooth rock. I guess I guess them trying to fix something that something that was an error in the game that had become a meme is better than them like em, like cringe cringily embracing the meme and trying to like mark it off of it. Mm -hmm. Which is where, be where they where they could have been like, hey guys, low poly grapes, am I right? Uh Yeah, yeah. I, At think, the it least, got, I think it got referenced in something. At least I just don't remember. They did that. Uh, they did that for the new stickers that line stickers. Uh, oh yeah, and not only line stick. Yeah, it was the uh, Japanese line stickers. Yeah, they actually put those in. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I, that, that, I think that's harmless though, because it's not yeah. like it's not like they're being like, hey, low poly grape stickers, low poly grape stickers, low poly grape stickers. Yeah, that's also kind of like going into the mindset of like with certain like certain dev teams as well too. Like at least here in the West, certain people will take. Take that meme and just be like very much wink wink nudge nudge about that kind of thing. But then we have like your cash. Certain, and then we have like other groups of people that will take the meme and just roll with it and and try to keep it as casual as possible while also maybe try to fix things that I don't like so too. You're still adding the uh, the personality traits as well, right, Corey? Oh right, yeah, yeah, right. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, because there was the there was the insatiable lust for pancakes as we're associated with number thirty-two. Ah. And Nate with the five hundred bits saying, "Hello, Tom. I'd like to submit the nickname uh, Fatalis after the coolest monster in Monster Hunter. Also, are you enjoying the game? Hell yes, I love this game." Three hundred bits for Trisman saying, "Based on reaction to the order of things, uh, uh, oh, wait, based on the reaction to the order I did things, uh, has the patience of a deity for a personality trait." Okay. Let me just do the personalities first. Since I'm yep, on yep. That column. Uh, 
sense. That one was from Trisbin. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I've been wa I've been wandering aimlessly for too long. I'm gonna go to that Pokemon Center and then I'm gonna go take down some guy. I think it's I think he's the dark guy from uh from the the, the Team Star. We gotta go after that that Team Star. Yeah. Hello there, fellow kids. It is I, Clive. Uh, forgot. Forgot my mic is muted again. We get a. Can we put up a a poll asking uh, what's what's cringier, uh, fellow kids, Clive or Tom Tom's uwu voice? <laughs> oh yeah, it's speaking of it's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm sick. Especially it's funny. Kind of the, yeah, speaking of fixing up uh, memeable things to improve, improve the quality of things, man, we're gonna be, be missing out on a lot of these glitches. Ooh. Once, once they finally get about the patch in this game. Found a new hold item. An item to be held by a clear amulet. It, it, oh, wow, it basically gives a clear body in the form of a, uh, in the form of a, a hold item. Ooh. Uh, yeah, there we go. This yeah, clear sparkling cool. amulet protects the holder from having its stats uh, lowered by moves used against it by other Pokemon's abilities. Did that just make Shell Smash incredibly broken? Maybe? No, other Pokemon's ability. So using your own moves uh, will still have those negative effects on you. Oh. I You have to... Yeah, one thing I gotta remember with this, one thing I learned very much uh, with Yu-Gi-Oh! is like, how things are worded. Syntax and all that jazz. Cause, yeah. <laughs> man alive! I don't think I healed my Pokemon. Did I? I did, okay. Man, that's a weird turn. I'm guessing you're not gonna be hosting a room yet. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Oh, I can't, I can't join because I don't have the game yet. I'll pop it in. The... We, we might, uh, depending on if any more people uh, from from the mod squad uh, uh, join, we might have to disband and remake the group. That's fine. Oop, I, I almost forgot to connect to the internet. Really, the most scary thing about the your uh, about the cover screen that you use is made with the common sense. It's not. It's not Artvark Matt Damon, it's the Comet Sans. Just want to let people know. <laughs> hey, listen, that was uh that was the entirely the, the people who made the show. Not that yeah. has nothing to do with me. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm just, like, listen, if if you're afraid of Comic Sans of over Matt Damon, with the love to take in on Arthur Matt Damon, Damon, then uh then you gotta eat the this this you've got the you've got the mind of a graphic designer. Congratulations. <laughs> For muting to be fair, I'm not actually afraid of common sense. I I actually am completely utterly neutral to the whole font. It's just I find it funny. What's up, Kyrie? I was trying to find trying to find out where ah. my uh, where my uh, Discord hotkeys were because I feel like I need <laughs> that for. Oh, that's uh, a good one. Oh, that's a good personality. <laughs> I need that for. Uh, to be able to like mute and unmute or like do push to talk or whatever. Yeah, because oh, of uh, because the uh, my headset is kind of dying. It's more ah. so the USB interface is dying. So either I need to get a new one or I need to use this new microphone, which the main issue is uh, it's not that good. Oh, keybinds there, face. So hi. Hello. I I feel like everybody use picks this hair for the girl. Oh, so everyone picks so three of the four people when I was playing with those VTubers last night had uh <laughs> had this hairstyle. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I got the personality by the way. Uh oh yeah, Nate Nate's in three other bits uh having the, the personality trait of being too angry to faint. Yeah, I accidentally have it uh cat floss. It actually works a lot better. <laughs> too angry to faint! Yep. <laughs> that's a, that's how you know they're really serious. Oh, I'm being, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting cutscened away. Oh no! There he is! Scenes. Fellow kids, Clive. Oh, you're at the, uh, you're at the dark area. Yeah, yeah. He's ah. the hippest of jivas of cats. Ah, it is you, bro. Clive? Bullshit. Yep, that's me, Clive, the normally totally uh, bodacious academy student. Word. Anyway, Plungo, uh, I owe you one on the real d biz. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into the totally rad Operation Starfall. 
What's your end game? I just uh, need answers. I just need answers, dog. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star? And what's causing its cool cat's odd behavior? Odd behavior? Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause some trouble for the academy. But these are rumors. Ma the matter that I am directly confronted with, uh, with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside the classroom in over a year. And it seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that they, uh, should they refuse, I would have no choice but expel all students affiliated with their team. Okay there, Director. Wait, Clive, you can do that? But I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, I overheard you talking on the phone to Cassiopeia. Uh, when I heard you, oh, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Cassiopeia, it couldn't come at a more crucial time. Roto -do 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 -do. It's Cassiopeia. Can you hear me? Uh, another time, then. Be careful. I see you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? Just me, baby. Well, be warned that Team Star will have his guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. All right, Penny. I got a question. How exactly are you watching us? It's like, where are the cameras? She is a hacker, so it's probably through. She's well, she's probably listening through her phone pretty much at all times, because that's why she thought somebody. Uh, she was like, is somebody with you? I thought okay, she heard okay. her over the phone. Either way, she, uh, like, she's got like a GPS tracker on me. Whoa, whoa, hold it, you. Yeah, Up well, ahead's the base of the operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know it. Uh, know us as Second Squad. Yep, Sega we, we don't uh, take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, s sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, Amiga, uh, we'll, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. J just going on a hunch here, but are you that Plungo kid? You know, that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. Is that a backhand compliment? Maybe I am, she says. Cool as a cucumber. Honesty's not always the best policy, you know. Uh, you know what? That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by uh, by me in Battle Kid. What'll it be? I'll take you on. Gah, sassy kids like you, you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stomped into the dirt. There we go. S star, 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 star. Oh, yeah. She's definitely going to be stamping all over us. She stamped the ground. If she stamps us as, as good as she stamps the ground, then we're in for one hell of a time. Good night, everybody. Man, Doc's butt is such a good design. Ah, Bumpy. It's, so it's, it's a little dash on that is uh, <laughs> Rick Britt. Suited by with the 300 bits saying has a creepy obsession with their favorite content creator, Tom Fox. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Oh, I was planning up a Todd passing, but I realized that they don't have that this trainer doesn't have uh only has one Pokemon. I should check to see if I can put the Todd pass on my Silicobra because I use Coil so much. And Coil's so good. Uh that's it is it it's attack defense and accuracy, right? Yep. Oh, oh. I thought I already had the Baton Pass in TM. I've stored power, which would be great, but it doesn't work on my Sil Cobra. A Baton Pass would be good for that if you pass all the stats to somebody who does have uh, stored power. Unless you're fighting a Dark type. God, how the heck could I lose? Easily. Well, whatever. It's your problem now. Finish up here for uh, finish up for uh, uh, here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. You just... Baby. <laughs> Shh, 
She's Six new to sucks. she's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat about uh, uh, with her about that attitude. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go into base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. We'll come at you in full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, Amiga. Hasta la vista! Yeah, just to give you like a bit of a chance if you want to have a better team composition. We'll just be here. <laughs> we'll give you a chance to go to, to to fix yourself up here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you got some medicine in your bag. Some revives. A couple super potions. I do, no wonder, I do wonder where uh, where we're going next in terms of a, uh, of a, of a region. Because we've had Japan, 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 Japan. New York, France, Hawaii, England, and Spain. So we've had... Four, four in Japan, two in the United States. Tech, uh, I, like, but Hawaii is an entirely different culture. You could pr hardly describe it as the United States. And then three in Europe. At least, uh, at least in terms of coastal, yeah. Or like continental United States, yeah. Yeah, yeah continental, yeah. Yeah, that was a word. <laughs> I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now hold up in the, that base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the second squad. Their boss, Giacomo, uh, pretty much runs the whole of Team Star. He also has produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. Even declared war, uh, even, even our declaration of war would have left with him in the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts, then finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strategic types like him. Bring him down with, uh, with, a head, with a head on attack. Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Hey! Ring the bell at the gate Aye! once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the second squad off the map. Is that also named after a star constellation, or is it named after Carl Sagan? <laughs> oh, you, you just stand there with your Claude's iron, posing like the Ginyu Force. <laughs> Excuse you, this is a Kamen Rider pose. I mean, we also have the Kamen Rider Pokemon in the game. That's yeah, true. And I, and I legit have it as a... Uh, I will... Oh yeah, fighting terror type. I guess it would be kind of safe to say, uh, talk about a little bit about the spore stuff. Uh, yeah, when it came to the leaks, because one particular Pokedex uh, website I was following was using like a bunch of different placeholder images for all the mods and all that. For low kicks, they actually straight up just put in a uh, common rider <laughs> as a. And also for. And also for some kid lucked down beating one of our sister squads. Now she thinks she can take us on? Time to give her the boot, gang. Let's show us Gate Crash what Team Star can do. And if you listen to Gate Crash, you know this. Unless you beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't let the finger to deal with the likes of you. After the 10 minutes, they just all rush you, pick you up, and throw you out. Mosh Pit! Mosh Pit! Mosh Pit! Oh, that is a squad of Murkrow. Oh, it's only the first three! Oh. Cause I I did not I, I thought I thought I got to choose the three beforehand. Woo! I know good and true like twice before she messes with us again. Like she didn't wail on a Pokemon with bu fighting a bug type moves that's so weak to. Yep. So so I mean, if you, so if you fail, they give you a hint as to what to do. <laughs> it's very uh that feels feels very condescending. I mean, you do have a bug Pokemon, it's just Murkrow. Yeah. Actually, if they're sending out Murkrow first, I'm gonna lead with uh, also, I'll leave with that word. Also, I was gonna bring up the fact that we do have a big man. It's it's a Snom. Oh yeah, Snom is our big man. Yeah. What what, what was Snom's uh personality trait? Big man. Big man. There it is. Uh, tends to call things they like sexy. As well as also doing in his verbal twit. Uh, yeah, verbal tick. I. Yeah. I. Oh yeah. Going back on the Pokedex thing, uh, for for Clocksire, they actually decided to recolor the the Beta Wooper into the brown color because they figured, well, it doesn't look like it, it really doesn't. It's it's like more. It doesn't lift its head up though. Is the, is the reason why I don't think it like it's yeah, it's no, like no, similar it's, to it. Again, this is just more or less for placeholder stuff until like until people got their hands on the game and then. Sold. Oh God! They got a crew of Zorua. So yeah, as a placeholder image, they decided to make a version of uh, Cloudsire be the beta whooper for, uh, yeah, the beta whooper. Oh, on that Pokedex website. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, there were, definitely were, like, some interesting design choices for, uh, like, even for Cats a Kid and, uh, Score Villain. Ooh, uh, new, new Stunky! I'll let, no, like, maybe it's not new Stunky. No, never mind. It just looked black and white from a distance. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> Shadows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for, uh, Cats a Kid and, uh, Score Villain, those were completely different designs as well, too. I mean, like, like, Cats a Kid was a literary a pepper, and Score Villain was more or less, like, what people were thinking what, uh, what Frey Coco was gonna evolve it to, which is more or less like a giant wizard that looks like a, like a hot pepper. And then we got what we actually got in the game. I like it. It's, uh, it's mostly be, uh, I, I like it mechanically more than its design, honestly, because it's the first grass and fire type. I mean, yeah, like, you're going back on the whole thing, but like, yeah, not every Pokemon's gonna look, uh, look appealing. Especially like, have you seen what actual peppers look like? Do you really want no, want a very pretty pepper? Well, there are. Oh, you'd want you'd want like the pepper Pokemon to be like aggressive. Yeah, yeah. She's way above our level. We gotta tell the boss. And then, and then proceed to repeat the same thing what we did in back at the fire base. Just with a dark truck now. Wait. Are those engine Pokemon, their type is based on what kind of car they're in? Yeah. Why is that Spectre Gadget? I'm giving him that voice now. Congratulations. You're welcome. You've done a real number on us, Potty Crasher. Plunga, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever, it's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip stra uh, straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Go, go, gadget, DJ. Go, 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 gadget. Uh, what, what the hell is it called? The where they scratch the records? <laughs> Again, Wowzers. you're welcome. <laughs> go, go, gadget turntable. Go, go, gadget laptop. Go, go, gadget headphones. Go go gadget sit me. Go go He gadget, uses he yeah. uses timer balls because the because the icons for them look like records. They're clocks, but they look like records. You don't really think things through, do you? Declaring war on Team Star is not very smart. I said war. Mm. What is it good for? Go go gadget my ass kicked. <sighs> Go, go, gadget car! Time to up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. Go, go, gadget mobile! Man, they really suck that they only have the one Pokemon and then resort to using an actual car to kill you. Go, go, gadget, I'm gonna run you over. Wait, uh, what was. Uh, what was that bird's ability again? It was, uh, the bird's ability is scrappy. How's that for an opening track? I'll oh, spin right. you up good, party crasher. Are you part of MAD? I mean, I'm certainly mad. Does that count? You must be of uh, part of the crew of the nefarious Dr. Claw. Go, go, Gadget Mobile, run him down. And imagine just showing this, like, to, like, like to any Pokemon fan back, <laughs> like, back yeah. like ten years ago. The year is nineteen. The year is nineteen ninety nine. You pull up an image of what looks what looks like Pokemon UI, but it's a flamingo fighting a car. Man, <laughs> people would just be like so confused. About they, they, no, they, no, they, they would be like long? that. That's a fake screenshot. What the hell are you on about? What's a oh, long flamingo really? doing fighting a jeep? That's a jeep. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what the- I don't know what that thing would be considered. Cause it, it looks like it's built from the foundation of like a lowrider. Yeah, I definitely see the lowrider inspiration from. This is definitely like something an exhibit will look at and just be like, Nah dog, I'm good. Put a car in your car. Let's uh... Let's uh, let, let's send Tyam to death. 
Toku-san time, Toku-san time, Toku-san time. Honestly, this is not the most weirdest thing Common Wire has ever done. <laughs> and this is a lot bad. of Common Rider experience over the past two, three years. I mean, to me, to me, like he looks like he fit in perfectly with Ultra, Ultra Kaiju Monster Rancher. Like if they just made him giant, I would, I would probably raise low kicks. Actually, it kind of looks like uh, a ka a Kaijin from uh, Black Sun. Yeah, the weird and the weird thing is, is that I just actually just recently you realized, oh, Dynamaxi is basically very similar to what they do in Zetai shows. Guess when that's that. Make go, go, Pokemon gadget Pro. failure. And also with the explosion effect as well, too. It's About like, a year and a yeah. half ago. Dude, weird, yes, that's that. Sag. Uh, what's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted to take on some stuff. So we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like for what? Operation Star, first of all. Also, a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we gotta make some team rules, like a code. So uh, I'll be on the same page. Nice, you'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? <laughs> no thanks, that's way too much pressure for me. I mean, yeah, I used to be the president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, so they wouldn't, uh, and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after, uh, after like five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male students' hair must stray no further than 1.88 inches below the nape, and so forth. Your rules were, no! were vexation. Your rules were vexation made manifest. My point exactly. So you will all agree that I shouldn't be uh, let anywhere near this new code. But you always knew what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. You've earned uh, our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. A stuck up st student count at Solprez isn't who you are anymore, man. Code written by Giacomo I'm looking at now, I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay, thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it, I'll write up the damn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over, so here. Take my badge, would ya? Crack, crack medicine. Wait, these are all Don Garofa characters. Why am I suddenly able to emote in these photos? That's a yeah. thing? Yeah. I'll give you this TM2. You've earned it fair and square. Go, go, gadget, foul play. Also, why do I hear a fist bump in the background? Why do you? I think that's every time Kyrie unmutes, uh, unmutes your mic. No, 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 no. I, I was talking about the oh the oh, oh the uh, the song from Sonic Frontiers or not Frontiers yeah. uh, Sonic uh, Forces Forces yeah. Ha! Huh. So this is how the party ends. But let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer chops at the academy. Like what moves? Uh, like what moves you should use this stuff? Sure did. Huh. Okay, you'll like it at the academy. Having fun. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, fellow dudes, but are you Giacomo? Ho oh, ho! Wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a quack swell to style you up, uh, style you up for that, uh, style that up for you? I still love that name. I'm just after a quick word. Would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's gonna be something annoying, but I guess I'm, I'm newly freed up for time. I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it, dog. It seems all of you hip cats in Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why don't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? Which is no point now. That's what you wanna know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, are they? A the chum stuff? and amigo? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call them Big Boss. 
And I... where is this big boss of yours now? At when... Outer Heaven. <laughs> Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him, I don't know. It must be a year and a half now. We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd be back in touch one day. But the teachers keep pre pressing us to call it quits. Then we get party crashes like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team uh, before and all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? <laughs> Is the sky blue? Let me put it into words you eggheads at the academy might understand. Go, go Gadget Greatest Treasure! I guess this is when Inspector Gadget actually starts working for Mad. <laughs> but it, are we still in the tree? Uh, Snake Sneeder? Eater? Sneeder. Sneeder. Hang on one second. No, not snappy. Plungo, it's me. I take it that Giacomo's star badge is now in your possession? Uh-huh, that's right. I see. It's boss- with its boss out of the picture, second squad is pretty much done for. Giacomo. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there. Now about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Ooh, buddy. Sweet! I'm gonna be the greatest duelist ever with 33,000 life points! Yeah, now I'm making more the kinds of TMs using the TM machine. Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'll have my supply unit rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials, too. Hi, Cassiopeia. Uh, hello, it's me again from the supply unit. I guess! They've got the same hair! Huh? What the heck? Same hair? Same hair! Same hair! Ch same hair? Child of Ham, she has the same hair as me! Hey, stop that! Please, Somebody please. help! You smell like ham! No, 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 Corona, no, no, she's not ham! She's not ham! Down, boy, uh, down! Trolled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? Um, it, it's, it's Coridon, the ham lover. It's, it's Tire Goiter. I have no idea what it is. Huh? I'm amazed you're so calm with a giant question mark of a Pokemon at your side. Uh, um, before I forget, here's your reward. Uh, you received lots of Pokemon materials. I, I like how her leggings have a bunch of pluses and minuses on them, which makes me think she's going to end up using Plusle and Minin. Hmm. Um, your name's Plungo, right? Since you're part of the op of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? I mean, Mela was pretty strong. This guy was was a complete pushover compared to Mela. I mean, kind of similar to Inspector Gadget himself. That's true. Pe uh, in fact, Penny <laughs> in Inspector Gadget did everything. <laughs> which wow. pu which pushes more uh, which pushes like a very fake head can which, which pushes a head cannon onto the theory that Penny is the, is actually the leader of Team Star. Yo, I'm expecting a paycheck uh, in the mail. For this idea. <laughs> <laughs> no can do. Interesting. Dang. You know some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them just, you know, used to be victims of bullying or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and bend together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's just the info I got by hacking other students social media accounts. I also found out that some secret mastermind behind the five bosses, someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. Hmm. I don't normally talk this much, and now my throat kind of hurts. 
So, um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. You know, just completely normal stuff. Uh, eavesdropping in on, uh, on other students' social media. I could do. Totally not ghosting us. Also, two things. I like, I like how the, this game is also, and like, one of the things this game is, like, kind of doing with that is, like, yeah, hacking's just gonna be the norm in the world from now on, so get used to it. Yeah. Okay, again, two things. One, I want her backpack. Two, who's the brain in this situation? What do you mean? Uh, the dog brain. Oh, oh, oh. Uh... It's gotta be one of her mods, I guess. If they, she oh, oh, in, oh, in this situation, we're we're probably brain because brain usually does all like the like the physically tasking stuff. Okay, fair, yeah. Man, I <laughs> don't hack me, Roto. Man, I can't believe just a, a simple passive thing we we just come up with more lore. Yep. Man. Man, tonight with uh, Jeremy and uh, Matt is gonna get very interesting. Well, yeah, we'll we'll see what they think of that theory. Oh, also, what else? Yeah, whatever crazy word we decided to come up with, mm -hmm. like Cherum, Billy. Found the the. Um, yeah, yeah, Cherum, Billy. Billy. Yeah, yeah, Billy. Oh, Billy, Billy Bugfucker. Bugfucker. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Size with Toad. I can't uh, see. Yeah. Doesn't seem like Seismitoad or Cherim are in this game, which is, which is... I mean, Cherim I could do without, but Seismitoad was a big loss. Yeah, you heard us right, Mecha. Well, you heard Tom right. Oh, right. <laughs> what was that? Billy, huh? Yeah. Ah. Oh. There's another bit saying, quick question, is Billy Bugfucker a follower of Gorm? In a sense. That would be a very unhealthy obsession, but it's A. I never, I don't think I actually ever went to the Pokemon Center near here. A barricade. But you're a new trainer. Also, I need to switch my Pokemon backgrounds to the ones that I want to evolve. Could bring beans out. Actually, what level is that? Uh, is that Cub Chew? Thirty-five. Jeez. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, remember, people, read the pinned in comment above. <laughs> I take it people are are not paying attention to that. Uh, well, I'm saying some someone. Yeah, I mean, someone point out they found a uh, actual quest star. I think. I mean, we have seen. I mean, we, the in, the, in the trailers, we did see them. We we saw Quagsire. I'm I'm just saying more or less like don't say where they are. Oh, I don't want. Uh, I I do want Quagsire at some point, but not right you now. Already, wait, you you mean Quagsire? No, no, no. I mean like in my party. Oh, right. Right, at some point we also need to find the figure out the mystery of the of Toll School. Actually, I should probably Because I I know I've seen someone actually bring up the fact that, hey, go here to ah. find this thing, and I'm just like, hmm. I think I'm gonna switch out. Hmm. Okay. Well that's too basic. Uh... Yeah, let's let's try it. Let's give New Worm a shot. What do you mean there's no pin comment? It's still there for me. I, it's on my end. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. I was buying... I was buying... Christmas dresses. Does have spark, pluck, and roost. Wow, that's actually... This is... This, uh... This little birdie is very good. Burp. I have a Terra Raid battle. Uh... What, do, what, what level? Uh, two star. Uh... Sure. Give me a second to finish this battle. I just got into one. Alfredo the student. They did oh, they did my boy Alfredo uh, Alfredo Diaz dirty here. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. And yeah, not, not a final look for him. I think it's poison, but I can't tell what Pokemon it is. 
Yeah, you know, they kind of changed the icons. Yeah, for the yeah they changed the icons for the types in this. Uh, yep. For this secret game. Arrowcuda. Yeah. yeah, the school seems to be very accepting for like for people of all ages to join the school, which includes toddlers. Very we're weirdly sassy toddlers. The poses they're making. Like when you when you challenge them to a battle, they're just like they're just like, yeah, what you gonna do about it, huh? You're gonna beat me up. I'm a child, and then you beat him up anyway. And then just. Then you have Saitama just slide on in and just like, okay, what is start, with this lost nasty uh, child? Oh, yep. Uh, nope, that's not the right thing. I will say though that there we go. I will say this though, it is kind of refreshing to see like new who designs for all the different uh, trainer types as well. Oh, Town Tower. Like, they're not. Yeah, they're all not all standard designs as well. They're actually all unique characters. I think they are. They they do come from a standard design, but like they change up the their uh, their um, hair color and various other and and clothing on them to make them look more unique. Keith and Sarah, also, the Wiggler. Well, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, like you're not likely going to see like the same exact uh, male like backpacker over and over again. And you're definitely going to see like some variations. Of yeah. Them. Well, like, but like, but they're they're built from like the same like frame though. It's not like you're you're not gonna see like a, cause I, I, you're like, cause like, I think like the skinny the, like the thin backpacker with like the backpacker with the long hair is like the standard. So, but you're just gonna see variations in like hair color and whatnot. Yeah, I also see like that one image of the one particular like trainer looking like that uh that one uh dude the the one that goes blue and then disappears. I do not know his name. Oh, cri Moist Critical. Yeah, yeah, him. The, the uh, I'm not gonna lie, Houndour's eyes in in like in these cave things here is actually intimidating. Yeah, that they're it, it angry. Oh, what was I thinking? I should have brought a uh, should have brought a uh, like a psychic type or something. Maybe not a psychic type because it's using dark type moves, but still. Jeez, my. <laughs> oh, my dead. Unsparse is doing so much damage. I don't Terra Pokemon was, was tough to fight. I already, I already have a, uh, I already have a Houndour, but Poison type is, will probably be better than my Electric type Terra. Yeah. You have, you need to teach it something Poison type in order to make it work, and I don't know what Poison type moves it learns. It might be Poison, poison Thing. Poison Thing, but I have, I have Thunder Fang on my uh, Electric type Terra Houndour. So That's not really good. Isn't, is it Houndoom more of a special attacker though? Yeah, it's so oh, it might be able to learn something like yeah, sled bomb. Uh, how close is it? It's attack to make it more like a mix attacker, but but you also, generally want to focus on one thing. Usually, yeah. usually, sometimes having a mixed attacker is good, but uh, I I'm saying at least in terms of stats, so you can actually you have like that particular. Or attack stat, so you actually can make use of those physical attacks. Yeah, yeah. One moment. Houndour, the dark Pokemon! The skull on its head for, is from one of the birds that it's eaten. And the ribs on its back are from one of the birds that it's eaten. <laughs> this is Plungo's crystal. This is Plungo's crystal. It is not purple anymore, it, it is yellow. This is Plungo's crystal. This is Plungo's crystal. This is Plungo's crystal. This is Bunko's crystal, yeah. Uh, all right. This Hound Hour, it, it, you know, it's fitting that you brought um that you brought uh, Dunsparce to this because this thing's name is gonna be Rasputin Laser. <laughs> is that with a Z? Yes. I, I love Dunsparce. The Dunsparce is one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh yeah, we gotta parse the sparse. Oh, I got the I got the Tom that you you got you got to tell me if I have the if I've got the effect on because what I'll do is because I'll deafen for for doing the Pokedex voice, and mm -hmm. then I'll either forget to turn it on after I deafen because I'm like oh I hit a button therefore the effect is on. Ah. Uh, and uh, the personality trait for uh, Rasputin Laser is that he likes memes. <laughs> Very basic, but commendable. Ra Ra Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen. 
Hey, spikes. Bronze ore. It's into the box. Oh yeah, when I did it to Josh, he was just like, uh, Roger. And then I, like, a, like, as that was going on, the weird miscommunication between us, I was like, what the hell is wrong with you? He's talking to me. I think I just need to go back and watch those, uh, videos that, uh, from the Sonic tw Twitter takeover thing. No, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Those yet. I know Shadow married somebody. Yeah, and it's oh, it very lengthy demands. As long as you go by my demands, this marriage can work. He likes his food cold and bland. Yeah, sure, Keelix. You got a bronze ore. Time for a siesta. Spot for Cyclozar to rest and recharge. This oh my do god, they're in this game. Don't say it. Yeah. Uh, I'm Rafa. not sure if you've seen them. The thing is, I'm not sure if you've seen them yet or not, but have you gone to the desert area? No, not yet. Okay, so, uh, yeah. How cast Karafa, the city of water? I'm sure you can see why. Oh, you know what? Um... Yeah, Quagsire by default would have to be in this game because because even though it's Paldean Whooper, Whooper is. Just noticing like some popping in and oh. What are they doing in the desert if they're getting hit by sandstorm? Yeah. Do 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 do. We found we we even found the that particular uh, TM on the beach. Uh, yes, the famous uh, beast sandstorms. Very beach. terrifying. City is really neat. Yeah, the, wa the water uh, gym city. I did. I really liked it when I first came in. I mean, even if this is not like the most, like for, at least in terms of the background, it's like the most visually appealing game, game on the Switch. It still looks gorgeous for, for what it is. I gotta wait for the elevator to come down. How many coins have I found? Uh, not a lot. I think I'm still in double digits. I've only found one Just coin. Because I haven't actually been looking for them. I have them in Pokemon Go, but... I have to don't wait think till like, next good. year to actually get, uh... Gimme Ghoul in the, uh... I'm probably gonna guess that's probably around, like, springtime for that. That seems like a good guess. I haven't been able to play uh, Pokemon Go for the past few years until uh, because my my phone, Your phone couldn't run it anymore. No, it's like it's my uh, previous phones have just been getting overinflated uh, battery. Oh. Uh, so this is so the phone I currently have is the uh, longest running one I've had. I've that has been perfectly uh, perfectly fine. Uh, in battery wise, but it is the slowest phone I've ever had. <laughs> so I can't play Pokemon Go on it. But I have a tablet now, so I'm able to play Pokemon Go on that. Oh god, uh, oh god, I just realized it. Uh, since Kamala is. Wait, yeah, Kamala is in this game. Yeah. God, try, try, uh, try Shiny Honey for that thing. Is it that the log is a different color? Yep. So yeah. It, you're trying to look for a shiny Kamala, and you just have to make sure it'll be on the lookout for the log and not the Pokemon itself. Yep. It's like, it, it begs the theories of, is the log the Pokemon? Of course, in this game, you don't get the the jingle that you hear from uh, Arceus. You have to go by you have to go by sight on that, so you, mm. you, you don't know if you're going to actually encounter a shiny Pokemon in the wild until you actually see it. I love the Pokedex in this game. They have great pictures. I know. Oh, so yeah. So on the, on, the, on those VHS cases. I like the picture of uh, Uncle Wayne's uh, cover. Maybe it's just for the little chalk on it. It's just like, whoa! This is the shot look on his face. Chalk. And my Breloom just KO'd a Gimme Ghoul. Damn it. I, know, I already have a Gimme Ghoul. What is this? Yeah. Oh, it's a glove and hat shop. 
Sixty it was, it was, coins. Excuse me. It was hard to tell. Oh, if you uh, oh if you KO them, you get you get a lot more coins, huh? Maybe I am in triple digits then, huh? Yeah, because I know, I think at best you probably get like. 20. Oh hell yes! Ooh, ooh. Oh, that was that. Oh. Look, those, those are Sentai helmets. Those are definitely Sentai helmets. Okay, I need to. Uh, I need to grab one I of mean, those. I mean, they're mostly bike helmets, but still, that's cool. They're cycling helmets, which I I can't imagine somebody in this game would be buying them. Off-road helmets, which I assume. Yes, those are bike helmets. And then the low kicks helmet. <laughs> oh wait, there's also a cool helmet. There's retro jet helmet. Let's see what that looks like. I just. Yep. I really wanted the retro jet helmets to look. I think those are actually. Uh, like the uh, Ultraman uh, support team. Sweet, uh, sweet weed, sweet weed uh, logo Man on there. Team, baby. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God! You can you, straight, you can just straight up beat Daft Punk. Yeah, that's a <laughs> around the world, baby. That's the cool helmet. Okay, yeah, I, I need to fly back after I finish the gym challenge. Cool helmet, full face helmet. Spicy pepper. Oh, it's a capsicid design. Oh my god, the sandstorm actually makes actually browns your outfit. Neat. Oh, kind of like Xenoblade. What so do we got they from actually put some. They have weird thoughts when when developing this game. <laughs> how many? So how many different? Okay, okay, there are a bunch. I was gonna say. Cause like when I looked at the, from the top, it was white and black, and I didn't see any others from there. When I went from the bottom, it was um, <laughs> brown, olive, beige, and gray. And I'm like, these are these are not colors I would think of for a very colorful group of uh, of um, of of uh, Sentai warriors here. You know, you know, great. You know, low kicks white, low kicks brown, low kicks beige, working at their office job. <laughs> Oh, then again, I think, like, some, uh, I think also, oh, yeah, there's Moomin Rider as well, too. Moomin Rider. Yeah. His cover scheme is mostly brown, so. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, the low kick helmets are really Everybody good. knows that Master Chief is the Olive Ranger. <laughs> that, God. that, that is, that does look like if, like, they put a Master Chief helmet in this game. Free Drummer, thank you for the uh, the 13 months of Prime. Gold Lightning with the 300 bits. I missed this one before. Um, oh, bug Fucker as I'm assuming a personality <laughs> trait. Yeah, I, I put that in as Bug Lover. Oh, there is a, oh, there is a sandstorm happening right now. Do, 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 do. They put the Master Chief on the can. Master Chief, what are you doing in that sandstorm? Vault and Veluza, I'm late, I'm late! Vault and Veluza, I'm late, I'm late! Ah, uh, Kofu, wait! Ah, uh, he got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Uh, oh, hey, you're here as a gym challenger, right? You're in a bit Walsh saying, up all night to get lucky. Up all night to get lucky. Oh, hey, you're, you're here as a gym challenger, right? Yeah. I knew it, of course you are. That big man who just left his coast is Kofu, the leader of the uh, Kas uh, Kaskarafa gym. He has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in, kind gym challenger. Would you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Sure. Oh, you're too kind. I'll get I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. Here's his wallet. I'm counting on you. Hey, we're just like ask him way back in the. He's got a vent in that wallet. Oh, that's adorable. This could be your gym one. test. If you do this for me, you pass. Kova said to Porto Mar uh, Marinata. It's uh, on the other side of the desert to the west. Be careful, though. There are many dangerous Pokemon in the desert. Wait, he went through the desert to... Uh, I was like, man, returning a wall doesn't seem like that bad of a gym challenge. Oh. Yeah, he... Uh, yeah. Also, uh, on two-star dragon terror raid. Also... He went through the desert on a mud raid with no name. <laughs> That's a good one. Not, 
I'm just not sure if this Pokemon oh, yeah, can yeah, oh. dragon moves. Speaking of speaking of which, uh, you know that one uh Quagsire uh um, Twitter account that does the help I uh and then insert like random thing here because I know you retweeted like two of them, which was help I learned Yu-Gi-Oh and help I found the Monado. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they also have done like a bunch of different other things. Like one of them was them learning high horsepower, which is just Quagsire on a white horse. And that's just <laughs> Hey, that's Mr. Yeah, that's Mr. No Arms on, on on my balls. Good lord. Yeah, and my favorite I'm, uh, one. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a uh, an ad break here real quick. So I'll be back oh. in, a, in a few minutes. And Wait, that's just not, to say, that's not just say my favorite one. Yeah, my favorite one out of all of that is probably the one where Quagsire warns gravity, and it's just three Quagsires up in the up in the air. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. All right, we'll take an ad break, and uh, we'll be back. For more of uh, of this, as uh, as my character gets caked by sand in the sandstorm, be right back. Get up, stretch, get some water, do whatever you have to do. We are back. In this game, probably, probably I'm back. That Pokemon. Hello. Hello. I gotta go to the desert and find a man who just ran out there. So where's this port? Guy, he, he ran far, dude. I came across a uh, dragon uh, ter terror raid, but the Pokemon that it would have. Uh, the Pokemon does not learn any dragon type moves throughout any of its evolutions. Is it one that I have not seen in this world? Uh, I'm. Again, I'm not sure. I have not been. To, to, to Launch it! The, wait, launch it? Yeah, launch it. I have to go back up to it. Oh. I, but yeah, I'll. Uh, yeah, I'm further ahead of you. That you'll be, you'll probably catch up in time. I mean, most. I mean, if it doesn't learn anything, it's gonna be there. By the way, screaming quag shirt over on over on TomFox.com. Ah! Learn it right now. Also, uh, uh, also, uh, if you. Oh, you're looking for a Paldea and a Wooper, huh? Ah. Is it true that Wooper and Paldea are venomous? I have a blue looper I caught into the region. Would you want to? I'm having to. Oh, ah, no, 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 ah, 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 I don't have another one! Well, you better go find one! Well, you know what. You'll know what to do, at the very least. I have to kill this damn Murkrow. Also, <laughs> it's, it's also kind of interesting that they actually do listen to uh, some fan, uh, feedback when it comes to stuff because. People have been really wanting to have a dolphin and flamingo Pokemon, and now we got it. Yep. It's uh, just I, I guess you just need the. I guess like a dolphin would have worked out in Alola, but flamingo, flamingo is is tough. Mm-hmm. Okay. I and got now, it. the worst part is that I have a legal obligation to actually use a flamingo on my team, mostly because of the fact that my mom likes flamingos. We have a bunch of lawn flamingos on the front yard. Nice. So uh, it's pretty much an obligation at this point. I definitely have not seen this Pokemon, I don't think. Dragon type, you said? Yeah. Yep. I guess I'll use that that ungodly strong cub chew I have. Just sneeze at it. it, it it'll be fine. I might be entirely wrong on it, but it does look what I think it is. That looks like Roly Coley. It is. Yeah. Oh, sorry, battle. Whoops. <laughs> wow. Someone's asking if I'm. <laughs> Someone's asking, is Erica B? No, I'm Erica. <laughs> Erica's Kyrie. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. For those who didn't I hear would, this, I my birthday's be... on Tuesday. I'm going to get the game for my birthday, so I don't have the game at the moment. And also, I'm getting violent. You want to know the re main reason why I want to get it? I honestly prefer the color of the pants. That's I feel really I feel very alone in the fact that I'm playing Scarlet, but that just means everyone's gonna come to me for wanting trades. Yep. Yep. I mean, then again, we do have uh, your subs having Scarlet as well too, because like you, they're thirsty. True enough. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna have any time to terrestrialize into my ice-type weasel because it's already dead. 
I didn't know you could terrestrialize in this mode, in this uh, particular mode. Yeah, you just have to, you have to uh, wait a few uh, turns in order to do so. so we'll every, uh, I will, uh, throughout these streams, every single person I've played with has, has been playing, uh, has been playing Violet. Come at me, chat. <laughs> there's like, there's, God, I, I love, I love this animation of catching a, uh, catching Oh, it's so good. But like, but yeah, no, I, um, what was it? Austin, Orlando, Haruka, Ari, um, Pixie, and now, and, and now Erica. Six out, out of, six out of the eight people I'm playing with tonight, or the, this weekend, have, uh, have been violent. I don't know what the other two are playing. And the weird thing is Josh, that yeah, oh yeah, uh, I've, yeah, Josh, Dan, so that's, that's, uh, that's eight out of the ten, rather. I mean, to be fair, Josh is technically, yeah, Josh was only technically playing file because that was his off file, but compared to his actual stream. One moment. Yeah. Roly Coley, the coal Pokemon. Sometimes when Roly Coley are left underground, they compress and compress and compress to become diamond. Diamond Coley, Roly Diamond. All right, what is your nickname, friend? Uh. Okay, you're not alone though. Mecha, uh, Mecha does have a Scarlet, and That's also good. then again, no, uh, then Me Mecha does have Violet because uh, if 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 he was to join, it'd be seven out of the nine. Oh, that would have that would have it. Uh, the name is uh, Helmet Kruger. Uh, and the uh the trait is uh vehemently de uh denies that Arceus is real. <laughs> huh. Hel Helmut Kruger, the Roly Coley. Uh, three hundred from Jason Cortez saying in honor of Jason Frank's uh, personality, likes uh, yells "ya" every time they attack. Sixteen hundred bits from the Bella Buddy saying just stop by to say hello. Gonna ask for Spud to be added to the nicknames. Back to Peltier for me. I guess added on there three times then. Or yes, Helmut Kruger. Okay. Oh my uh, God, Kofu. I want to keep this. I want to keep this very brief on that. Uh, yeah, I want to keep this very brief on this. Uh, is Helmut Kruger one of those a-hole uh, atheists, or they're chill about it? Oh, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. They they just vehemently deny that Arceus exists. That's vehemently, so that's most likely being yeah, more so. Uh, well, it, it, type, pr pr pretty much, like, pretty, he's cool until you bring up the concept of religion. Fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe anyway, a Pokemon. Of shut your mouth. Right. Oh yeah, want me to copy uh, Spud two more times? Yes, please. Ah. Oh, I, I actually misspelled it as uh, Sud. <laughs> My mistake. I I saying, now the enemy can battle. taste Mama Kruger's homemade coal car stew. Yep, exactly. <laughs> coal car stew. Coal car stew. It's like it's just That's like it. the, it's like the crowbar stew, but coal. Why am I hitting the O button, not the P? A sunstone. I think I need that to evolve something I have in my uh, in my inventory. Uh, so I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, Dawn Dawn fan, please. a silicobra. Uh, Whoa! An ostrich. Oh, I didn't a, see a very that. Egyptian looking ostrich. Espartha. Hey, <laughs> Espathra. Level thirty-eight. Oh, yo! I think it may be safe to burn. You say it's an ostrich. I think it's an emu, <laughs> cause it is dangerous. No, that's Lady Gaga. <laughs> it's Lady Gaga. I didn't see what one was going next. Oh, you, you basically just walk in right into a bad romance here. <laughs> I just saw Wigwood's, uh, yeah, Wigwood's, uh, hit animation on that. That was funny. <laughs> just the bobbing. Seems like it's either Psychic Flying or Psychic Ground. I'm gonna hope that it's Psychic Ground. Psychic is right. Well, just use Psy Beam, so I'm assuming Psychic. Well, then again. No, probably ah. Psychic Flying, then. I'm just gonna try throwing balls and hoping to god this works. Half Kirk Grim with the uh, 300 bit saying Peanut Gallery Bard sings love songs during romantic moments. Hound Tower is now a Hound Doom. Nice. 
I'm just gonna go with the. Uh, oh, it could be oh. pure psychic as well. That's that's very true. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go with the stuff that was in the first. Actually, this would probably be the, my be flea would probably be my best bet considering all the dark moves I have on it. Bite. Yeah. Everyone was thinking that you picked the fleet just because of a lucha lucha. Sparta has calmed down. Hopefully, it's stupid enough to try to use a uh, side beam. It's nope, a wild use bond. agility. No, I, I did. Uh, I did flea because uh, because of pepper pe because of pepper lizard. It's a red hot chili pepper. Yeah, I respect that. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I just remembered that the catch rate of this thing is going to be difficult. Oh, I think we're going to enjoy Kofu, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was hoping it wouldn't use Uproar. It's stuck in Uproar, though, so I could send out, uh, I could at least send out, um, Morton. I like how Uproar's only other effect is Pokemon can't sleep. Also, I still appreciate the fact that- Go Minecraft, like Pig! Honestly, I think it's a frog. It, it definitely looks like the frog from uh, Minecraft, actually. <laughs> Tristan, Morton, my child of salt. Who wants some salt cured ostrich? Ugh. It's, it's just more it's just the, the thought process of uh, just salt carrying something alive. Oh, okay. oh, critical catch! Wait. Nice, got it. I know ostrich. I know ostrich eggs is a thing. Have people actually eat ostrich meat? I'm sure somebody has. I'm gonna look this up. Cause I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, gonna read a Pokedex entry. Espathra, the ostrich Pokemon. <laughs> it runs around and... <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, I'm not even using the effect, so I could do this over again. Espathra, the ostrich Pokemon. It runs around looking for travelers in the desert, then immobilizes them and leaves them to die, thus feeding the animals of the desert. It is worshipped as a god by the other Pokemon. All right, what is your nickname, Espartha? <laughs> looks like a fat. It looks like a like a like a like your stereotypical fashion designer. Again, I just I see the Lady Gaga inspiration. No, Edna Mode. She looks like a, she's basically a, a white-haired Edna, Edna Mode. No, no, no. Inverted colors, Edna Mode. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Negative Edna Mode. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Paul is this thing's name, and uh, it has a it has a uh, 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 an unhealthy obsession with my content. <laughs> okay. Speaking uh, of negative, I uh, on the I believe I ended up getting a ultra uh, monster ultra kaiju monster rancher on the same day as you did, Tom. And uh, like the physical the copy, or just in general, because I got it on launch. Uh, yeah, I got it on launch. I didn't, uh, so I didn't get the uh, physical copy. Mm -hmm. But uh, my my first uh, kaiju that I've been working on was uh, the uh, crap. What? It was the. Uh, it's the same one as the uh, guy that trains uh, power. In. Uh, Ella King? No, yeah. uh, Red King. Yeah, yeah. Red King. Ella King, Red King, and it, I named it negative. <laughs> Do, 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 do. And oh, all yes. I d and the only thing I ever do with it is shoulder check everything because it works. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Plongo. Apparently this desert is home to the quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking on and off, and ugh, it's making me feel a bit sick. Sorry, I'm just gonna sit down and rest uh, before I get back to Titan hunting. Duck and cover. Oh good, I accidentally found the Titan. Stony, stony, oh, so ground, huh, I guess ground and, uh, ground and rock for the titans. Around here. Anyway, uh... Oh, it's a, it's a terrestrializing sandy gas. 
Anyway, I pulled up Ultra Speed. Uh, turns out, Ultra Speed, instead of being similar to poultry, Ultra Speed is red meat more akin to beef and beef and taste and texture. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder if anybody actually. I wonder if like like uh they they do it because they're not really ostrich farms. Like, what are they raising them for? Like, not just for eggs, I assume. I don't know. Yeah, because. Yeah, it's also saying ostrich meat has great versatility. Yeah, vers yeah, yeah, versatility can be ground, cut into steaks, sausages, and even hot dogs. Ostrich can be be substituted for most any other meat that gr grills very well, just like lean beef. Oh, Interesting. The, oh, the yes? uh, spec the spec shack in the uh, in the. City. Oh, I think we found our guy. Wow! Holy crap! I did not. I have not done this yet. So. I like the beak. I like them chicken. Hey, that, Manny. That is uh, that is definitely a a big old big old Don fan evolution, or just a mutant Don fan. Well, it's dolphin in some capacity. I'm very certain. That no matter what it is, it it pretty much is get out of the way. That thing is trouble. You don't want to make it mad. <laughs> no matter what, it's gonna kill me. Yep. I believe it's ground type, so maybe that really strong uh, cub chew I had would be good against this thing. Uh. uh let's see. Okay. Um. Boxes. I'm gonna use the cub chew. Dear Plunko, how exactly do you type with boxes? Oh, instead of boxing gloves, got it. Yep. <laughs> took, yeah, me just... a sec took me a second. <laughs> I wonder if they have like internal documents of Pokemon uh, as to which Pokemon have to appear in every single Pokemon game. Pikachu. Eevee. Charmander. Boom! God, this thing is terrifying. Oh, oh he mad. Roto, to, 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 to. Hello, Plunger. This is Professor Sada. Great Tusk is a Pokemon that came from the great crater of Paldea. I ask that you do whatever you need is needed to subdue it for me, with all due caution, of course. Man, that is a dolphin. Great Tusk. It, I like. It maybe just has the nickname of Great Tusk. Yeah, probably. That did a lot more damage than I thought! Jesus Christ! Mmm, I... Mmm, I just see the... The very straight edges on the tusk. Big ol' elephant. Brick break, which I resist, so it did that on a not very effective. How is Water Pulse gonna do? Right then, I think I'm in way over my head here. We're gonna come back to this one. What do you mean you can't escape? I thought that was a crit. Well, was that a crit? <laughs> Energy <the> root! <laughs> Yeah, where's the monster hunter at? Where's the guy with the with the bell? Uh, yeah, with, with the bell. The Wait, hunter, no, no. Hey, do we have a pocket doll? Mm -hmm. Was it a crit? <laughs> All right, Kisara. Go! I think I'm just gonna have to black out here. You sorry? You sent out a blue-eyed white dragon? No, I don't think so. Then it's time for me to summon Dark Magician! Dark Magic Attack! Our gonna get off a little bit saying, Pow Wow, the Indian boy, loved all the animals in the West. We will, we will rock you! Tusk! 
I I'm appreciate the I can, reference. If I can handle it. Oh yeah, Turkey Day is also coming up. Wait, toughed it out so I wouldn't feel sad! Oh, sweet. Too bad it didn't do, do, deal nearly enough damage. Oh no, I have a really dumb idea and it's gonna use all of my other, all of my revives to do it. Now it's new, now it's new worm guys are gonna land a hit on this thing. Wait, there's actually more, I'm more thinking. Well, yeah, well, Great Tusk actually will be dumb enough to actually use ground moves on a new worm. I don't think it has any, it, it hasn't used a single ground move yet. Oh. I guess I'll try it with this. Yeah, so let's terminate the giant. Oh, okay. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Critical hit. That's a. Oh, if that's a level 40, then... Wait, yeah, that was a crit? Be. This might be, uh, ma uh, uh, Mastiff here might be my, uh, my best bet here. Hope to crest the... Does it have infinite EP? Never mind, it has Brick Break! The idea is I switch back and forth between, uh, Mastiff and other Pokémon. In order to to proc uh, intimidate over and over again. Oh, what is this, uh, Sandy Gas? Grass Terror type Sandy Gas. Okay. Gonna have to restock. Gonna have to restock here. I've sent a tiny dog up against a giant thing. Yes, Chad. Uh, let Tom experience these things. Then again, I just know the Pokemon and certain things, but in terms of levels and whatnot, ooh, I got that. Man, I really should have just brought the ostrich because it probably would have uh, would have had better luck against this thing. Although it does have knockoff, so maybe not. So this, this uh, battle just uh, informed me about something. Uh, the uh, ter terrestrializing on a ghost type allows curse to actually to use the non-ghost curse type. Interesting. Huh. That's actually, that's actually kind of clever. So Someone just said, give it a peanut butter and ether sandwich. <laughs> I'll give you a peanut butter and ether sandwich. And the reverse works too, so putting a ghost, but having a ghost type, ghost terror type with curse will actually give it the, the ghost. The, the ghost, that's, that is real interesting. That could make for some very interesting plays if you're able to keep some, if you're able to keep a Pokemon in place. Come true. I'm just curious about what's gonna happen with once home information. Uh, yeah, once yeah, once home gets implemented into the into this. Like, see a minus three or minus four right now. Is anybody been keeping track of that? Uh, I was not. <laughs> well, it might be something because. Uh, that, uh, that oh, didn't yeah. do as much as I oh, thought yeah, it was going to do. Oh yeah, where you can check statuses. <laughs> oh yeah, you can, check, you can check statuses. I keep forgetting about that. There's the brick break. And there goes Cherub. All right, now we're kind of we're kind of dealing with a situation where I have to get pretty lucky here. Let's go with Ray. This guy is fast as all hell. I'm gonna do one more to get him down to minus four, and then it's and then from there it's gonna be it's it's gonna be completely up to uh 
Oh, yeah, it's gonna be super effective. Forgot about that. Once, uh, once I send out Cherim again, it's gonna compl be completely up to, uh, Flea to take him out. And New Worm. Yes, Chad, this is Scar. You can tell by the- you can tell by the <laughs> Pokemon on screen, and also Tom's pants. By the red pants. <laughs> Wait, why- it, does it look different? In, does it does it look different in uh in violet? Yes, because from yeah, oh yeah, from one of the trailers, uh, they did introduce a different dolphin in that one. Uh, Interesting. Tom, you should be concerned about the red pants. Oh wait, no, you're playing. Oh, you're playing Scarlet. That's what I'm, ah, I'm blanking. I've been sick. Give me a. Give me a. I mean, yeah. he should be concerned about his red pants because they're about to become brown. No, I just bled on them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. They What's are that? you big. Terrestrialize, incinerate, and hope to God he doesn't actually have any ground type moves because he hasn't used a single one yet. So far, it's knock, uh, knock off, brick break. Uh, yeah, knock off, yeah. brick break, and rapid spin has been it so far. But we haven't seen that fourth move, which concerns me. Back here. Okay, that we're we're taking him down little by little. I'm gonna X defend as well. I try to see if I can sneak up on it. Kim, uh, Kim wants to give you soup. Uh, <laughs> Huh? Kim, uh, Kim and Chad wants to give you soup. Oh, for your ill- for your illness. Yeah, I really should get, uh, it's like, I have a chicken-flavored ramen, the issue is I don't have any, uh... I don't Wait, have chicken- chicken-flavored or actual chicken? It's chicken-flavored, but it has been helping. Also, chat, uh, please don't, uh, backseat Bob, uh, we can easily handle things from here. Oh, yours ah, is terrestrializing! Oh, never mind. No, I, we just—I oh, was—I forgot that it, that it stops when uh, when it gets too low on health. I I got concerned when uh when the terrestrializing went away. I forgot that it just that it doesn't go away. Find victory, the Quake Earth Titan. Victory. How about we go to a Pokemon Center first and ignore this uh this whole mishap here, huh? Yeah, it took us all night to beat that thing. Also, uh, I'm going to port. I thought we had the same thing, but no, you have the, uh, you have a different kind than me. I wonder if that means that the, that mine evolves differently than, uh, than yours does. Possibly, like, uh, possibly in regards to, to the future and past, uh, stuff. Yeah, I got a Sandstorm TM. Probably. Ow! Oh, hey, it's Sandstorm in the actual, uh, desert area. I actually haven't seen what the, what the other Dawn fan looks like in, uh, in Violet. I could, I could make a joke. But I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my tongue on that one. A unique evolution per game. If you were to trade one over from Violet and vice versa, would it still have the evolution of that game, or would it be like, oh, this one's from this game, therefore? Yeah, it's kind of like similar to uh, Cosmion, uh, back in uh, Sun and Moon. It's like if you take Cosmo, it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you take a Conspawn from uh, Sun and then transfer over to Moon, what would it evolve? God, Iron Head is doing so much damage. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do gym stuff before, before finishing that bit off because that, that was, that was rough. Yeah, I wonder how that one dude's doing. Oh, Curlia. I don't know. You can, I haven't even seen a Ralts in the wild. They have appeared on the map, but I don't think you actually have seen one properly. Again, it, was a, it was a ditto. Oh, hey, ditto. They 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 pulled a Pokemon Go on me. That's kind of that's actually kind of neat. Oh, you know what? You're right. I did catch a a raid Ralts. <laughs> this is so much also, pain. Ralts is, yeah. Uh oh. Ralts, yeah. Ralts in the wild is also small as well too, right? So they'll kind of blend into the grass, maybe. Yeah, but they're brighter than the grass. True. <laughs> if we call them all, it's called Tom Fox. Am 
My tankiest Pokemon could not handle a single hit from this thing. Holy Bring shit. more than pedal stool! I still see a frog in this thing. Yes, keep with your uproar as I cure you! Who wants Sparrow Jerky? Yeah, Morton has become Pedal Stool. The wild Ditto, calm down a bit. C calm down, Ditto! I just want to also comment on the fact that, uh, like, when the leaks were coming out and people were trying to upload stuff and I got managed to catch the first glimpses of Claude Sire. Uh oh! <laughs> I, I became. There's one particular meme in particular that I wanted to use as well, too. It's the, the one soldier that is basically on his knees, arms stretched out, and uh, have his back and towards like everything raining down on him while covering a sleepy child. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's basically me, me just doing that for you while trying to protect you from the knowledge of Claude Sire. <laughs> Also no, I didn't know salt cure. Wow. Okay, so that's interesting. Usually, like wrap or bind, um, they only persist as long as the Pokemon is out. Uh, but salt cure keeps going even after you switch out. You were overwhelmed by your defeat. Holy shit! Also, Burb is evolving. Yep. Oh. oh I didn't get a chance to see this thing up close. Oh, that's cool. Plastic bag, plastic bag, plastic A, a kilowattrol! Kill, kill, kilowattrol. I think I remember this one being called, a uh, Albatross in the, uh, in the late decks. I'm going to, uh... I'll be right back. Kilowattrol, the frigate bird Pokémon! It flies delivering electricity to areas that need it most because it can store it within its feathers. Yeah. I want to learn Electro Ball. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Not too uh, bad. Considering how fast this thing is, uh, I think it'd be good to get rid of Spark for that one. Yeah, I, I think this bird is an albatross, I think. Plungo's Pokemon evolved into Kilowattrol. Plungo. Plungo. Uh, Air Plungo. <gasps> Hello, Girafferig. Please actually be Giraffe Rig. Wait, what do you mean by that? Because, uh, uh because Mr. when Ditto. I ran to Curly, I meant it was a Ditto. Oh. I... No, is that, I that, is that a fairy in the background? That Psybeam did a lot of damage. Pluck. Mother Plucker. You're the motherfucker. I don't know if this thing evolves again, but if it does, I would love for it to be named like like Gigawatrol or something like that. Megawatrol. Hell, uh. Yeah, next up will. Yeah, next up will be Gigawatrol. Next would be Mega. Oh, oh, right. Kill it, Omega. I skip over that. Uh, Psybeam, but it doesn't work against the dog. Manatee, do you know you're immune to psychic attacks? <laughs> Actually, I don't know if Manatee would be dark type or not. Manatee, uh, uh, Manatee would be groundwater. Because he loves playing with the hose, and he and and every time I take him to the park, he gets very, the park he gets very dirty. Oh yeah, that other um, uh, Sharpay that you met, that her skin was uh, her, she looked very beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's a uh, that's what what the like the normal like um what do you call them like show ready Sharpay uh, looks like <laughs> with the uh, with the the brush coat instead of the bear coat. Yeah, she looked very pretty. So Manatee would be a Quagsire? Not necessarily. Manatee could be a Wishcash. Manatee could be a Manatee. 
We have yet to actually get a prop, uh, manatee Pokemon. In yeah, we have one named Dugong, but that isn't a Dugong. <laughs> I mean, I feel like the closest would be, like, Celio. Uh, no, nah, it's still a walrus. Yeah. Girafferig, the long-necked Pokemon. Its tail is actually the brains of the operation, telling the cute giraffe head what to do and how to charm people to get food. Will it depend on what Razor will probably bet? All right. Yeah, also probably will depend on what region will have a manatee show up in. Okay, Janine Garofalo, what is your nickname? Your name no is going to be... No matter the quality of the uh, Pokemon games, the OST is always really good. Oh, yeah. Uh, Giraffarig's name is going to be Spud, and uh, its quirk is that it doesn't believe in smartphones. <laughs> so it's back in the old days of just cell phones. Look at that facial hair. Oh yeah, no. We have no, so many Pokemon that have different nicknames. I think like at the end we'll just go through each of them to see what their what their traits are. Yeah. Just remember, Chad, uh don't talk about uh shiny Pokemon. At least for Yeah, no, I want to discover what, what colors they are on my own. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, Which uh one, I'm guessing water doesn't have an uh, when you yeah, start water does have an uh, uh evolution that was right next to Eevee, so uh nope. When you start doing uh shiny uh Shiny thing, that what, whatever. Shiny yeah, hunting? Hunt. Yeah, shiny hunting. Again. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm guessing you, when you have the uh, Pokemon in the uh, up right hand, it'll just be the regular color. Hmm, that, good, good point. I have no idea. I guess it will be uh, in the, the normal color, yeah. Because uh, that would work then, because it's the uh, it would be the amount of times I encountered the wrong color. <laughs> Hello, Palmo. You have a very weird evolution. Hello, Grimer. I caught you very early on. I mean, it's not really that weird. It's just people are just not as that way. Going the about Pokemon with three heads uses headbutt. Shouldn't it hit three times? You wish. No, nope. that hmm, that probably be more of an ability in certain cases. But yeah, I think really for nice. I think for something like that, it'd probably be more. Oh, of a I love probably. the oh the this is great. I love the market here. Can you actually buy stuff? I have not checked. Anything catch your eye? Sorry, Amiga, but I, uh, you have to, you have to have more bidding experience. To, oh, they're, they're auctions. Huh. Neat. Welcome, get, care to have a look. Yes, I would care to have a look, but you won't let me. There we go. Oh, I forgot that you're a terror type bug. I just lowered my damage. Damn it. I'm guessing they're saying you're too young to be here. Go LA. Yeah. Oh, hopefully. Oh, man. Bacon? Potato tortilla? Prosciutto! All the way from the Italy. It's a region that we haven't uh, gotten to yet. Ooh, what? hamburg sandwich? Smoked filet? Watercress? Vinegar? Chili sauce? It looks very much like sriracha. It's thanks to Scoville that th that the sauce gets signature mouth tingling burn. Basil, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, I yellow bell questions. pepper. I have questions. Bacon. Ow. I'm just curious about the potato. Uh, pota also, yeah. ooh, ooh, one thing I one thing I realized is you have to go to save for that. No, no, no. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you check like your trainer card? Uh, should be in the Poke uh, Portal. Uh, the trainer card, I believe, is where is you can check it on the map. Weird. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's weird, but that is. Nope, that's getting rid of the map. Uh, map oh yeah, what? The, oh yeah, why we're at it? Uh, have Profile. you checked the? Wait, hold on. St no, that's where I am. Yeah. But yeah, by the way, uh, have you checked the rewards for your Poke at this point? Oh, I haven't checked them in a while. Look, recipes collected. There is a hoagie dex. <laughs> Wait, would that also count for the various other different recipes? Uh, yeah, other fruit items in the world, or hmm. You want to get that a test? Like, what, what do you mean? 
Uh, find like an ice cream cart and see what happens. I oh oh oh. Vaulted Velusa, where where in the world? Is Carbon San Diego? Where in the world's my wallet? Oh, my wallet! I won't be able to get today's hot items. It'll get bought up by somebody that else. Oh. Okay, I misheard that as mullet. I I said mullet. Oh my god, I love him. Kofu is amazing. Don't worry, old man Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. What do you want? Old man Kofu's in the middle of uh, of something super duper important ingredient buying. If you're thinking of trying to interrupt him, then I, his best apprentice, will have to stop you. Do you have something super important you want to say to us busy folk or what? This is super important. Super important, huh? We'll see about that. Maybe a battle will shut your mouth. Ah, uh, the overzealous apprentice. You know you're just wasting time, Gym Trainer Hugo. Okay, is this better or worse compared to uh, Eno's followers? I'm probably gonna say better. Oh, this is, um... You know, it's tough to say. I was wondering where you were. I am not fast in this thing. You would think because Electric Bird, but then again... Well, I'm, also lower, I'm, also, I'm also three levels lower than this thing. Then again, the Bleasing Wind is also very quick. I wish I just had a little bit more damage on that one. Let's go with the Super Posh. How big is Kilowattrel? Dude, if it's, it's, it's based on a Frigate Bird, which I thought it was based on an Albatross, because it kind of looks like an Albatross, but if it's like an Albatross, it's big! The characters in this game are great. I love I just keep, And I just keep thinking of the, bit, the one bit from uh, Colon High. Blast the bag, blast the bag, blast the bag. Blast the bag. Based on a Kestrel. Or Petrel. It's about to send out Clauncher. Wait, Shrimp is in this game! And you wanted to get a shiny uh, shrimp at some point, right? At some point, I'll get shrimp. I mean, wait. I might be thinking of Pixelmon where you found the. Your yeah, shiny no, shrimp. I found I found shiny. Uh, hold on, I found shiny. Shrimp. <laughs> in Pixelmon, yeah. It was in that uh, that competition that I was part of. Yeah, yeah. Good old fruit pipe. Would be nice to actually get a proper one in one of these games. Yeah. Good thing I didn't keep Watch Roll up because that thing knew SmackDown. Ooh, that was a critical? Good lord. Also, I just realized that for one of the inspirations for uh, Velusa, it is based off of one of those to toys that, uh, that you can, uh, yeah, it's based, on, it's based on a toy that's a fish that you can take a part in all that. I think it's mainly used for sushi, uh, sushi making? Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can see it because it looks like he's got like um. That'll explain how you get the fillets from when you kill him. Shucks, that little man Kofu down. Oh, it turns out the culture is a five hundred exclusive. Well, I've I have both games, so uh, when I when I do my my uh, what do you call it, my personal game, it? then I'll no when I do my personal game, I'll I'll play that one for uh for getting a. Uh, a shrimp. Right, right, right. Dang I it, that backfired want... on my wallet's empty too. I could look for a uh, terror raid battle for it if you want. Nah, it's all good. Hey, you know, step right up and tell me, what's all the ruckus of, uh, about over here? You know, dude, you, you don't exactly have to give us money, you know that? Uh, old man Kofu, seems this kid's got something to say to you. What's that now? Customer here for a little old weightless, moneyless me? A wallless, moneyless me? What can I do for you? I have your wallet. I pickpocketed it. You returned Kofu's wallet to him. Von Velusa, my wallet! Say what now? My lobby staffer sent you out here to bring it to me. Ha <laughs> that's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice too. He did, I uh, hope he didn't bother you too much. There's something here uh, at Porto Marinata, uh, at the Porto Marinata auction that we really want to get our hands on. So as you can imagine, we're, uh, we were both in, uh, a bit worked up to find, uh, to find I've forgotten my wallet. Ladies and gentlemen, you won't want to miss this! Here comes today's last item! Hmm? 
Feast your eyes on the main event! I have here a legendary wakame seaweed of the Hoenn region! Do I have any takers? Von Valuta! I don't even have to touch it! I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed chock full of nutrients! And just look at it! Look how it catches the light and shines so brilliantly! Oh, and that rich fresh aroma of something plucked straight out of the ocean! I need to get me some of that! Now listen, kid. If you want to challenge me at the Cascafara, uh, Cascafara gym, you're gonna need some smarts. And this is the perfect place to test you. Get the winning bid on that seaweed for this old man. Uh, all right, I'll give him my best shot. <laughs> you really already know the ins and outs of auctions at such a young age. You're something else, kid. Here you are, fighting funds for the auction. Uh, be smart with it and win this old man that seaweed. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of uh. His History Channel, I, I know a thing or two about auction houses. You can see why I say that I love Gofu already. <laughs> also, Gym I was test. Make the winning bid at the auction. How is this a test? <laughs> why is oh, this a test? Oh, and Welcome to Seaweed. We'll start the bidding at 10,000 Poké Dollars. 15,000 15, Poké Dollars. 25,000 Poké Dollars. Wait, 25,000. We're at 25,000. Do I hear more? 30,000. I hear a bid for 30,000. Do I hear more? Th we're currently at 30,000. What a big spender. 40,000. We have 40,000. 40,000. Do I hear more? 50,000. Do I hear more? We're currently at 50,000. What in the world? Sold. Sold for 50,000. Little lady over there. Well done, kid. Guess I lost. Honestly, that was amazing. The... You put those grown up bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking it now if you don't mind. You uh, uh, handed the legendary it. wakame seaweed to Kofu. This seaweed's a great catch. I'd be feeling low uh, as a seabed if I failed to get my hands on it. If there's anything I that uh, any of that money I gave you left, feel free to keep it as a tip. You can even use it to try your hands at the auction again if you like. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ca ca uh, cas Cascarafa gym now. Old man Kofu's gonna uh, prepare a real good battle for you. See you there. Real, as in reeling in fish. He's a Shokugeki no Soma character. <laughs> I was about to say that the seaweed be on display. I was thinking that was from Delmise. Oh like, yeah, that could be a th yeah. Yeah, because just remember, folks, the Delmise means that you see is actually the seaweed, not the not the anchor, not the t not the wheel, the seaweed. Yep. Gra gra like grass and ghost, and it just has the ability steel worker, which gives it a stab, uh, which gives a stab with steel moves. So it technically has three stab types. Well, so I, was about to, I was just thinking that if if Dumbice gets into this game somehow, well, and since we have the terrestrializing, I mean, having a fourth type on that will be insane. It's big long metal box things here are what we call shipping containers. We pack them full of goods uh, and things to sell, then ship them off across the sea. Plus, even after terrestrializing, it'll still maintain the uh, the the steel um the uh, the steel uh, uh uh what do you call it the steel stab. Girl, do you lift? I'm very sure that she lifts these uh, shipping containers by herself just for the. Love I, of I her. bow to you, woman. <laughs> there we go. See strong. Look at those biceps! I know, right? Good God! Like I'm very sure she lifts these things on a daily basis, if not weekly. Woman's a woman's a bodybuilder. I'm curious if uh, if I wait at the uh, stadium, if uh, when you come to the when you come to the uh, gym battle, if I'll be able to actually watch it. I have no idea. Because I know you can see uh, wild Pokemon. Wait, can battles, you actually take a picture? But, sure, and, but you can't see trainer battles. I'm not sure about gym battles though. I don't know if you can see some gym battles because there's some where it's like where the where like the angle and, and everything completely changes. You can't move the camera. Man, Kofu. Tried it yet? That's soy and green. I don't think we want to eat that. Oh, wait. Now I can go to these. Uh, 49 swift feathers. The bidding starts at 7,300. Maybe next time. Seven quick balls for 1,900. Hey, Kyrie, dude. It's like, hey, Kyrie, I found your swift balls. Uh, quick balls. Oh, that's how this you works. You quick balls over there? <laughs> <laughs> I think I yeah I had him at the auction. 
Ow. Well, all right, I still gotta take care Maybe of that. Maybe too excited, I, I, Corey. I, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> take care of that, that, uh, that, that monstrosity over there that I'm having trouble with. All right, uh, Arvin can help out with, the, with that. So, at the very least, it'll True. ease your pain. I can go up to level 40 now. It's just, uh, I need to actually, you know, survive a single iron head. Oh, hey, an excuse. Because <laughs> that would actually be very helpful. I feel like I'm not training my Pokemon properly. Because <laughs> I feel like I should be higher level than this. Uh, what? Whoa. I think also maybe you probably could be also be. What are you? Fireball? Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's that? still a Tauros. I found a Tauros with like a red pattern on it. Yeah, it's it's a fireball. And pluck is now. Oh, it was always super effective. Yeah, because it's fighting huh. type. Yeah. Yeah. But the ta the tail is twisted, and the uh, and and it's got like red in its mane. I wonder if like super interesting. That's very new. Pluck one more time, and we should be able to start chucking balls. And the horn scroll as well too. That is, should we be concerned for that? That's true. I have been, I have been swapping out for lower level Pokemon. Mm -hmm. This guy is didn't auction me quick balls. He auctions uh, dusk balls for me, which are also still crazy good either way. Wait, how many quick balls are are you being offered? Three dusk balls. Oh, three. Okay, three from what? Flame charge. So fire fight. Uh, oh, so hey. given so given what I saw with the Dawn fan, it's the same Pokemon, just just like just like uh, different typing on it, depending on which game it's in, right? I think so. Uh, do you want actual confirmation or no? I mean, might as well, because if, if it's uh, if it's uh, version differences, I'm not going to see them. Okay. For there is actually two t two different Tauros in, uh, Tauros in this game. There's in this game, fire. or uh, in in this game, or as as a version difference. When as you a say in, difference. okay, because when you say in this game, I'm thinking you mean Pokemon Scarlet in general. Well, yeah. There's also two different Tauros in this game because you have the the normal oh, the, fighting right, one. the normal one, and then gotcha, yeah. Yeah. But in Violet, you have a water one, which happens to look like a water buffalo. Uh, so it actually has the horns of, of a water buffalo, and its tail is also different. And I believe its mane is yeah, its mane is also different. Mane's also different. I just compared. looked over on your on your screen, Tom, and it's just floating crocodile. Oh yeah, floating bean. Aqua cut. Oh, yeah. Aqua Cutter, right. 70 power, heightened chance of landing a critical hit. Much better than Water Pulse in this thing, I'll tell you that much. Uh, but it's... Wait, is Cutter special or physical? Cutter's physical. Wait. I gotta fight. Uh, yeah, Palda Paldean form, fire, uh, fighting fire, and like, but it doesn't address that it's, that it's like a different version of it in the Pokedex. Oh, but it's got a different Pokedex entry. Why? Weird. Yeah, because this is the fire. This is the fire version, not the uh, no, the normal fighting. Oh no! Oh hey, another chance. I already caught a giraffe rig. Oh wait, never mind. I thought, it's I it's uh, it, it's um, Char Cadet that I'm having issues with. Also, there was. The, I was gonna say the there was also the Ditto as well too, and the Curry. Oh no, that was um. What was that? That was Curlia, right? Yeah, it was the Curia, then it transformed to Ditto. So I, I guess, so following that up, I guess, could I raise a... So that, so that thing we saw, so that, that Titan Pokemon then, that's, that's just a Dawn fan then. That's a Dawn, that's not an evolution, that's just Dawn fan in a different form. I believe so. I'm very certain you'll get some answers soon. And yes, I do want to know. Correct. Gotcha. All right. I'm learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very certain that Arvin will explain to you everything about it. Which means something for me here. I'm going to bring Paul with me for this for this particular battle. 
Oh, it's also male as well too, so it's fitting. Out of the Pokemon, so not including Paul, because I'm pretty sure Paul doesn't evolve. It might, but I don't know. Out of the Pokemon I have in my party, how many of them evolve by leveling up? Um, uh, counting. Oh, the, the, two. The, don't mention anything specific. Just yeah, uh, counting from what I know so far, two. I don't know about the third one in question, but otherwise, it's two to three. Four in my party evolve. Wait. I can only assume. No, Greg. I think Greg's trying to say three. Wait, four? No, I said four. Oh. Everyone's. Ever, I see oh, some. Oh, oh, two right. do not. Yeah, two yeah. do not evolve. I'm going to assume that they're New Worm and Ray. Because I want Pokemon up at my party that can evolve. So I'm bringing. I guess actually, New Worm is going to be in a, in my party for the fight against the. Uh, Who's a what's it there? I don't think Matt Demon's gonna evolve. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, let's see if I can actually handle. This ah, we'll bring game. nickname back into the party as well. That gives us two psychic Pokemon. All right. Uh, put Paul on the top. We're using Paul for levels purposes. All right, hold. So uh, unless they unless they change something, Paul will definitely listen to me. Oof. I am kicking things around by mistake, and I did not mean to do that. Because in because uh, we get this misinformation every single Pokemon game. Only awesome. Pokemon that are traded to you won't obey you. Also, Greg, we can easily ha I can handle things. You're good. Please don't backseat mod. I mean, it, it's good you're, you're helping out and all that, and there are times where I'm going to be missing things as well too, but please do not backseat mod. There he is. Actually, you know what I could do? There's Dolphin. Oh yeah, normal Dolphin. Uh... Let's start with Cherim. He's, he tried to roll into me! The bastard! How rude! Oh yeah! Give me some of that sweet herb! Give, give the Titan me Great Tusk began to eating something. Yeah. After one turn, it woke up. Fuck you. Plungo, looks like you found yourself a Titan. Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan? Uh, is that thing even a Pokemon? It must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Time to show that thing what you and me could do, Plungo. You and I. <laughs> is there any of some of the reactions I have been seeing from Lynx and all that? Some people are, are asking the same, same exact question there, Arpin. Like, is this even a Pokemon? Uh... Spoiler, the answer is yes. Paul. I'm gonna use Scovillain I caught nearby to seize this, uh, real spicy victory. This is gonna burn! Are you sure about this? If it has a fourth move, we haven't seen it yet. Right, since we don't know if it actually has an earth, uh, ground move. Sacrifice Ooh, pluck is super effective. Oh, probably not right. bug, probably not grass. So it's probably it's probably ground fighting. Wait, uh is grass uh resist ground? No. Yes, yes it does. Okay, Thank you, so, quick claw. So actually we'll uh do twice, uh Oh, they did change it then. I'm kind of glad they did, because you could just breeze through these games with high-level Pokemon if you if you were to find them and catch them. Mm. That's also kind of nice. Thing. Yeah. Oppor also, opportunist is a really good ability. If it, it it does it, it 
like, am I reading too far into- I gotta read that ability, cause, uh... Hope, uh I'm wondering if it just raises speed, or if it copies the- its opponent's, uh, stat changes. Uh... I'm gonna double check that on Seraphine. Oh, that I, oh, you don't have to double check it. I can read the uh, the the thing. Oh yeah, right. It says uh, I think. Ooh, if an opponent's stat is boosted, the Pokemon seizes the opportunity to boost the same stat for itself. Woo! I should be using EXP candies, honestly. Get yeah, them all. You could also be making the sandwiches with the uh, EXP boost as well too, but I think that's also applying to certain types. So that's I think not... I think it is because like I, I haven't seen one that's just a straight up. Oh no, I have seen ones that are just straight up EXP boost. Okay. Because uh, there was like a there was like a descriptor for it. Hmm. Why don't you ever go for the pepper? Man, this is just reminding me of stuff I do in fourteen. It's like none of the AI. Yeah, none of the enemies just want to go for the for the AI opponents. They want to go for me because I'm apparently the smart one. It's like they know which one is the bigger threat. Despite the fact that, well, Spicy Pepper over there was shooting at, shooting super effective moves at it. Spicy Pet Man. Go, Morton. Minecraft Pig, go. He will never not be Minecraft Pig. Yeah, I mentioned, uh, Zerby. Let's start by salt curing it. Shaka, 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 shaka. Mmm. Salt cured... Uh. Elephant. Yeah. Who wants some elephant meat?! Oh. Tom, no, this is a- this is a bad idea. This is how you're gonna get the uh, elephant mafia to come after you. True story! Elf, elephants actually did come showing up at a, at a woman's funeral and dragged the woman's body off and beat and beat it senseless because of uh, her husband actually said, se uh, yeah, her hunter, yeah, her husband, uh, yeah, I think her husband and, and some poachers went out to kill kill some of the elephant's family. So I know. Oh, someone, someone said stored power opportunists would be, uh, would be a real, uh, Real piece of work on es uh, uh, es uh, es Espathra. I keep wanting to call it Espartha. I just call it Lady Gaga. Hurt by the cure. Uh, does he even have stored power? I, I assume we could probably learn it through TM. Uh, it does. So I uh, actually put items onto my Pokemon and completely bodied my version of the Great Tusk. <laughs> <laughs> Defeated the Titan Great Tusk. Look at how happy the Minecraft pig is. <gasps> Wiglet's evolving! Oh. Three garden eels. Three garden eels. They're red! Wug Trio! They just replaced the they just replaced the D with a W on both of them. <laughs> Whoever discovered them does, is not very creative. No, not at all. Now they I mean, really now they really look like hot like hot dogs. <laughs> they look so smooth. They... Wug Trio, the garden eel Pokemon! Created by Oscar Mayer, these, uh, these Pokemon were bred to be the most delicious and tasty of them all. He's saying for, for liquid. Oh, I right. wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. That <laughs> yeah. is what I'd really yeah, like to be. Japanese, yeah, compare this with the Japanese name because, uh, the Japanese name for, uh, liquid is literally Sea Diglett. Sea Diglett? Yes! Nice going, little buddy. No problem, so Skipper. What even was that thing, though? So I feel like, basically, I, I'm I kind of feel that, like uh, maybe I've seen it some uh, before somewhere. So I'm betting that uh, Wug Trio here is literally called a uh, C Doug uh, Doug Trio. C Doug Trio, yeah. Anyway, that would make sense. Uh, I bet if we head inside here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica I was he was eating. Let's give maybe the place a once over before actually. that thing decides to come back. And yeah, maybe make something oh, that's I a might. bit more edible this time compared to the, your last the, the, the bitter one. Made? Yeah. yeah. I, 
Oh, you already did the bitter cutscene. Okay, so. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is your third one. Yep. I'm sure there's some here too. too. Yeah. yeah, that, 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 uh, that second cutscene was brutal, sad. unbelievably brutal. Ha! It was sad. There's, there's an item ball in here too. Unless it's just where it stores Pokeballs and data. I knew it! I spy Herba Mystica! You and Arvin found the sour Herba Mystica. Oh, maybe this won't be as good. Another successful search. We're on a roll! Oh, it's one of five of the different, like, tastes that they got for the, uh, the, um, the contests. Mmm. Now then, let's see. Actually, what does the book actually, have to say? I don't want to be too bad on a sandwich. Okay, really Sour Herba Mystica is chock full of nutrients and is great for boosting your overall health. It says here it works so, wonders uh, whether you're tired physically or mentally. Perks you right up. So, it's basically any citrus. Like, gotcha. It's, it's a four hour, uh, uh, five hour energy. This will definitely help boost my boss uh, this will definitely help my boss to feel better. Come on, Plungo, let's get some food going. Oh, salty replaces dry, okay. Yeah, hey ya, watcha! Gotta get back, back to the past, Samurai Jack. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go, another of your old, uh, favorite old Arvin sandwiches. And it comes with a special Titan badge. The Pokemon League might not recognize it, but I hope you appreciate it all the same. I'm not gonna eat this thing. I don't like the color of the fluid that's coming off of it. Oh, that, <laughs> oh, that looks nasty. Hey, raw sewage! Ah! <laughs> Sour sewage. Ah. Are you sure he has to take it home, Met class? Who wants some of my sewer sandwich? <laughs> I'm good. Ooh, sour, so sour. Oh. <laughs> what happened to the sour ball? I don't know. Gas? Child of ham. I smelled more ham sandwich. I figured this might happen. Don't worry, I made extra this time for that brute of yours. And we just- we just watched Karada's face just spiral in on itself. You wanna give your sandwich to Karadon? I'll share. When we get the salty one though, I'm just gonna say that it's mine. Gans! Child of ham, thank you. Come on out, my boss. I've got, got some for you too, bud. Yeah, it's just a Pokeball sitting there. So, uh, we're gonna pick it up, right? Give this- give this dog pets. Whoa. That's it. Small bites, small bites. Meanwhile, he's just gonna eat the whole thing in one go. <laughs> Child of ham, it is delicious. And... Cue the puckering. Ah, yeah! Child of Ham, a new power dwells within me. Karina will be able to glide now. Come on, at least bother to taste it before you swallow it right down, would you? You are not Wait. the child of Ham. Wait, the Pokeball is the placeholder. Ah, yeah! For people can figure, those Pokeballs that randomly appear are dev markers for the room center. Gotcha. Mm. Spruce seems to be benefiting from the herbs too, I guess, in its in, in its own sort of way. Why? Oh yeah, before I forget, Plungo, take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near an Herba Mystica when we find them, right? Honestly, that kind of makes sense, uh, at least for him, in this particular scene. Yeah. We, Arvin, we literally read in the last passage of that book that people planted the Herba Mystica to try to cultivate them, and then Pokemon moved in and ate them, which made them giant. Like the book says, it's not a big old Pokemon, uh, it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. It's actually something in the herbs that's making the Titan so big and strong. All I so does that do mean a Titan's do lair do isn't really some, isn't really, uh, some kind of treasure hoard or whatever? It's just a pantry where Giant the Titan Pokemon. keeps its food? Giant Pokemon. Oh, you done with your sandwich, my boss stiff. It's just like half of the sandwich. <laughs> Ruff! Oh, that's not a shadow. That was actually a napkin. You, you heard that, right, Plungo? Mabostov just woofed, right? Yep. Ork. And the tears start. Right? I'm not imagining things. 
Hey, wolf. <laughs> see? See that? I knew I wasn't just hearing things. Oh, my boss, Div, who's my best bot, huh? Who's the best of boys? You are. Yes, you are. <laughs> it's been so long since I heard that wolf. Mabostiv is definitely getting better. Ever since I teamed up with you, good things keep happening. But we've still got two more herbs to go. Hope you'll stick it out with me until we're done. Agya! <laughs> He's getting better. I don't oh, know if it's I the love you, or not, but I have legit... I legit started... I was going to start actually start choking up when I heard the wolf. That uh, like the first one in, per in particular hits you like a gut, like is a is a gut punch though. Especially for those who have watched the Sun and Moon anime. Uh, I'm gonna wait for you to get a cutscene for this. Hello, Plunga. Plunga, this is Sada. I detect the Coridon has regained more of its original power. After it has jumped in the air, you should try. You should try pressing B again. Uh, it should glide now. Press B when you're in the air and Coridon will glide for you. If you press B once more, you'll stop gliding and start falling immediately. Please continue to take good care of Coridon. So, Tom, how do you feel about a uh, three-star terrible mm. battle? I'm down for it. It'll, ah. give, it'll give me one at a level that I could use, and if it's one that'll help me with the gym, I'm all for it. Uh, it probably won't help with that because it's a fire. It's a fire terror, right? It's a fire. Well, yeah, it's a fire terror raid, but the uh, but the the type of the base Pokemon might be helpful. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure you've seen Ghastly around, right? Oh, it's a Ghastly then. It it's a Haunter. Oh, it's a Haunter. Even better. Uh, Nate with the 300 bits saying new trait cheats at cards, but nobody can prove it. Get it. And it. Haunt, 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 haunt. It's a fire haunter, so fire punch will actually work. With the wisp. Change your Pokemon. So it's not proper flight we have gotten, it's just... Gliding. Yeah. I know climbing is one because we saw that in the trailer, I just don't know what the last one is, and I don't want to know yet. It probably has levitate, so uh, actually I could just use Morton for this one. I'm very certain we probably will get proper flight at some point, but mm, we'll see. I keep on forgetting that I actually have to press start raid battle. <laughs> yep, it's following with style chat. Can, 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 can Haunter and Gengar learn any other fire type moves aside from fire punch? Uh, I think flamethrower, but I'm, that's not physical. Because like, the, the thing is, you, want, you, probably, you probably want terra types that, that cover their weaknesses, so that way you can throw a wrench into what uh, into whatever um, into whatever's yeah. going to be thrown at you. They, they can learn Sunny Day. Uh, Will of the List. Uh, okay, that's just for Ghastly, though. Otherwise, in terms of, like, proper fire moves, only... Only fire, fire punch? punch? Only fire punch. It's level 35. The reason I know that is because it just used, uh... Just used Nightshade, which, uh, oh. defense cheering is not gonna work. Guess who's a dummy in... And put out a ground. Put type. out a ground type. So I'm just gonna coil a bit and then we'll sway. One check the uh, Gengar because our first sort of Gengar probably will have a better move. Oh wait, wait! You can use you can use ground moves now. I use SmackDown. Oh. Yep. No. Uh. Yeah. The only fire well, moves that uh. Yeah. The yep. only fire I... moves are Sunny Day, Will West, and Fire Punch. So. That ain't good. Man, that bumped us down in time a lot. Why is the Skiddo using Tackle? Why is the Pawnyard using... using... Oh my goodness. Heal up. I mean, both of us is still... You might want to use Coil anyway for, for a turn, just because, uh... Just because Smackdown takes a, a turn to, to go into effect. Well, it was still a good move in terms of like getting the status off, but yeah, it's not I can dig. Yeah, that but works it too. Wait, it doesn't have levitating. It actually got nerfed. No way. I think it's Gengar that doesn't have levitating. Gengar does not have levitate. Yes. 
Yeah, Haunter has Levitate. Ghastly so. and Haunter do. Not a big fan of will -O -Lisp. So, I would imagine that if you give this... There it is! Yeah. I imagine if you give a Haunter a, a Flying Terror type... Oh man, that would get rid of... Bulldoze, the... Bulldoze, Bulldoze. I don't know if it'll hit it again because I think I think uh, SmackDown doesn't work. Uh, stops working after oh one move. I one hit turn. it, but it didn't kill. Wait, wait, what am I thinking? Flying would just negate the. One, one more. We got this. Oh, you died. Are we really gonna trust the AI for this one? Gathering tremendous energy. Energy. There's not. Uh, there's not much time. Go! Go! Metal Man, blame the fact that the AI go. is not smart. Oh, the SmackDown got it. Oh, thank God. Holy crap. Level 3 star is a bit brutal. Well, we're also not quite up to snuff to take them on. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it be all dizzy. Guys. <laughs> you guys are great. Haunta. And there's my desktop wallpaper. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I, I know. I just got a new one. Still. Oh yeah, right. I was gonna also say that at least on Serapy, uh, none of the shiny Pokemon have been updated yet. Team three star. It's... All right, I'm gonna snap the bald one's neck. Gonna, totally gonna yell Team three star when uh. Oh when, wait, uh... no, mind. I'm. Be... I think it. Yeah, I think Joe's. Working on uh, getting the shiny po Pokemon up. I've not found Tentacool yet. We've been so. Yeah, we've been. Haunter! The gas Pokemon! It likes to reach into people's souls and pull out their souls! What is your nickname, uh, Haunter? And then yeah. this is your crystal. Now. Yeah. We still have plenty of time, we can still. We can still find it, uh, our Tolstol. Yeah, Tolstol. <laughs> I ate this castle kid, it's making me all dizzy. Your grandpa. And, uh, it's, um. Its trait is like spicy food, but tends to go overboard with the spiciness because it's sensitive to it as well. Fitting? 12 and 5. One one person in the chat is saying they ate the cast the kid and they make it feel all dizzy. Very appropriate and very well timed. I would say that's pretty fitting because of uh Oh the shoot, fact what that was it's what was Giraffarig's uh nickname? Higher. And does anyone remember wait, hold on a second. I better undo a few things here. Oh shoot. Oh, I might have gone too far. It was Spud, okay. Yeah. Oh shoot, that's going. Okay. And that was the Bella Bunny's nickname, I believe. Yes. I'm one shotting with bullet seed. And then five. All right. Maybe I'll just go bury my head in the sand. Send to boxes. Quanta! Plungo got a haunter. Plungo. No freaking way. Found the dung beetle. I found the dung beetle. Ah! Relor. It's just roller backwards because it's pushing it with its feet. <laughs> I did not realize that. That's <laughs> The localization, the localization have fun with these names. Oh, that may be not good. Oh, it's got takedown. That's bad. Uh, it lives. But here's the thing. About, yeah, here's Dang the thing it. about that. Uh, I don't want to eat that because that. Uh, yeah, if that tip, 
If that was a 10-bit uh, slash donut ball, I don't want to be eating it because it's covered in sand. What the hell is this Pokedex entry? By mixing sand, dirt with psychic energy, but it's normal, it's just bug type. So that means it's probably going to evolve into a psychic type then, based on this Pokedex entry alone. Probably. Relor, the rolling Pokemon. After North Nietzsche, Park, Duffy, Sands, Gelf, Gars, Dave, Alves, Gup, and Gabop. All right, and what is your nickname, friend? Ah, thou art I. I am thou. Thou art I. And uh, thou, uh, thou art I uh, really wants to play Halo Reach with John. I can't believe they added a dung beetle. Uh, add to party. Let's pop it in in place of Paul. Yeah, because we're not sick, we're gonna be using Paul anytime soon. Yep. Well, also, Paul doesn't evolve, and that's all I really care about right now. Yeah, true. I wish they- when it- when it says Relor Mud, I was hoping it'd be Relor Mud. Uh, Grigor up three to bit saying, <laughs> does- does not want to be put in Pel- uh, Pelipper mouth. I'm also gonna get rid of Kisara, even though, my god, that those Oscar Mayer wieners are amazing. Again, it's so smooth. Uh, let me get the dolphin. Actually, I should probably use something that's good against the next gem. New favorite Pokemon in this game outside of Clodzire? Uh, ooh. I like Minecraft Pig. I like the Pepper. Oh, uh, Low Kicks. Low Kicks is probably my new favorite, uh, in this generation aside from Clodzire. Yeah, there are a wild Larvesta of Robin around. And Flamigo, uh, yeah, Flamigo is a good one. Flamigo, yes. Fl Actually, I think Flamigo is probably my favorite um, in this generation, aside from Clodzire. Yeah, it's just like a, it's just like an inflatable uh, balloon of uh, Flamingo. It's a straight up a balloon animal. It does look very balloon animal esque. <laughs> I have made the comparison. <laughs> For whatever reason, I was thinking of the, uh, the bit from. Um... Ooh, I just realized something. Do I have, like, a good grass type to go up against this gym? I don't think I do, because I got the pepper, but it's also fire type. The reason, uh, the, the reason I'm kind of, like, uh, pontificating on this is because of the possibility that the Pokemon the gym leader uses to kind of be, like, the, the, the counter, as it were. Mm -hmm. He's probably, probably definitely got a Floatzel. But rather, not really the counter, but his, um, his, um, the way he's gonna Terrastalize. I'm only, I'm, this is a, an assumption, uh, so, you know, Whatever. I'm assuming it's either gonna have Volt Absorb or uh, Sap Sipper. Yeah. Yeah, because you all, you do have Kill Waddle, but yeah, there is a good chance that uh, Volt Absorb is a thing. Yeah. It's like the the, the, the it's like the what was it? We had the the bug. What was the bug one? What was the the one that was uh that was terrestrialized into a bug type in the the bug Teddy game? Ursa. Okay, so that was uh, that's, 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 that's just that's just, just, just kind of like a dip your toes into it kind of thing, and then you have pseudo wudo, which is like kind of a joke, in that regard, um yep. to turn it into a grass type. But then there's and actual then, strategy involved with Miss Magius being a uh, turning into electro annoying. electric type. So that's mm -hmm. why I'm kind of uh, assuming that this guy's gonna have uh like something that that resists electricity or like. Cancels out electricity and, um, and, uh, grass. Well now, Plungo. Well now, Plungo. You appear to be progressing on your gym circuit. Hi, Tim. What's this now? Is that the kid I've been hearing so much about? Who's this, Dweeb? Hey, kiddo. I heard you're, like, way too good at battling, yeah? Well, not that good. Pfft, you can't fool me that easily. No need to play humble, you hear? I do not like his shoes. Her. her. This young lady oh, would be Rika. That's Sorry. me, Rika here, like at your service. Shoes. 
I know, I know. A, a lot of people are surprised about her uh, appearance. And hey, I know I'm pretty good, but no need to get intimidated or anything. I'm just gonna purr. She is, uh, uh, she's, she's a little farcical, shall we say, but like myself, she's a member of the Elite Four. What? I was trying to be funny. Anyway, hmm. Tell you something, kiddo, you look fun. Like, interesting. At a glance, anyway. Naturally, she's one of our Academy's uh, esteemed students. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. The battles you'll face at these gyms really ratchet up the farther you go. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge at uh, roughly this very point. But not you, right, kiddo? See you when you hit the champion assessment. You show these gyms what you've got. Best of fortunes to you. Also, sir, someone did not come, uh, did not encounter you. Oh, yeah. Didn't she call me on the out outside, though? Yeah, where's Goku? <laughs> hey, it's me, Goku. I mean, considering the way she behaves, she's, she's basically is Goku, just without the Saiyan part. Plungo, I heard you reunited Kofu with his wallet. And also, I can't thank you enough. This is a little irregular, but please consider your gym past, uh, gym test passed. Are you ready to challenge the gym leader Kofu, the surging chef? Yes? Very well. Allow me to show you to the battle court. <laughs> when I when I saw Rika, I was like, "Damn, is this my gay awakening?" And then it was like, "Rika, uh, she," and I was like, "Oh, nope, actually no." So, uh, how big is your harem now? <laughs> Let's see, all the all the female teachers, the one male teacher, uh, the other male teacher. Oh man, Kofu, play with us, come on! I would be honored uh, if you would try a new item for my restaurant's, uh, I would be honored if you would try a new item for my restaurant's menu as well. Sorry, everybody, got some business to take care of as a gym leader real quick, like. I'm keeping someone waiting, you see, please forgive me, I need to do this first. Okay! I just love, I just love his unibrow. Him, uh, him as well. I, I would bet him. Kofu. Yeah. Gee, I wonder where he keeps his Pokeballs. Oh yeah, no, uh, Volo was my gay awakening, that's right. Hey, yeah, uh, step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks to the, uh, thanks for the help over in Porta Marinda. Uh, Marinata, you did a mighty fine job. Now that I've got the le that legendary seaweed, I can make some real quality dishes with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you in our battle here. Yes, two unibrows. <laughs> I just realized the voice I gave him. When we're done with this, I gotta go take a shit. <laughs> okay, I mean, I... hey, if the seaweed's that well, good. Eat well, shit well. <laughs> hey, if the seaweed's that good. <laughs> That's true, if the, if the food was that good. At the auction, we battle with buying and selling. At my gym, we battle with more than tra uh, with a, in a more traditional sense. <laughs> Satsy, Clive is your courage awakening. Uh, exactly. Moves and tactics ever changing as the raging sea. I'ma serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them though. Honestly, I think uh, Kovu here has three eyebrows. It's just the uh, yeah three yeah three uh, unibrows. I it's don't. That, I don't see the third. I, are you I talking about the? Are you talking about his beard? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the the main one with the. It's just the the white layer and the and the dark layer uh, combined into one. That's what I'm thinking. Bella and, then he, and then you had the one on top. I feel a bit indebted to you, but don't expect me to go easy on you just because of that. Then again, then again, we could treat the beard as the as the unibrow. Okay, Only now shooting I stars break the mold. Now I can confirm you cannot, uh, you cannot see gym battles in, in the same world. Okay. Aww. That's sad. 
You probably can't even see me right now because I'm right. I, I mean, can, I cannot see you. No. I mean, considering the. But you can see the item in that in the uh, pool over there. Whoa, aqua cutter. Yeah, considering that people have shown up in about us to hilarious effect. I very seriously probably limited on the gym battles just for that. Oh, yeah, I can see an item. But yeah, you're yeah, the gym battles probably are a good point. Damn, I was really hoping you wouldn't use Aqua Cutter again. Oh, we're, we're in a little bit of a bind here. If he would just use one of his other moves. Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> Damn. Do I have any fast Pokemon? Who's my fastest? Speed. 48, 35, 23, 44, 42. All right. Uh, nickname, you're on. I don't think nickname is gonna survive, to be honest. Oh wait, I got quick attack on this thing. There we go. <laughs> Get ready for tap damage. Morton wants to learn- Morton can learn Recover?! I'm sorry, what? Also, Recover has gotten a nerf. It's now down to 5 PP. Oh wow, That's yeah. Po Used to be 10, now it's 5. Mm -hmm. Uh, what Pokemon is nickname? Uh, that would be... It's like Frill Fertilid. something or other. Frittlittle. Oh god, more- more of the Vienna sauces. Yep, the Vienna sausages are back. I think this thing's like a special attacker. Who's my best special tank? Flittle, Flittle has like no HP at all. I mean, considering how... I mean, look at that thing. Do you really expect this thing to have any sort of uh, defense? It is just a little ball. Wish I could send out... You know what? S yeah, Salt Cure might do something. So let's send out Morton. It's, it's, uh, I, oh, it's either Frittle or Flittle. I didn't actually, there's the Oscar Mayer Wieners. Let's go with Salt Cure because, uh, supposedly that effect is, come on, Morton, hold. There we go. Don't get confused. You son of a bitch. So, fun fact, Don. I have, I have your stream casting on my CRT. Oh, nice. Because I have a Chromecast. Yes! Up with CRT. It's great. Huh. Supposedly, Salt Cure's effect is better on, uh... What was it? Water and... Oh, I yeah, forgot what yeah. the other type it was. Wow! That did a fourth of its health! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this... I'm gonna see this thing that's... This thing's gonna be competitive! I don't know, because rock types usually aren't that good, because there's usually a lot of stuff that's, that's good against rock. So unless you could really, like, boost up its, uh... Yeah, I could probably just send in uh, our woofer in here, Cherim. Uh, Wa water and steel, that's what it is. Yeah. I'm just gonna double check on uh, Serapy. Salt Cure. Salt Cure, yeah, it does 40 damage normally, 12.5% on, uh, on, um, on, on every, on, like, most Pokemon. But, uh... Yeah, it flex damage on, yeah. Flicks damage on target at the end of each turn. Doubles the damage if inflicted on water or steel type. Oh, we're in a sandstorm. So, what does that this is applied to water or steel type Pokemon? Like, uh, Empoleon. Does it just... I, I, I don't know. I don't think it would it would be like three times or like, or four times. I think it's just, um... I mean, if Empoleon's in this game, we can see. But I think it just, uh, no. it's just like, um... It, it just like reads one. Yeah. I think Ooh, the wow, not what I was expecting. All right. Crab people, crab people. Why Crabominable? I'm gonna wait for you to get done with this gym challenge before I show you this, because I don't even know what it is. Actually, does it, does Salt Care work on terra, uh, on a terror type? It, it should. Oh yeah, it, I mean, like, it definitely should. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I am gonna prepare for, uh, prepare the rigging for big transformation. My Pokemon's gonna rock the boat. I am an abomination! 
Don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat. <laughs> Please kill me! Why are you laughing, Master? I'm in constant pain! One old man Kofu special coming right up! Hang on tight, get swept away by the surging chef! Ah, it does got crab hammer. My defense should take it! Yes! That's probably so it wouldn't get uh, so I would oh a crit as well. That's definitely uh, so I wouldn't get stabbed. Oh I got sturdy on Morton, that's right. Trisma with a uh, hundred bits saying, I'm an abomination! And I'm coming to your house after school. Hurt by salt cure. Wait, I could just ride this out, I realize. Just so Yeah, so long as you get back to Oh, you actually have formal stores. Mm. Yeah. We just I've been finding items all over the place. Okay. Yeah, it's good just Wow, I think I found the one person who likes Crabominable in chat. Congratulations, Purple Cheese! But like, <laughs> here's the thing, every Pokemon can be loved. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, uh, so I'm glad that there are fans of this Pokemon. It simply has its charms of being like a do a doofy Yeti trap and all that. I think I'm just gonna switch on it. Well, I kind of want everyone to get experience points, so I'm so I'm just gonna keep going with this and using my my healing items to get it back up. Does it say how many turns Salt Cure lasts for? Uh, I think it just goes into the end of battle. They can't. That can't be the case. It, use, use Rock Smash for some reason. Uh, I don't... I don't see anything in terms of uh, how long he turns it last. Doesn't Crab Bomb hurt by the Salt Cure. Or until it switches. UNTIL IT SWITCHES?! JESUS CHRIST! At some point this is gonna get a nerf, so it's gonna be much like a uh, wrap and... Uh, other moves that deal damage over time. Morton avoided the attack, and it gets salted to death. Wow! We're- I, I don't care what happens, we're keeping Morton in the party. Yeah. It's not, uh, it's not burn or poison, because, because even if you switch out, the poison's still there. God damn. I, like, I don't- uh, here's the thing. Rock type is just generally bad and competitive, but Salt Cure is really good. I've I've heard certain someone could figure out a way to get this thing to be good in competitive play because uh, well the other thing the, I mean like the other thing too is that uh the that um we're in like the early stages of competitive for this so once they add the DLC and bring back all the legendary Pokemon that make competitive dull and boring then uh then it's Landorus. yeah then we're then like then. Yeah, then um, our salty boy isn't gonna be anywhere near this. Well, then again, they also could make it uh, where they could have like a thing of rotation, rotation rules and all that. I yeah, hope they. Rules. I really hope they have rotation rules because goddamn, it's so annoying when when uh, the DLC comes out and it's just like, hey, I, all those Pokemon are uh, legendary Pokemon are back. Everyone's gonna have the same team now. Oh yeah, and also, oh yeah, again, terror, terror type and all that. Yes, yes. Yeah, because you can easily swap out. Uh... Oh yeah, that's true. But but the, but then again, it would be that would be the Pokemon that you use your ter terrestrializing on is is the problem. Yeah, so you have to be real creative and just well, you basically have to build around this thing. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And to be uh... fair, you, you don't exactly know what this thing evolves into if it actually does evolve. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a loss as refreshing as the air of, at the morning market. I'm just like a helpless little magic up to you, huh? Flopping around all willy nilly. You got me good, I tell you. What a great catch you are. Just uh, like a master fisher, you held on tight until last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over a gym badge to you. Let's yeah, get a real the, good uh, photo together using the pose I've been wanting to try for a while now. Oh my god. <laughs> As I said, I love Kofu. That's amazing. All right, you. All right, you ready? Lift your hand up. Wait, are we taking this in the middle of a sandstorm, or we're just that dirty? It's a sandstorm. With four badges in your possession, Pokemon with level forty will be easier to catch and uh and listen to you when you ask them to do things. Let me throw uh, this in too as an extra special bonus. 
I'm sure you can make good use of it. Chilling water. Man, the, the film quality on that picture was amazing, despite being in a sandstorm. Alrighty, it's about time I headed back to my restaurant and got to prep it for the next wave. You come back to see me now again, you hear? Kofu is a very, is, is, is great. Incredible. He's gotta be from Osaka based on his accent, I guess. I mean, if we're talking about at least in terms of... Yeah, like, like, tr like translating the, uh, the, um, what do you call it? <laughs> Like translating the the quirks of different different uh, accents and um, dialects. Yeah, because he definitely sounds like he's from the south, basically. Oh, Plungo, hola! Caught you just you finished up in here, huh? Nice work. That puts you at four badges in now, right? Man, that's awesome! Can't believe you're halfway through your gym journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. It makes me just want to challenge you to battle right here, right now. But I'm gonna have to wait. Because I put together my team of Pokemon specifically to take on a gym leader, on the gym leader, dang it. When I battle you, I want to, uh, I want to, to do it on, uh, under the best conditions possible, which means this time, I've got to ask for a rain check. Ah, uh, it's the worst timing ever. Sorry, Plungo. Forgive me, forgive me! I mean, currently right now is a... Yeah, currently is the sandstorm out there, so you might want to wait a bit before uh, you get that rain check. Or we can get <laughs> someone with a rain, <laughs> rain check going. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna uh, take a break, but but I also want to uh, play from, play on my own for uh, for the next hour or so before uh, Matt and Jeremy jump in. Fair enough. Yep. So so thank you guys for uh, for uh, for joining me on this. Yeah, it's and, been fun. Uh, gotta play Doing this the soon. There 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 she is. The Goku the pink tie. Yeah, the the pink uh 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 uh, uh common rider. <laughs> I I yes. did want to uh, show you a thing before, real quick. Okay. I, the, we'll do that before we take our break. Me. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Just was that what you wanted wow. to show me? No, that's not it. It's behind this tree. Is an ominous black stake driven into the ground? Will you pull out the stake? Uh, should we be concerned? Receive stake. You pulled the stake and crumpled and vanished. This is not gonna turn into butter three, is it? <laughs> oh, who knows what mish, uh, what what uh, what wish uh, uh, was made? Ah, okay. I was wondering if terrain was back because I hadn't seen anything use terrain. Anyway, gonna take a break. Uh, Corey and uh, Kyrie, thank you for joining me on this. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, it was, it was definitely fun. I will. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll talk to you guys uh, some other time. Yeah, and hopefully uh, next time we do this, uh, I will actually have the game. You'll, you'll have the game, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully I won't be sick. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. See you later. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. All right. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take a break, and then I'll be back. We'll play more of this. Maybe do... What are we at right now? We're at four badges. Uh, two team star things and two and three um, Titan Pokemon. So we'll do, we'll probably do a Team Star, uh, hideout. Like this one over here. No, that's a gym. Um, like, uh, a different one that I don't know of. Well, whatever, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out and do it, uh, when we get back from the break. See you in a bit. Get up, stretch, I have all that, all that jazz. Bye! One thing I didn't know about the map is that it shows, uh, what order you completed this stuff. That's really cool. Got two more titans, two more uh, squad leaders here, and four more gyms. Your group has disbanded. Tell your friends what order you did it in. You don't gotta guess either. That's that's pretty neat. So many shops. Uh, game, I was already down there. Ooh, there's a glasses shop here. Welcome to Spec Shack.
Got your Harry Potter glasses. Beige gra glasses. Oh, there we go. Those don't look exactly like mine. Square glasses, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Oval glasses, there we go. If it wasn't black, that'd be perfect. Silver frames with black, uh, sporty sunglasses. <laughs> Those are sporty sunglasses. That was truly cringeworthy. 717 bits from Gurganov saying spec shack. I hear they're pretty shady. I'll see myself out. You see yourself out a lot in these streams, Gorkanov. The restaurants here are supposedly, uh, supposed to be really good. I hear it's supposed to be because they, uh, most of them use fresh ingredients brought in from Puerto Mar uh, Marinada. Alright. So now that I can glide... Our next location... Uh, you. Which is a hop, skip, and a jump through Lavincia. I could also pick up the steel type, uh... Steel type Titan and get that ability as well. Which, my god, I really hope that's not gonna be a problem. The luxury shop has similar glasses to mine. Oh, by the way, I got new glasses. So, big difference right now is that these are, uh, are a more like saturated shade of, shade of blue. And uh, they don't they don't have uh they're they're frameless. Or rimless rather. And they're rounder, yes. They do, however, make my eyes look smaller. <laughs> it's got tiny little eyes. It's those tiny little eyes. God, I really wish when you zoomed back in it put you where you were where you placed your marker on the map. Levincia. I have not found you in game yet, no. I hear talk that it's a lake fish, though. So I'll definitely have to look for that. Oh, I gotta heal my Pokemon and put New Worm back in the box. Uh, let's bring out Echo the Dolphin. Emmet Selk. Uh, since we're gonna be fighting the Titan, though, I'm gonna put Flea in front. What's the prescription of those glasses? Uh, bad? What about Whooper? Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's go get the Whooper. Crocolore. Crock a crock a little law, crock a little law, crock a little law. Uh, this looks like a swampy area. Like legally blind bat? I wouldn't say that much. It's blurry, but I can make out shapes. Been having some nice battles. More dolphins. I have not found a single shiny Pokemon yet, no. There's a Shroomsh. It's Corva Squire and his Corva Chill. Oh god! Oh, we're in like a storm, so the hop have just kind of like blew away in the wind. Look at the flamingos. Oh, flamingo is so good. I feel like this would be great weather for a, for a whooper. Or a sleigh ride together. Monsters. 
Uh, I might as well. Sh I should switch in Echo the Dolphin if I'm gonna be fighting somebody. Love Pokemon that are like the monsters in the in movies. You like Kaiju. You like Kaiju. Challenge my Pokemon, uh, Ebon, uh, Ebon the Pokemaniac. Ibon? Bagon. Boss is Dolphin. Bagon used bite. Cute dolphin. This might take a little longer than I anticipated. Eh. I'm gonna hit! A critical hit! One more turn and we'll be good. Don't you- hey, don't you burn my dolphin! Bite still does flinch, yes. Imagine if Bite's flinch carried over to the next turn. So if you went second, and you'd use Bite... Hey, Dung Beetle leveled up. Ugh, can't believe my monster was defeated. Keep your eyes peeled for the whoopee boy of the marshlands. I heard one. There he is. Whoopa! Whoopa! Man, this was level 20, so you can just get one and then get it to evolve immediately. It, does, it doesn't have water absorb, unfortunately. Because water absorb on this whooper is really, really good. Imagine if you will. Imagine if you will a, uh, a, uh, Quagsire that for some reason had Sap Sipper. Oh! C'est magnifique! Alright, back to area I was in before. Near desert. Was she in, uh, she was in... Yeah, she was in, uh, Cascafara. Cas Cascarafa? Oh yeah, no, every time you catch a Pokemon, it shows the dex entry for it. Where was she? Was she down here? No, she was the one level up. She wasn't at the... Oh no, wait, maybe she was... Further down, near the exit. Cause there are... Yeah, there are three levels to this. I thought she was near the back entrance. Where is, where is Trade Woman? She was right there? This one? Oh, yep. I thought she was taller for some reason. Do you want to trade me for my- YES! Uh, yes, yes. Oh, the Rupert's got a dark color. You're sure you're okay to trade? Yes. I was really hoping 
sending Wooper to Sue. I was really hoping that they would have changed the trade animation so that way you just hand the ball to her. The Manchester. Must have gotten it for Galar. Wow, really does have the poison type. That's so cool. The blue Uber is neat too, so make sure you give it lots of attention. The Quagsire is better. That's the that's the whole point. Manchester. Excuse me while I waste some candies on this. Ready? Ah! Oh, it had a rare candy attached to it too. Oh, weird, it doesn't have a Pokedex entry. So Manchester and Vocali are dating. They're a power couple. Oh, that's a quick move, okay. Uh, Gurgan Alpha Thunderbird saying, the real question is, which, uh, uh, is which variant will they sire? Ah, good question. I think the species always, uh, goes to the female. So it'll always be Paldean. Alright, uh, I wanted to go to... No, right, I wanted to go back. I wanted to go back to, uh, to, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Berg. Lavincia. <laughs> Good evening. I am Manchester the Quagsire. You might know me from Ah We can get a national whooper if breeding Quagsire holds an Everstone during the breeding due to Gen 7 mechanics. Ah. Ah, yes, indeed. Let's see some Tom screams in there. We got the Quaggy boy. No, Clodsire is still ah because it still opens its mouth in the same shape. It's all about mouth shape. It's just uh, Clodsire's voice is deeper. Ah! From, uh, from, from Dr. Zock doing Tom Pop. Ooh! Bingo! Ramblin'. Mad the same with the 44 months of tier one saying Tom Scream, Tom Scream, Tom Scream. That was a crit as well. It flinched, it couldn't move. Got speed type on these. Well, not anymore. A rapid spin just occurred. It's a bramble and evil mushroom. <laughs> we will have, we'll put uh, this next to the next to the tentacle. So we got bramble and evil mushroom.
ba 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 Bradlin, the tumbleweed Pokemon! Having possessed a tumbleweed, it realized that this is a terrible idea as this plant is already dead. But now it can move and spike people! Yes, Bramblin do get a nickname. Bramblin's nickname, oh my god. What timing with this nickname? Are you kidding me? And, <laughs> and what a great quirk to go along with it. Personality trait is too angry to faint. Incredible. Bramblin. Um... Doesn't the evolution usually happen on the field? Man, that's what it looks like what it, it, it looks like Mar it does look like Marlon Brando. Look at what they've done to my to my mischief. My boss Jeff. Keldeo, uh, 60 with the 29 months of tier 1, thank you very much for that. The dog father. My boss stiff, the boss Pokemon. Ordering around a, a horde of, uh, mischief, it quickly became the greatest criminal organization known to dog kind. Look at how they massacred my boy. Boss learn comeuppance? He's gonna get his comeuppance. These are retaliates with much greater force against an opponent that last inflicted damage upon it. Is this a dark type metal burst? Look at how they massacred my boy. Uh, Metal Burst is like counter, but it works, uh, but it works with both physical and special attacks. Boxes. Oof. You'll get your comeuppance. <laughs> Just all A's. Oops, all A's. It also does, a uh, uh, yeah, it only does 1.5 times damage instead of 2 times damage. Got the Firestone. Got Netball. Got Warstone. Working towards them nest balls. Palmy, Palmo, and uh, paw throwing paws. Hi. Maybe we'll add... I guess I already added Bramblin to the party, but... I haven't seen a lot of stone evolutions, and it kind of makes me think that Bramblin is one of them. Do I have any evolution stones? I don't have a... He is a sunstone. I don't have any leaf stones. Hey, you want to buy this? I just got here, and I gotta go back to heal.
It's a painful evolution. Uh, let's see. We're gonna, let's go 20 questions on this. Is it battle related? Yes or no? D don't want any specifics. Is it battle related? It, it is, okay, so it's overworld related. Then, if, if that's the case. Hmm. Does it require a specific Bingo! location? Go Master Dog with the two months of tier three saying, hello everyone, time to continue. Thank you. Does it require a certain location? Does it require an item? Wow. I'm gonna switch back for... Let's see. Oh wait, where's, there it is, Tandem Mouse. Swoosh right in. Oh man. Does it have to do with spinning? Hmm. Ah, uh, kinda. Is there any hint to, uh, to it's how it evolves in-game? Ho-ho! Oh, you bought it! My fake-out, that is! Now it's time to battle! I forgot what the last question I asked was. Level 23. Uh, I'll bring out Thou Art I. Oh, does it involve spinning? Okay. Does it require a, another Pokemon? idea is for Bramblin. Oh, I'm stuck in it. I didn't realize I was stuck in it. I thought I was able to choose fight or retreat or whatever. All right. Well, Flea's coming out. Uh... Hmm. So we hope we go with flinch. I just realized I don't know what resist ground. Doesn't require location, doesn't require an item. Does it have to do with the way I move at all? Who wants salted pork? Have any revives? No. I used them all up in a different battle. Uh, does it require me walking around with it? Like having it out of the ball? But it's not something as simple as just walking with it, though. Hmm. 
No, it is. Okay. Well then. Is it like Pomo where it needs to be like a thousand steps? But I can't have them both out at the same time. We might spend a little bit of time on that then. I'll try a thousand steps uninterrupted and then uh, and then doing that. Point cologne. Oh wait, do different gingers of Void Cologne have different uh, different designs? This one looks different. Oh, don't yawn at me. I'm gonna cure you. Who wants cured ham? What? I, I love that. For some reason, the sentence, Oink Cologne is being salt cured, is incredible to me. This is the game where we eat Pokemon, isn't it? Martin's fast asleep right now. Sleep right now. Martin is fast asleep right now. A Minecraft Pokemon? It looks like one, definitely. Honestly, this uh this this Pokemon is like is is plagiarism the Pokemon. Because it started off as a uh as the boulder mushroom from Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, Morton's dead. And now it's a Minecraft pig. Yeah, Morton has just become less than. Can't wait for this thing to evolve. Please let me pass on this thing. Minecraft pig versus regular pig. Minecraft pig wins because its corners are sharper. Morton is just the salt of the earth. You're not wrong. I like the psychic one. They could have just made it a crystal ball and called it a day. Level 28. The dolphin learned learn dive. That's a good move for a dolphin. Let's get rid of Aqua Jet. Please tell me the fighting type hat is just a uh, is just a, a boxing glove. This is we're getting a lot of first. Oh, if I don't move the camera, then it zooms in. That little joke really cost me. All right, well, I guess we're gonna evolve both Palmo and, uh, and Bramblin. <laughs> oh yeah, I know I, I, I know I can't have them both out. I'm going to do both of them one at a time. And as I recall, it can't be interrupted, uh, according to like what we saw with uh, with Josh trying to get his to evolve. Where did Brambling go? There it is. 
Take out Morton. Where is Palmo? Take out Flea. Alright, so get off this. Uh We'll start with Ah. Uh, Five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six. What's considered a step for this thing? Oh, that's why people have been have been uh, saying to, to crouch with it. All right. At Eight, let's say 828 to be on the safe side. And then I'll give it some, uh, some EXP candies. You doing alright there, buddy? There we go, I think I got a good groove going on here. He's gonna, he's gonna evolve into a rock type because a rolling stone gathers no moss. Pure rock type. Ooh, that girl wants to trade for a pink urchin. So how you guys doing, chat? We know some nice music, plus we get to see different, uh, different, like, ads from this game. A little bit better. We got Iono's streams being advertised, we got the cosmetics from the Psychic Gym Leader, we got the art from the, the, um, the Grass Gym Leader. Sprigatito Soda. Uh, you know, Quaxley MasterCard. Crocolos. Croco Who wants a nice bowl of- I would eat a bowl of Crocolos. Doing okay, plan to take a cruise in 2024. Nice, Rob! Dude, you, you've, knowing how, um, knowing how hard you work, uh, you definitely deserve it. <laughs> or, uh, maybe it's Gisa. <laughs> Cause like a goose, goose and visa, gisa. Is there a possibility for a more mo ultra kaiju monster rancher in the future? Oh hell yeah! Uh, the four games that I'm kind of like that I'm kind of uh, uh, going back and forth between right now, for in terms of single player because it's also like multiplayer stuff are this um, ultra kaiju monster rancher, Xenoblade Three, and Sonic Frontiers. Ah. Planning to go to to, uh, to the Bahamas on a new cruise ship. Nice. 100 bits for Trisman sake. If I had a nickel for every time I got Tom to have a mainstay Pokemon named Morton, I have two nickels, which isn't a lock, but it's weird that it's happened twice. Do you remember what the other one is? Because I can't remember. I'm assuming it was an Ultra... Was it... Yeah, it was Ultra Sun was when I had, uh, was when I had you guys, uh, nickname stuff. Or did I do that in Arceus, too? I did that in Arceus. Oh, Shining Pearl! I forgot I did that for that. It was Lucario, Morton the Lucario, okay. Man, if I had a nickel for every time something uncanny happened twice, I would have two nickels. Wait, three. Well, no, wait, four. Shoot! I've created a feedback loop. Don't like it too far behind? Yep, I know.
So this is a walk around with it and then level it up kind of evolution, like Palmo, right? Look at all the different berries that are in that 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 are in that uh, that cereal. Orange, citrus, pecha, uh, lepa. I don't know what the other one is. I hope when it uh, it's stopping doesn't uh doesn't screw this up. What oh, a raspberry. I think you're good to evolve it now. I want to wait until 828 just to be on the safe side. Man, imagine how pissed people are going to be if the if the Pokemon that uh, that only evolved through walking them for a thousand steps end up being uh end up being competitively viable. All right, bag. Here we go! Ah! It's evolving! I like how the eyes look like it's seeds. Whoa! Bramblegast! It looks like, uh... I wonder, I wonder if this Pokemon's like related to Delmize. Oops, I didn't mean to skip that. No, go back! There it is. Bramblegast, the tumbleweed Pokemon. It rolls around with a smile on its face always, but deep down, it's really unhappy. I like how some of the brambles just float. Ghost and grass. The first thing I thought of was, oh, I like how it rolls this time around. Look at how happy it is that it evolved. Uh, boxes? And now we're- uh, guess what guys, we're gonna do it again! <laughs> this- this is still wild to me. I guess I'll add Flea back. All right, Murder Klaus. It took a minute for it to realize that uh, that that uh, Bramble Gas was into my party anymore. All right, five more minutes, guys. Dun 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 How do you get Paldea in Tauros' other form, BTW? I have no idea. I found it in the uh, wild. Does it look infected with the 300-bit uh, saying personality trait? Thinks that T-Pain is the country um, that comes after Spain. Bingo! Uh, and Turtle Science, think of the 24 months of Prime. Thank you very much there. Da -da -na. I do have one more that evolves this way. Do I have it in my, in, uh, in my, um, do I, have I caught it yet? Is it the mice? Uh, 
It's not the mice, okay. I'll have, to, I'll have to look to see what I have that isn't evolved. Is he in my party now? Uh, I don't remember what I have in my party, so I'll have to check. I got the mice. I got... I've got Pomo. The dolphin? I'll have to- I have to check, because I don't remember what I have in my party. Oh! It's, uh, it's Flittle, isn't it? Not Flit- I'm running out of things that I have in my party. I'm gonna have to check. Say 8.36. God, imagine if your starter had a very convoluted evolution, uh, to it. That would be interesting. Because I, I, I would think that a good way to go about that, like if they did do a convoluted evolution for your starter, is that all three of the starters have the same, uh, evolution, uh, kind of evolution. The problem is, so here's the thing. It wouldn't work out in, uh, in like the internet age. Uh, but like, the way that that would that I would think is that like, so like normally they evolve around like somewhere between level thirty two and thirty six the starters into their final form. So maybe like at an area where you'd normally where your team would normally be around like level thirty eight, you talk to somebody or you you encounter somebody in a, in like in like dialogue at a point in the uh, in the at a point in the game. Like, it, it, like it, it's it's a cutscene that you can't miss, and they like and they tell you about like the fact that your starter Pokemon evolves like in a different way than leveling up, and like th I, I, they tell you straight up, or they would um, or they would uh, uh starters with Stony evils would be interesting. But it would like they either reveal the method outright or it'd be like a hint that's like super that's like fairly obvious. Almost ready. Da -na -na, da -na -na. I want so I want Palmo to have the same body, but a really long muscular legs for Palmot. I saw his name in the chat, so I so I kind of know what his name is already. Just 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 Pomo up on uh up on up on legs. This doesn't mean that I'm gonna be easier on spoilers. I have to share this coffee with my followers, says the girl. Or like slimmed down, like runner's body, Palmo. All right. Moment of truth. Hopefully, I did it right. Cause Josh had a lot of trouble with this one. He wants to learn bite. I'll get rid of charge. It worked. Throwing hands, he's throwing hands now. Oh, I like that one. It's 
It's it's it's like it's like it's trained more, you know? It looks like an anime protagonist, honestly. Palmot, the hands-on Pokemon. It likes to battle with punches, but will sometimes cheat and put some electricity into its punches. Let's learn Revival Bl Wait a minute. <laughs> this thing is a defibrillator. One PP revives a party member and restores half. It's a revive in a move. This thing is a defibrillator. Is this thing banned and competitive? <laughs> so, okay. So here's what you do then. So here's what you, what you would do then. Speed nature. All the speed EVs. You get a better Pokemon that's already faded in battle and you just bring it back to life with a revival blessing. Bam. That's the, that is the whole point of Palmot. And Focus Sash Revival. Oh yeah, Focus Sash Revival would work too. Although mm, you might want to try something else because uh because there's uh, there's always a entry um entry who's a what's it's. That's wild. It's a normal type move too. Ah, the dung beetle. Let's do it again! Dung Beetle time! Except this one goes a lot slower. Oh god. Oh god. I wouldn't think PP ups would work, but man, imagine if they did on that move. Are there any other moves that have one PP? Sketch. I still haven't found Grafia yet. Is Smeargle in this game? Really? Wow. Given all of the art in, like, the, they, they, um, they emphasize art so much of this, I'm surprised Smeargle isn't in the game. You just said <laughs> Oh, man. Imagine if your strategy, <clears throat> Explosion kind of has one PP. Imagine if your strategy revolved around Explosion, Revival, Blessing, Explosion. And be watched the under 75 bits saying, so Tom, the team theme I mentioned to you, uh, so far I have Morgana the Florigato, Skull the Clodzire, Queen the Palmot, Fox the Eevee, evolution still undetermined, and uh, thanks for all you do. Thank you very much. I don't know when I started this, but because I'm moving slower, does that mean I gotta walk for longer because it's step based? Or is it the amount of steps that he takes?
So every- every cycle, every one of his, uh, every, like, um, cycle of his walking animation, uh, adds two to a counter, I'd assume. Does the Tumbleweed have a third evolution? God, I hope not. I don't remember what time I started this at. Six forty three for the end time, okay. That's based on PST. I'm gonna give it to uh, to f the 44th minute of the hour. One thing, I, one thing I find I found funny about uh, about Pokemon um, Battle Revolution is that like it's always jarring when the uh, the games use the four kids voice actors for them. So like Pokemon Stadium One Two, oh hi Tracy, Pokemon Battle Revolution, oh hi narrator. Salamence! There was that one, um, EA NHL game. Officially licensed NHL game. And, like, supposedly, like, the normal, like, the normal NHL game. Oh, just outside of it. There we go. There it is. And that was the one with like the with the uh, with the the comedy narrators or, or uh, commentators in it, but they also had like very intense like um. Oh wow, <laughs> uh, Rabska. It's, it's well, that's that I like. That's really cool. I like the design on it. It's ascended. I walk through the valley of the dung to achieve a higher enlightenment. Uh... Rabska, the rolling Pokemon! Having spent so, so much time with a ball of dung, it has achieved a higher consciousness and the ball of dung responded to it. It is the true way, the one way. I like this thing. What? They have to lim limit it to one user of Revival Blessing, right? Especially, especially Especially if the DLC re-adds the, uh, the, um, what do you call it? Um, if the DLC re-adds, uh, Zamazenta? No, Zacian. If the deal DLC, just Gen 8 legendaries in general. Huh! <sighs> I just had a terrifying thought. Lepaberry.
a consumable item. Oh, that's wild. Also, according to its Pokedex entry? Uh, because it obta obtained a higher consciousness, the body on the bottom is just a shell and its actual body is in the inside the orb? Recycle the, ah! huh? Hey, excuse me, I just gotta get my whole team back. Okay. Ah. When we call Paul Thunderbit saying, if I had a nickel furry Pokemon, then we have the new revival blessing of the, uh, when it evolved. As far as I know, I'd have two nickels, which isn't much, but it's weird that it happened twice. Ah. Uh, Zeta Park with 300 bits saying, Trait loves tasting everything uh, it finds in its path. All right, boxes. Murder Mitz goes back in the box, as does Thou Art I. Uh, who do I bring out? Ah! Uh, Beans. It's, it's pretty obvious what Sad Skink evolves into, but I'll bring it along anyway. Oh wait, no, I still wanted Morton. I'll replace Sad Skink with Morton. Where do you get the dolphin? Uh, any ocean, really. Do I have a Pokemon that party that has a weird evolution method? And if so, how many? I think one. I've already confirmed that all these evolve for level up, so it's either the dolphin or the motor. I appreciate not knowing the answer, by the way. Two. Okay, so so both the dolphin and the motor have weird evolutions. No. The mice. It's always the mice. Oh, there's a... There's a dug trio here. Diggle it dig, diggle it dig, trio, 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 oi. Oh my goodness. My Pokemon, it evolved! What? What help my newly evolved Pokemon with some target practice? If it just evolved, it should be level 20, right? Okay, <laughs> that is it back. Unfortunately, everything I have is not great. Although I do have Thunderfang on, uh, on... Now I'm really, out like, man, like, now I'm really curious about how the mice evolve. Oh, actually, if it just evolved, it won't have a water move. I stand horrifically corrected!
Pokemon has newly evolved. It doesn't know how to bat. You're a bad trainer! Oh, damn! I bet Jeremy was happy. Damn. Ah, oh, come on. I almost had it. Keeps kind of turning me around on the cliff there. I need to find a place so I can grasp onto the ledge. You know what? <laughs> Since I saw climbing in the trailer, I bet the power you get from this one is climbing. Follow my nose! Follow my nose! Rotototototo. Rotototototo. Yo, Plungo! So somewhere in one of the mines that are, uh, here, we should find the lurking steel titan. Rumor has it that that thing's, uh... Here we go. Rumor has it that, that, that the thing's staggeringly huge and real long. You think a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot? I wonder how it stays hidden. Maybe it's super fast? If that's the case, riding up that Pokemon of yours, uh, that Pokemon of yours might help you catch up to it. Fast, eh? The wrong effect, eh? Ah, steel type Pokemon. Guess I know what I gotta bring out then. Bad act, bad. I'll show you how uh, strong and sturdy steel type Pokemon can be. Yeah, Oliver the Worker. Go Beans! Ah. Red Grand Manson with 100 bits saying, I love defense! I love Bastiodon! Hang on a sec. Uh, there we go. Right. Well. Ba da ba da ba da. Da 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 da. I need to take my next break. Uh, fairly soon, actually. Gah! Super effective! <laughs> Who wants to learn to move headbutt? The, the car. The car wants to learn headbutt. I don't think it needs both sludge and poison gas. Oh, it definitely doesn't need poison gas. It's not a very good one. Gyro ball in this thing. I figured it'd be fast. Defeated all of the worker. Do you already know how to get around steel type Pokemon's dirty strength? I think once we... Uh, once we beat this Titan... Then we'll, uh... Oh, dang. Well, that's not where it is, but that is a large area to, that I do want to explore. There we go. Time to test the gliding ability of this thing. Not great!
There are a lot of caves around here. I'm gonna look for uh, for Toad School once we uh once we uh You can go into these tunnels, eh? They are short, small tunnels. Um I'll look for Toad School once we finish this area. Just a little easier. Sorry, I took your dusk ball, uh Goose Man. I was hoping I'd be able to crawl through that. Next power we get is shrink! It's actually probably we're gonna end up fighting the, the Titan. Oh. This reminds me of World of Warcraft. <laughs> Oh ho. Elixir. I got a single Gimmagool coin. Silicobra, Roly Coley. Tumbleweed Man. Oh god, Roly Coley. Right, that's what I imagine the uh, the engine said. I just want to get through here, man. All right, let's play twenty questions with some of these evolution methods again. So the dolphin and the mice. Uh, does it need to use a specific move? Is it battle related? Oh no, I'm, t I I'm talking about the um, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm talking about the uh, the mice, for the mice, the mice, the mice. Does these use a specific move? And is it battle related? Go for the mice on both. Okay. For the dolphin, is it battle related? Is it move related or battle related? So, so it's neither on either of the uh, of the. Okay. Is it something that I could stumble across easily? Dolphin, no. What about, what about, uh, what about mice? For the mice, yes. Alright, um... Alright, let's, let's focus on the mice for this one. Uh, for the mice, is it location-based? Does it require me to have a specific Pokémon with me? We're focusing on the mice, on Tandem Mouse. No. Does it require Tandem Mouse to learn a specific move? Is it something that needs to be done in the overworld? Does an item need to be used on it? Wait a minute! Do I have to feed it a sandwich? Like if you give your mouse a cookie then... No? Oh man. Not sandwich related. Is it picnic related at all? Is it a mechanic that I would be aware of at all? I was afraid of that. Ah. 
Is it movement based? We're, we're on the mouse. Forget about the dolphin for now. We're on the mouse. It's not location based, movement based. Based on an item, I'm running out of options here. Are there contests in this game? Does it require talking to a specific NPC? Doesn't require items, it's not level up. Does it evolve, after, after whatever it needs to have happen, happens, does it evolve through level up? Does it need to be a minimum level for it to work? Doesn't require another Pokemon. Doesn't has nothing to do with items. It does need to be a minimum level. Okay, so I do need to actually level it up. Wait, what level is it now? Does something need to happen when it becomes level 22 because two twos and two mice? Am I at the minimum level now? No, okay, so I'll continue raising that up and try to figure that out. Hmm. Since we're coming close to the Steel Titan, might as well put this thing in the front. At least I think we're getting close to the Steel Titan. Yeah, it's over there. <laughs> what? What? Big worm. Um it's a subway. Hi there. <gasps> ah! A human! Squish it! Orthworm. Orthworm. The lurking steel titan. Ah. Turn off Thunderbit saying, wait, when we start playing Monster Rancher DX? Man, I'm still trying to think about what Tandem House needs to evolve. And I haven't even started 20 questions for the dolphin yet. Well, that did it. Doesn't require an item. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh my god, that is Poggy. Poggers! Ah, uh, what a nice- Ah! Oh! No, he's trying to get me.
Better go into my pantry and get my secret stash. Titan Orthworm began eating something. Plungo, you managed to pin down the Titan! That's the lurking steel Titan? It's, uh, well, it sure is long. I think our little friend might be even feistier now after e eating those herbs. We're gonna need to do this together, Plongo. Humans! Doesn't matter how big an opponent is, victory is gonna taste so good seasoned by my toad school. You have one. And I see one in the Pokedex so I can find out where its habitat is. Oh god, I got an infestation of humans again. Oh, Matt's here. Hello, Mr. Bragg. Who is probably away right now? Oh, there he is. I'm, no, I'm not. Hey, how you doing? You're doing good. I'm fighting. How far are you in this? Uh, I'm at the, like, final gym. Okay, I've, uh, I've done four gyms. I'm on the fourth Titan right now in three of the, uh, the, um, uh, Team Star hideouts. What is the Titan you're fighting right now? The Worm. Oh, the war- wait, that's the fourth titan for you? Yes. Did you- what- okay, what- what ones have you beaten? Uh, Steel, ground, rock, and flying. You beat the tusk one. Yeah, I beat that one third. Oh, okay, I did that too. And, uh... Yeah, it was a- it was a higher. real uphill battle. He is way higher than that. He's like 45 or something like that. I- I kept switching in, um... <laughs> I kept, uh, I, oh, I kept switching in a uh, uh, mass shift, so it would just get intimidated over and over again on it, and then oh, just chipped gosh. away at it. Oh, see, I didn't even do that. I did, uh, I did Grievered, and like every attack he used, Grievered was immune to. Oh, man, I haven't, I haven't found a Grievered yet. Oh yeah, the I only found one because it was in a raid. Okay. Yeah. New sandwich is nice. <gasps> I have dragged- It's my friends! I have dragged Jeremy in here because I haven't I given him the proper role yet. Yes, yes. <laughs> but here I am. There he be. How far are you, Jeremy? Um, I have finished- I I've- I've basically finished every quest. That's where I assumed you'd be. Damn. Like the- <laughs> yeah, the gyms, the titans, and the stars. I have only just beaten four of the titans, I'm halfway through the gyms, and I've got three, uh, what are they called? Star camps? Star camps, star camps yeah. done, yeah. Dude, let me tell you, it ramps up in difficulty. The, do the star camps get harder? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's, that's really good to know, because, uh, so far I've walked in and said, okay, I guess I'll kill everyone here. The fighting oh, one Oh, never is... mind, I only have two, I only have two of the star bases, never mind, I'm a fraud. <laughs> the the fighting wrong. one ain't easy. I I recommend doing that one last. Oh really? I was about to go over there. The fighting one. I mean, you can try it. Um, maybe, What's like the like, average level? Um, I think the bosses in that one had like level fifty five Pokemon. I'll be right back. Oh, I got okay. I gotta go be sad about a dog. That's what? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yep. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Have we did it, Plunger. Way to go, little buddy. Did you get a good look at its face, though? I didn't expect that Titan to be such a little cutie. I bet if we go in here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica it ate before. Let's go find it before that thing can regroup. Come out, come out, wherever you are! Another Pokeball to dictate the center of the room. Yes! Found it! Here's our little herb. 
You and Arvin found the salty Herba Mystica. This shape, this sheen, it looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's gotta be good for you. Now let's see, what does the book have to say? Well, apparently Salty Herba Mystica helps with aching hands and feet. Good for neuropathy and numbness. When, you get, uh, when you've got muscle aches, it, it supposedly builds up sp uh, your strength again. No time to waste, let's get uh, some food going. Yut here, huncha! Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy, healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Plus, the token of our friendship is another Titan badge. Gaze upon it in awe as you eat. Of course, they do the Salt Bay. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah! Pouring salt! Yeah, salt! Pour that salt! Guy with his overpriced restaurant. Yes! Child of Ham. You wanna give your sandwich a cried on? Yeah! Child of Ham, may I have one? I am I am better behaved now. Gans? Come on out, my bustiff. Food's up. Ruff. Break off the sandwich. He tears that sandwich cleanly, like it's made, like it's like a lot harder and brittle. We actually hear him chewing this time. <laughs> Would you look at that? Seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. <laughs> oh, child of ham! This tastes so good. Ah! I can jump higher. Seems like that odd fellow's slowly regaining its original strength. Still, it doesn't look, uh, it doesn't look like any, it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. Yes. Seems healthy enough to, uh, physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its true form. A mental block? I've read about it in books before. A mental scar, like, like psychological trauma, you know? That's, I think that's what it's called, that's what you call it. Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, and now it's scared to battle at all. Well, don't worry. I'm sure both that brute and Mabostiff will make a full recovery eventually. How do you feel, Mabostiff? How's that Herba Mystica working out? Ruff. Uh, no pressure. It's not like it's fair to expect every kind of Herba Mystica to have some huge effect, right? And it's not like the effect has to be immediate, either. Ruff. Hey, it's okay. Don't worry. Plungo and I are going to, are going to make sure you're right as rain. We've got one more herb to go, and I bet it's the best of them all. It's... it's just gotta be. Alright, Plungo. The next stop uh, on our little herb hunt should be the last. But we can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep up our momentum. Here we go! Agar! It's gotta be spicy. Bruh. Hello, Plungo. This is Sada. I detect the Koridon as we regain more of its original power. While you're riding upon it, uh, it seems you can jump higher if you press and hold B. Now jump higher, yay. I'm a robot. You must continue helping Koridon recover. And no longer must I be sad about Dog. Whoa, he's got ups now! Oh, yeah. Making that glide ability a little bit better. I, I, I was gonna say, like, we saw in the trailers this thing climbing, so I'm like, one of these has gotta be climbing, right? I didn't realize one of the powers was going to be a little bit more lift. Ah, so you have to terrestrialize to break the terror shield on them. Ah. Ooh, you're somewhere I haven't been yet, huh? I'm just doing the raids. Ah. Oh, oh, so it's like the, um, the Dynamax raids where they get, like, the shield, shield protection. But you can only yes. break it with terrestrializing? I guess, yeah. Mm. Or, like, it helps. Truly, this is a Skyrim horse. Which version are you, are you playing? I'm playing Violet. You know what Matt's playing? Uh, I think he's playing Scarlet. He is the first person I've played with this entire weekend that has been playing Scarlet as well. 
I th are you on Scarlet? Yep. I think he's on Scarlet. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure, but I thought I heard him say that he has the, the red. Yep, he is. Okay. Dude, I was telling my chat, like, when they were asking me, which one are you playing? And I was like, oh, I'm going to play Violet because I, you know, I like Saru Edge and, and I like Maridon and mm -hmm. like the way they look and everything. Uh, <laughs> I said the argument every time I would explain that to people would be like, yeah, this is why I'm doing it. And the response was always, but Jeremy, Unga Bunga, that was always <laughs> it. That was always the argument. <laughs> I won't say that wasn't part of my reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was always the argument I got in response. Also, the the more people hated on old tire goiter, the more I uh the more I wanted to use it. <laughs> old tire goiter. O old tire goiter. When you when you first, I've got I've like I've created such a lore with Karidon right now because first off it's called old tire goiter and second because of the first sandwich you gave it I have Karidon called the traitor child of ham. <laughs> I really like it. I I um. You know, since I, like, do voices, I'm sure you do, too. Like, oh, voice yeah. all the cutscenes. Um, the, anytime Maridon's on screen, I'm just going, sandwich. That's, like, all I have him say. <laughs> Whenever Karidon's on the screen, he's just like, Child of Ham, is that a new sandwich for me? <laughs> is that just, yes. Follow me, I Child know. of Ham. Uh, another sandwich for the collection. Oh, fuck. I fell into a rookity. I desire a, uh, a sandwich, Child of Ham. Do I have one of you? Do I have a rookity? I do. Get away from me. Okay. Well, Hello. Matt, back. which version oh. of the game are you? You're playing Scarlet, right? Yeah. Thank God. You, the, the, I played with 10 people this weekend. You're the first one who's been playing Scarlet. Really? Yep. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm guessing everyone saw the motorcycle and they were like, I want the motorcycle, not the guy running. I had a similar had thought, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, flash cannon. Ooh, I was telling Jeremy that, uh, that I've grown accustomed to old tire goiter. I mean, I don't hate it. Like neither do I. <laughs> no, like, like I, I, I like it. Yeah. It, it's got like a like he looks cool, but I get why people are like, yeah, motorcycle guy. Like, yeah. yeah I mean, this one is a jet. I, I, I <laughs> yeah. would not mind if the if like the the tires on it were a little bit more subdued. I agree. It makes more sense in the water. Yes. Because in the water, it's like... It actually oh, functions as a flotation device. It's like a flotation, yeah. Ah. What the... Whoa, God! Got attacked by a thing. You guys want to group up and just like... Yeah! Yeah. So how do we go about doing such a thing? All right. Having uh, it so you're going to hit X. You're going to hit the L button to connect to the internet. Uh-huh. Yep. You're going to go to... Oh, once you're there. Yep. Yep, yep. Hang on. X... Just finding that X button. Hang on. <laughs> it's really one of these buttons. All right, Shroomish was caught. <laughs> okay, okay, I get okay. it. <laughs> yeah, I just, that, that's all the information I needed. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm fighting a Velzula. Give me a minute. All right. <laughs> Those things chase your ass down. I, I landed in a puddle on a mountain, and uh, a Terra type right. one came out of nowhere. Oh, Jesus. Oh, all right. So I oh, communicating. There we go. Holy crap. You're uh, connected there... to the internet. They still haven't gotten this down pat because it's not jump jump in and out. So y'all gotta be y'all gotta be ready for it. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's well, right. Matt, you yeah, call sorry. out when you're ready. I am ready. I'm connected. All right. I'm I'm breaking its its Terra thing. One Thank sec. You. Are there two gym leaders out. Jeez, those are very close together gym uh, gyms right there. Oh yeah. The water and normal, I think. Uh, for or... me, it's ghost and ice. Yeah, there. Oh, those the ones. ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top. Right. yeah. Oh right, That's, yeah, those ones. I I think I ran from the ice to the the ghost one, like right away. <laughs> uh, Here I go. Well, now you're a water type Pokemon. Perfect. Tom, if I see a shiny while you're in your game, I refuse to catch it. You can. Uh, uh, oh, take it. What? Hundred percent. Go for it. Do uh, you have a shiny, Jeremy? I have one shiny. I have not found a single one. Although I am very much, uh... I mean, like, right now I'm just looking for a certain Pokemon. Specifically, the tentacle that runs around. Dude, oh, it's yeah. hilarious. They're really funny. <laughs> Toad School is so funny. I kind of want to use it just because it's... 
that, so that, that's 100 going in my final party i've mostly just been uh been putting pokemon in my party that i want to use um or oh, that's cool. pokemon that i want to evolve so i can see like what they evolve into because i'm just like ah! like yeah. yes discover all the things mm. uh let me go here because that's close all right i was in a battle with a toad school i have yet to run into one i've yet to see one on the map yeah, I just randomly saw one, like, chilling next to a log. I was like, there it is! Uh, yeah, I just <laughs> saw the two little tentacle feet running by, and I was like, Dude, what? It's so <laughs> funny looking it's, when it runs. It's the best. They knew what they were doing. And it's oh. Dex Entry's like, oh, it can run at, like, 30 miles an hour. I'm like, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would love to see a running race between that thing and uh, Dracovish, just to see yeah. how sad it would look. Wait, it didn't appear in my Pokedex. I fought alongside one. Bullshit. You did. Oh, yeah, that thing? No, it didn't count. That, th <laughs> that thing did all the damage to that the Pokemon that you fought with it, too. Uh, okay, I'm at the circle. All right. Do, uh, I, do I have to be at the same circle? No, no, you could be at any one. You can actually do this. Oh, I, I, just, oh I, I need to be at the circle. I think, I think, I, I'm part. pretty sure you can do this from the menu. Oh. oh. From uh, Poke Portal. Uh, make sure you're connected to the internet with the L button. I'm connected. All right. Classic Pokemon. And then you go to uh, Poke, Poke Portal, then Union Circle, Poke and then uh, oh. choose Join a Group. I will form the group, and then I'll, and then uh, guess what? It's code entry based. Oh! Should we not show our screen? Uh, no. It it should be fine because once uh once you enter in and jump in here, then once we set out, nobody else can join. Oh, okay. okay. So I'll just pop. I'm gonna pop this in the other uh, recording chat. Okay. Just as the recording one, right? Yes. Okay. Perfect. On my screen, it's been covered by Matt Damon. All right. Okay. Oh, also, so Claude cool. Zire was uh, was really great to just. Oh, to dude. Find. Yeah, I was so happy. <laughs> I saw Claude Zire. I was like, Tom's gonna love this. <laughs> oh yeah. I figured you'd have a problem picking, like which one you use. Oh, both. Why not? I haven't seen a regular one, actually. Uh, you could trade for one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and like from the past? Yep. Yep. That uh, you, Tom? Uh, Plungo, yes, that is me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> just, I just had to double I for, I, 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 I keep forgetting to tell people about the weird names I come up with. Plungo, there it is. There it is. Just like, uh, just like Grigba Flank before. We got Plungo. Plungo. Uh, I'll, I'll say Claude Sire, um, on my champion team. Nice. What I used to be the Elite Four. He, and, let me tell you, he, he did work. Dude, I, I checked his stats after I, after I found him. S -s Special defense and HP up the wazoo. Uh, he's a tank. He it's, was, I just had him as a wazoo, tank with Poison see. Point and Toxic Spikes. I mean, like. Oh, yeah. So oh I just, God. and Quick Claw. <laughs> well, so, yeah, Quick Claw. Yeah, we just pop every now and again. Hey, look at you hey, guys. Look at you. When you're artisan, okay. And I, and I just noticed on the map that there is there's Toad School around here. What? Oh yeah, they're like right over here. You get uh, direct yeah. to me. Direct to me. Oh, Where? Uh, Let's go, I boy. Think, <laughs> I think this way, right? Ooh, let me get this. That's so cool. I, I know that this is not like anything groundbreaking, but it's just it's Pokemon. nice to like to like be with your friends and see them in the overworld. Like, Sword, yeah. Sword and Shield had that a little bit with, like, being able to see every other player you're playing with. But this is much Whoa, better because yeah. you can actually see your friends. Yeah, you know, people you drifts. Like, give a shit about. Oh, you drift? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you, if you like, turn suddenly, you'll, you'll drift. Uh, okay, Maridon sure. really hits it with a skirt. Where the hell is Toad's cool? Pretty sure it's at this tree. Yeah, like, look next to logs and stuff. They like to just stand around. Oh, yeah, looking... right here, Tom. What? Ah! <laughs> oh, did we not show up on the map? No, you do. You have to zoom in really far oh, for some reason. Got it. Oh, yeah, right and, oh, the best part is, Jeremy, since you've never done this before, you could see each other in, uh, in each other's battles. Shit. Oh, so you're, really? So you're, just, so you're just driving around right now. I can see. Oh, I didn't know I could make Maraid on uh, Dizzy. <laughs> He's just like, whoa, fuck that. Uh, Matt, Matt, apparently say hello to my buddy. 
Uh, Matt, apparently people can't. Oh my god! I, no, I already, I already fixed it. I, I thought I hit the like the button. I've gotten like a new uh, scene thing. I don't want to. Oh, you got that guy? Yeah, annihilate, baby. Dude, Is that a so Grieve Art evolution or a primate evolution? That's it's a primate. oh my god! It's That's a primate, primate. evolution. Yeah, Holy cow! Dude, he's insanely good. He he's, really is, man. I'd he's imagine considering fighting. Primate proper isn't actually that good. Yeah, he's ghost fighting, and he's just, like, insane. <laughs> he got so mad, he died. Pretty much. Yeah, he, that is exactly, like... I kind of hate part of it, because it's just like, oh, man, he's dead. He is fucking dead. There's <laughs> there's no Oops, life oh. in there at all. <laughs> uh, who'd you start with, Matt? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Uh, this is Brigatito. Yeah. Oh, I'm being attacked by a bull! Good. I start. I started with. Uh, I started with Foy Coco. Same. Get him, Fudge! Quick claw! <laughs> someone activate! In, someone in my chat just asked, "Is it? Is the evolution? Uh, is the evolution stone for it a brick? <laughs> for the primate evolution? <laughs> Nail it with a brick, dude." <laughs> Uh, let's see. Where is my other big guy? Here's my big dude. Oh, uh, hang on. Come on, Zilla. You, you this is, this is what in God's here. name? <laughs> that's got, awesome. That's, Godzilla, that's, baby. That's what that thing turns into. Yeah, big Zilla. Oh, dude. Yeah. He. Oh my! Oh, I got a little guy. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I found the, him. This Tauros is right in the center of my battle. Yeah, he is. I can. Oh, dude, it's... the Tauros are mad in this game. They uh, are a pain, man. Uh, aren't there more than one type of Tauros too? I think so. Yeah, right? no, I, I have one of them. I've got the uh, there's one that's uh, the one I have is um, uh, fire fighting. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll show it to you. Where the fuck did you find it? <laughs> Toad School just ran away. It was so funny looking. <laughs> to Toad School and whatever it evolves to into are going into my party. Toad School. Uh, I have I am so far behind you guys. Oh. Oh uh, no, dude, you're all right. Oh, they're they're the dolphin. Yeah. Do you not have the dolphin? I do have the dolphin. Uh, give me one sec. Toad's cool. The wood, e wood ear Pokemon. It runs incredibly fast and very far in order to spread its seed, spore, whatever. Fell asleep, dude. He's dead. He's dead. He's Your dolphin is dying. <laughs> <laughs> so my chat has been putting nicknames right. into a random pool and we've been rolling on that table to nickname stuff so toad school what's your name uh, oh Mr. nice oh, that's a good idea ah mr schmup <laughs> look at that evolution Beautiful. oh did it happen all right i'm gonna do uh, it too oh i can't i i, I I'm, tr I'm trying to like keep as uh as like far away yep. from this stuff as possible it sounds good You with an umlaut. Chat, I'm warning you. Prepare to be disappointed. Oh, and Mr. Shmup's personality trait that we rolled is love, uh, sings, uh, songs, sings yeah. love songs during romantic <laughs> moments. So Flip apparently turn. this ten, this, uh, this Toad's Cool can, uh, can, can sing. Uh, after it's making its attack. Oh, this is just U-turn, but water. Oh, a flip uh, turn? Yeah, flip turn, yeah. Yeah, flip turn. It, that's a very good move. It's great, yeah. It's super good for this thing, too. Yeah, I think I think it's like a kind of required attack for this thing. So now how does it like transform? Uh, I'm pretty sure you have to call it back and uh, then send it back out. And then it, it transforms. Toad School um, is one hundred percent going in my final party. Longo caught a Toad School. He looks exactly the same. Yeah, but <laughs> like, it, but he's but got it, the heart, but that's but it. it doesn't. Yeah, it's got better stats at least. Well, have you seen its? Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I've been trying to like uh, like I've been playing twenty questions with my chat to try to guess the evolution methods of some of these. And I have the dolphin, I just gotta figure out how to evolve it. It's, yeah, it's a whole thing. Does it require multiple locations? No, it, um... A single move? Um, a level and a certain game mechanic. 
Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Man, I... Okay, I won't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. I give up. I mean, if anyone's I, gonna be able to do it, it's Tom. I mean, all right, you know, yeah. I was gonna, I was about to say I give up. Just tell me, but you know what? You put pressure on me, so <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> no, I'm saying like a lot of there was a lot of people that might not end up being in the scenario in which to do this, but you, you are in it all the time, so you'll be yeah. fine. In it all the time. Yeah, you'll, you'll be able to do it. No worries. Yeah. Do I have Steeny? Hello, Steeny. Do I have you? I do have you. Get out of my face. <sighs> Get out of my face. Oh, dude, this is my first four-star raid. Oh, what are you doing? What, what's over there? Uh, it's a go-goat. Oh, what, uh, what, uh, what, uh, terror type? Oh, uh, I think psychic? Uh, that's not too bad. Ooh, a psychic four-star go-goat? You guys want to hop in <laughs> it, or? <laughs> oh, I just started a battle, so, so either you guys could do it, or I'll hop in with you it's in a just a moment here. It. <laughs> All it said to me was, "This is Matt's crystal," and kicked me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you go into the um. So when when Matt starts up the room, it'll uh it'll give you a prompt. I really like. Uh, that you can hit Y oh. for. But if you miss that prompt, you can go into the other uh, Poke Portal and join a uh join the raid that way. Okay. So oh. challenge challenge as a group then. Yes. Uh yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is Matt's. It just said, this is Matt's crystal. Yeah. So are the dragon tamers in this game just vault dwellers? They do have, like, a lot of spandage, right? Yep. There are far too many hot people in this game. Oh, 100%. Dude, it, my god. They're all just so fucking hot. Uh, and You got, you got a favorite? Is... Oh, it's dark oh, type. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm very split between, like, the nurse and just a regular hiker. The, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, bet I'm between the uh, the history teacher and the home ec teacher. Dude, the home ec teacher is fucking ripped. I love, love him. him. <laughs> I absolutely any love him. Classes yet? I should do that. Uh, Tom, did you want to get in on this? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, okay. by the way, Matt, it's dark type. I know. Okay. Oh wait, it's dark type. Oh wait, yes. Never mind. <laughs> oh no. Hey, you know what? I stand by it. I still got this. Okay. What is, um... Terror raid battle. What is Meowskerade or whatever? Dark? Uh, it's dark grass, yeah. Dark grass, okay. Yeah, Rika's fucking awesome, too. We just mm -hmm. saw Rika. I did that one first, and I had a hell of a time trying to beat her. Mm-hmm. Rika's one of the ones that I gave a voice to, and then people said that's a her, and I said the voice remains. Oh, no, wait, I was thinking <laughs> of Mela. Oh, yeah, I haven't fought Rika yet. Uh... Yeah, I, I, Rika, yeah, I don't think you yeah, meet Rika. Rika. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You meet Rika way before you fight him or her. I'll show you that Tauros. This is yeah, the. How do you fucking? I just found it in the wild. Ooh, Give I got to look for it then. And th there's ex version exclusives too, I think. Yeah, uh, violets. Oh, really? uh, violets, I believe, is uh, is. Uh, do you want to know the typing, or do you want to find out for yourself? I don't care. Yeah, I'll know. It's uh, it's water fighting. Ooh. So it's, it's basically Polyrath as a bull. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> This thing they have like specific die. moves. Oh yeah, the uh array. yeah the, the well the Taurus had flame charge. I don't know if Taurus can learn that normally. That seems like a Taurus. Dude, the dark headdress looks so. Oh, I gotta see what it looks oh, like. Oh yeah, I don't think I've seen the dark one before. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <kind of> like <laughs> I I I don't hey. hate it, but yeah, <laughs> hey. <laughs> my 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 entire thing right now is just gonna be good luck, guys, because I am level twenty five going up against this thing. Uh, I don't know. You might do better than you think. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna punch it. Well, uh, yeah, you guys punch it. I'll give you guys cheers. That way you could. Uh... Hell yeah! Does it do the same thing that uh, the Dynamax Pokemon do, where it resets your stats? Oh, Play rough. Um, yeah, it will either reset. Like, it will negate our good stats, or it will get rid of its negative. It does, like, one or the other. Okay, so it got rid of its own negative stats, so I'm just gonna keep on cheering for you guys. Oh, hell yeah. This is the first one I've fought that actually did that. Um, and Taurus is I've dead. Done before it died, like, right away. Ow. Seems like the timers are based on the individual, because did yours just jump down when I died? Um, I think it might have a little bit, yeah. Okay, so this is the shield that, like, Terrastalizing oh, goes terrastalize? through this. 
Oh, yeah, if okay. you terrestrialize it, will like really fuck up the shield. I like that. Uh, I like that mechanic. Oh, it's healing too. No, no, no. Uh, the charge needs to terrestrialize your Pokemon. Oh God! Oh, I, attack I, one more time. I uh, <laughs> interesting. Uh, here, uh, I just get uh, so yeah, three, three. You guys have three. Three all out, go, go all out. Because I can't terrestrialize, so I just, nice. I'm just gonna cheer. Hell yeah! Yeah, you have to do attacks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Ow. oh! I see. You charge it up by. D oh, okay. Can we all terrestrialize? I believe so. Should be able to. I'm doing nice. it now. Same. Uh, my guy looks evil as hell, by the way. When he terrestrializes. So you know when you. <laughs> so you know, like when you, when like. God, you know the problems that this game's had sometimes, right? Yeah. When I pulled uh, the menu yeah. to attack, it showed the giant worm from that one, uh, from the, the Titan I was fighting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here comes the giant fish! <laughs> the fighting, oh, oh the fighting thing is so good. There's the giant fish coming out of my head. It like poured all <laughs> over too, we broke it. Oh god! I, I think I it fi died. I finished it I off. I think it, it fucking died. It, yeah. it spit some seeds at me. <laughs> I think is it alive? No, it's dead. No, it's dead. I didn't know Gogo -Go looked that fuzzy. <laughs> I thought it, I thought it was like maybe a new form of it after evolved from Skiddo. Nah, he's a fuzzy boy. Yeah. He is a fuzzy boy. Yeah, you can have a nest ball. <laughs> Guy says he's evil. Has literal flower on his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he looks evil when he goes for the catch. Krakow. It's, it's sucking all the dust up. Oh yeah, the animation for that catch is awesome. Like it yeah. is intense. Way uh, like Dynamax is pretty cool because just because of the giant aspect of it. But I feel, uh, but I like this one more from a style standpoint. We gotta go, go. So yeah, that's, that's a raid with a difficulty, huh? Yep. Every single raid I've done so far has been show up. Pokemon died. <laughs> <laughs> I like Dumb Dog just messaged me and was like, "Hey, I finished the main part of Sword and uh, of uh, Scarlet and Violet. If you want to do raids and stuff, so like he's ripping through it as well." Oh yeah. <laughs> I got. I have to. I have to beat it. I've been taking my time, man, <laughs> and I realize how far behind I am from everybody else. Oh well, I mean, boy, do we not yeah. have lives? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like literally, I was just like, man. Uh, the next few days is just this game. Yeah, I'm gonna, I mean, like, I'm gonna take my time with it and do that. So hopefully I'll get to the post game at some point and be able to do the raids Let's with you see guys. See you later, Matt. Go Goat, the Mount Pokemon. This is what people used before they discovered Cyclazar. They would have to feed it uh, grains and hay and tin cans before we discovered we could plug gasoline into Cyclazar. It's money, you get this reward. I gotta fill out my battle pass. What is what is your nickname? Uh oh good. Your name great. Cool. Go Goat's name is Whooper. Oh nice. Uh so I think I have a hundred and seventy right now. And its trait is uh only shouts <laughs> What's this raid? What do we got in here? This is Plungo's crystal. <laughs> God, that is uh, that's become a bit of a meme. Right. Oh, this is a four-star Tauros. Okay, let's see. Hi, Tauros. Hi, everyone. Please leave me alone. Is that normal? So it's like a normal boosted Tauros. Interesting. Oh, but I guess because Tauros is fighting. Yeah, that makes sense. I've seen some of them in the raids where they just have the same typing. Yeah. Fairy was a was a bit of a disappointment when I saw Fido in there. Hello, Oinkalone. Actually, I'm gonna go. Heard people the top didn't of like that town. design. I like Oinkalone. Oinkalone's not bad. Uh, if you need me, I'll be up here killing a treasure chest. <laughs> Just gotta kill it and take its gold. I want its gold. You be as many coins as you can cough up. I'm, uh, yeah, I, I like gold. 
Dude, have you seen Quaxley's Final Evolution? I have not yet, but I probably won't see it because I chose Foy Coco. Yeah. Buckle the fuck up. It's an adventure. Uh, what did I replace you with? Oh, uh, Godzilla. Godzilla, where are you? Oh, that's you. Okay. <laughs> I was confused for a second as to like, wait a minute, there's an NPC up here. That's not an NPC, it's Jeremy! It's me! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I had to step up for a sec. Right, we were still here. I knew. I'm looking forward to when, when, uh, the salt guy evolves. Oh, dude, I have not really done anything with him. And I, I feel like I should, but... Dude, that's... He's super good, right? That salt cure move is... Uh, insanely good. Is it? Uh, so it, um... Un so the, it stays active until the opponent switches out. And Wait, it does it, and it does one-eighth damage every turn, or one-fourth against water and steel types. Christ! That's... It is that's wild! There's a lot of moves that are, like, broken. This gym to me. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Oh, all the starters basically get a broken move. Oh, yeah. have, have you seen, uh, have you seen, uh, the, uh, Dung Beetles or the, or, uh, Palmo, pa Palmy's Evolutions, uh, like, signature move? I no, haven't. I haven't, yeah. Oh, do you want to know? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, go, I, I mean, mean yeah, tell It's me. called Revival Blessing. It has one PP, and it's a revive as a move. Are you serious? 100%. Holy shit. How is wow. That, is that good? How would that... Translate to the meta. Of like I, I, either the move is either the move is going to be banned, or like it, like I have no idea. I have no idea. Either that, or people are just going to be running like three Pokemon and three revivals. Like it's going to be wanna, it's going to be wild. You guys want flying saws book? Flying saws book. It's like a flying saucer, but it's the but a deer. The winter type too. Ooh. I mean, you can invite me to whatever. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm right. looking around for anything I, I should... haven't caught yet. Honestly, like, oh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind just, like, just being in a call talking to you guys while I go and do the gyms to try and catch up with oh, you guys. Sure. I mean, for sure. Yeah, whatever you want, man. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I have to catch this because it just occurred to me. This is actually a reindeer. They can fly and it's a reindeer. <laughs> it, it is a know flying what? reindeer. Oh. You, know, you know what? If, once you got that room up, tis the season. I'll join yeah, in just so I can season. get this. Yeah, there you go. Man, I just learned I have a uh, no good Pokemon for it though. Um, I've got uh, a my electric with, bird. I'm gonna hit with a hammer. Oh, uh, mini Zapdos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's I, pretty I, much I what it is. Kind of want yeah. mini Zapdos. Dude, he's really good. I named mine Soup. There's a one trio on this island. <laughs> <laughs> Did we wanna? Dude, we wanna I love those. Though? <laughs> oh my god! When that thing evolved, I was like, "Oh, good, a new version of the Oscar Mayer Wieners." Yep. Uh, uh ooh. Did flying, you, you say? Squat up, by the way. I didn't know how we. Oh yeah, we can do that. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I forget about it all the time, and then my mod yelled at me. Get in there, soup. Squat uh, uh, at the channel. Do, nope, not Doolery. Dooley. <laughs> Please, Doolery is my father. And I still match. There we go. Except flying, you said, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, go. That go, thing's so go, cool, man. Go, go get him, Paul. Oh yeah, I, oh. I love this fucking hammer thing. Tom, oh my god, I just got out of a fight with one of those things. They're before. bitches. They, oh my <laughs> god, it kicked my ass. It kicked. Me. They're so fast. And they just I, hit really I hard. I just caught one. I might need to switch some stuff out. I, I feel like I don't have a firm team. Squad stream up. Pokemon that I'm like, these oh, are my Pokemon. Sorry, I forgot I to ready up. Really God, for a second I thought I backed out of the whole thing entirely when I backed out of what Pokemon I was using. <laughs> so that's what Tinker Tank becomes, huh? Oh uh, yeah. God, that hammer is massive. I, yeah. There's a lot of times I can't see what Pokemon I'm fighting. Because the um, hammer just blocked the way. The Man, how t I couldn't imagine that thing being tall. How big is it? Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty tiny. Oh, okay. It's just got but a I giant still, hammer. Yeah, the hammer just is most of the screen. Well, I, I consider the the I consider the hammer to be part of the Pokemon. I, I mean, it is. Its Pokedex entry is fucking hilarious. God damn.
helmets on them is so stupid. Look at that. I, I don't like it. Like, dude, I can't see the Pokemon again. It's the hammer's just <laughs> Yeah, the hammer is oh, in the way. That, so that's what shit. you mean. Yeah. <laughs> like, Tom, like, come to my stream real quick. <laughs> like, literally, I cannot see the, the, the <laughs> I like that Sawsbuck looks like it has a little, like, sailor hat on, too. <laughs> the face of the clouds. Oh, <laughs> so what, a, yeah. what a shittily designed, it's, like... It's just so big. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm gonna hit it with this big fucking hammer. Tank. I'm really glad I'm an ostrich. You <laughs> certainly hit that with a hammer. I certainly am an ostrich. Yeah. I, I love that move, but you can only use it... Uh, one time, and then you have to switch it. Oh, interesting. You can't yeah. spam it. Uh. Is it steel type? That move? It's it's steel type with 160 base. Oh, does Jesus. it have does it have a yeah. torment built into it? Basically, so you can't yeah, use it twice in a row. Built in torment, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I need one more attack to terrestrialize. Oh, my attack! Oh, that kind of sucks. Actually. Sunny day. Oh, sunny day, huh? Sunny day. Paul's dead. Terrestrialize! I will fight your balloons with my own. <laughs> Someone in my chat says, like, steel giga impact, but uh, but with a better downside. Yeah, I mean, it's it's nice to not have the whole card gone, you know? It's like, yeah, I can't use it again right away, but... Energy it ball. does so much damage, I don't really care. No! Not your Oops. charms! Guess we just mashed this guy. Alright, I get to rastalize this turn finally. I wanna change the. Oh! The terrastalization of this bird. Yeah, I, I, I guess that's like a thing I just haven't really seen yet. I think it's the shards that you find. I don't know how to do it though. Ah! Ugh. That's very interesting what just happened. Broken. I can now see everything! With hammer. Oh, you, you terrestrialized like right beside me. I can hear it. Uh. Oh my god. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> you have just what? an axe buried uh, in your head. Yeah, I know. The steel typing for this is so weird. It's literally an axe going right in your fucking head. Um, yeah, my mod, Ocean, uh, she brought up that I could literally, with this fucking hammer, if I outspeed the Pokemon, I could use that crazy hammer move. Then I could use Protect. And then I could use that crazy hammer move again. <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that, that. I mean, that is a technique that you could do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could be a real dick. Oh man, I want to see more Pokemon with axes coming out of their heads. I well, just steal terrestrialize, dude. What were they? What were they thinking? With the axe? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a spring one. I actually thought it would be a win. <coughs> and it's got little flowers on it. Ah. Oh, okay. Aww, hello. I like that they each have their own Pokedex <laughs> entry too. Oh, oh yeah, really? yeah. The the, uh, yeah. the the different types, of, the different um, forms oh. of Tauros have their own Pokedex entries too. Yeah, I it's not, not just like that. all one sauce buck. It says like something specific about it. That's cool. The pink flowers that bloom on its antlers, uh, the more beautiful the sauce buck is continue, uh, considered to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our, I guess ours would be different, right? We have different oh, versions. right. Yeah, right, no, yeah, I, I, yeah. here we go. I got I, here's the one for, uh, for Scarlet. Uh, sauce buck, the seasoned Pokemon. It is the bringer of all allergies, causing pollen to go everywhere. Is that really what it says? Said, no. Yeah, I would just assume. <laughs> well, I mean, I was, it I really had, could be. Yeah. I had the thing, and I was like, he could be reading a different one than I just don't know. <laughs> like, dude, the Pokemon Ooh, I don't gen have gotten, one of you. It's gotten real spicy. Uh Oh, Saucebuck, your name is Big Gonzalez. Well, like, I remember, it like, uh, the Sunkern one is like, it's pathetic. It's a terrible Pokemon. I was like, yes, I agree, but damn. <laughs> like, I don't. Normal. I don't say it to the the fucking sun kern. I think it loudly, but I don't say it to the sun kern. And your quirk is that you cheat at cards, but nobody can prove it. I would love to see a reindeer play cards. Oh, 
messed that thing up. I'm gonna try to catch it. I'm so glad I got Toad's Cool. Can't Here, wait. Tox effects. Can't wait for Toad's Cruel. Dude, Toad's Cruel is a is a whole thing in itself. Oh yeah, I haven't I haven't seen that out and about. I guess you can't catch that one. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I should probably. Wonder Mr. Greg off saying that's why it's not allowed I, to play uh, any more any more reindeer. I've got to do the ghost type gym, but. I don't feel confident about my Not team allowed to play reindeer, reindeer games anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank you, Gurganoff. I mean, you've got Annihilate, don't you? Yeah, I've got Annihilate, and he's probably fine, but... Oh, uh, yeah, he'll, he'll fuck it up. I also, like, I realized today every single Pokemon I have is a physical attacker. That none of them have special attacks. <laughs> uh, none of them are special. Yeah. They're nothing special. I guess I'll, you know, I'll just pop Toad's Cool into the party. Is it a, is it a level-up evolution? Uh, uh, I think so. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, it might be. Uh, I would assume it's like tentacle. I would hope so. Because <laughs> sometimes they switch it up on you. Well, the Pokedex <laughs> entries really like to be like. It's just the same thing with Wug Trio. It was like, yeah. I know it looks like Doug Trio, but it's not. <laughs> it's They're not, not related. Yeah. Oh, I just, interesting. I just got slammed with a. This is Plungo's crystal. Yep. This is plug. We, my two friends I was playing with got hit by that for almost every crystal they ran into, and I wasn't even, I hadn't even gone to the areas that they were in. Um, interesting. So the island, like, kind of out a little bit into the water f from where we were, it the had bit, three yeah. TMs on it. Uh huh. So it had grass pledge, uh, fire pledge, and water pledge on it. Really? Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm just gonna start I, pumping candies I... into my Pokemon. Nice. I, the island out. Yeah, no, I went there. That wasn't what was there. Yeah, that's what was. Oh, hi, Shelter. Do I have you? Come here. They Where must, are you running to? They must respawn. Probably. I definitely did not have that when I went there earlier. Oh, I do have you. Oh, right. I did a raid for you. What is that in the background? Is that a cool fish? Get your ass over here. Quick ball. Right, and, and throw. Chat, just what are the levels for these so I'm not guessing? <laughs> Give me the levels. I need charm. I need them. This has been going ape shit catching Pokemon. <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm staring out of that barrel, but I don't know, like. Well, I'll I'll probably be able to get him a ride on. It won't be that bad. Oh, dude, beach vinegar. That's the best. <laughs> I need to. I need to find um where I can get false swipe. Oh, uh, the, the school. They, oh, the they school? Yeah. Oh, God, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't remember what exactly you do to get it, but... Uh, yeah, had, I like, think I just talked to the biology teacher. Yes, it's a Pokedex reward. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, okay. I didn't tell you how I caught my shiny, did I? No, how'd you get it? <clears throat> Uh, so I was playing last night, and I was just kind of, uh, running around killing Pokemon and uh, doing raids. And, uh, I fell asleep on the couch while I was playing. Nice. Um, and I woke up because Shelder was screaming at me, and it was a shiny Shelder that was just sitting there. I don't know what I did. I five five more minutes, Shelder. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone, Shelder. Like, I, by all rights, I shouldn't have a shiny Pokemon right now. Here it comes. <laughs> Leggy Boy is evolving. Oh really? Oh, You're uh, Toad School? Yeah, I just I just uh, popped a bunch of candies into it. Oh, nice. what, what level <laughs> did it? Uh, uh thirty. That's wild. <laughs> That's <laughs> Toad Scroll. Toad yeah. Scroll's a real adventure. I have to see this thing running around on the on the field. Toad Scroll, the woodier Pokemon. It runs around its legs very quickly and chases down in intruders in the forest. Do you guys God, see it's, the battles? It's freaking snoot. Uh, some of them. You can't see um, important battles, like gym battles or things like that. But you can see oh, any okay. of the ones in the overworld. Well, I'm fighting Moist Critical, so. <laughs> That's what I think every time I see him. What the hell is that movement? Oh, he, like, I guess they really didn't want to animate his legs because he just jumps around. Oh, really? That sucks. Yeah. Imagine all those things going in tandem, just... <laughs> oh, I still got the... God damn it. I keep forgetting to turn that off. 
<laughs> I thought you were about to read a dex entry. I like, know, I, really I'd already, I, I, I muted to yeah. read it so I wouldn't... Oh, I got it, got it. Yeah. I still I like it. I, like, Toad School is amazing, but but this is, but it, this thing is still pretty cool in its own right. I just wish it ran. It's got Wait, its where, own, uh... Where you at? It's own good bits. Who are you looking for? Tom? Yeah, Tom. Oh, I'm in, uh... I'm looking at this... Oh, I'm in, like, the outskirts like... of Lavencia. Oh, you're right in front of me. I'm a, I literally... I could have seen you if I turned around. Oh, there you are. Yeah, here, uh... Hello. Yeah, let me see him. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, the, ju the Stop. jump... Stop. I wish he ran, but the Stop. jumping still is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I still love how not different at all this thing is. <laughs> From what? Ten, That's uh, its evolved form. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he, he evolved. Is Oops. it any? Is it any bigger? No, I'm talking about the dolphin. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Apparently, when you go in battle, that's when it's very that's different. When you, it's yeah. Is it a, was it a friendship evolution? Do you want to know? Wait, I'll tell you how you, you evolve it. But I mean, if you want no no like help or anything. <laughs> Oh, it's really getting to him. Do you want, like, a, a hint? Yes! Okay, well, there's a reason Jeremy and I evolved them at the same time. Is it a trade evolution? No. No. You have to have two of them battle? No, well... Can you battle? Honestly, it's like it's honestly it's, it's way, way easier than you than think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you just, you just send, them, send two of them out in front of each other? I no, mean... That's, that's too simple, but... <laughs> I mean, I think even that's more complicated than it yeah, really well, is. Yeah, I guess that's fair, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, you found a mouse, mass outbreak of Magnemite. I did? Picnic Where? Picnic with them? No. <laughs> I mean... I, I will say, if you were to find one right now, Tom, you could evolve it, like, easily. Okay, hold on. Provided it's the appropriate level. Uh, I, I'm willing. I'm willing to to to, to know what the uh, what the level is for it. Because if it's if it's just a boost, the level is 38. Uh, okay, that's more than the candies I have. So I'm gonna be at that for a while with that little dolphin man. Yeah. Uh, levels up there. Oh no. I'll wait. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll wait on that one then. I'll just keep oh, pumping oh, candies oh, and the oh, other ones oh. like level up by other things. Still gotta figure out the the two mice. That oh, one's yeah. apparently very complicated. That one I heard was... E oh, look at Shiny Shelter! Look at him, look at him. He's all cool. He walks backwards because he doesn't need to know where he's going. He trusts <laughs> me. Oh, you got your shelter out? I want to see, I want to see, yeah. I want to see. Get uh, that let's shelter see. out. Let me, let me see where you're at. Uh, <laughs> get that shelter out, girl. Get Show that me that shelter. <laughs> <Get it. laughs> Show me that shelter. Oh, you're just up the road. Okay. Yeah, yep. I'm, I'm hanging out with Tom. Come on, ma'am! I'm, I'm, I'm forcing my shell to walk around. <laughs> Father, please, this is night. This is nightmarish of me. All right. Uh, let's see. And then I think it was oh, there level are. thirty-five for the for the engine. Oh yeah, look at him go! Yeah. Uh, hang on. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, Qfin, right? I got a shiny Qfin. Oh, nice. Yeah, I just saw him in the like in the distance, and I was like. Wait a second. Like, Thank you, Drinker, for the raid. Here's some countermeasures for you. Have boop. Worried that I'm like, I'm seeing them and not noticing. Them, I've know? definitely missed a bunch. Yeah. There he is. Oh, the fact you noticed that, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, he was like just kind of yellowish, and I was like, oh. Yeah, like shoulders so different that I found it with my eyes closed. What the fuck with that? <laughs> that's like the, that's like the flare. That's like the uh, the Flareon we got in that one braid where we're just yeah, like, yeah, it really shiny? kind of is. Yeah. Wait, what the hell? Uh, and now I need this bad boy out here again. Go oh, shelter. What's this evolve into? Probably bad. Cloister. Well, yes, I know that, but uh, I mean, like, how, how does it evolve? Be? Come here, no, buddy. I... Just what does oh. it look like? Uh, I goes. What's the level for the for the engine? Game. Come on, Bram. What a just shame. Orange to blue. 
Oh no, I don't want to recall you. I want you to. Oh, go the ahead. shiny for sh uh, for cloister. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for cloister. Stop fighting birds! I don't want you to do that. <laughs> Stop fighting birds! Stop fighting birds! Damn it! Bram. <laughs> it, it it might be Everstone time. <laughs> are, you, are you actually going for a shiny living dex? Yeah, yeah. I yo, I it's been great. Knowing you. <laughs> Dude, I've been hunting Ekans for so long in Let's Go and doing I, a ton of trades for Alolan Raichu. I appreciate the like the commitment for that. That's that is a rough go. The dedication. It's a rough go of it, yeah. Um why do oh, I have but when you get them, it's like <sighs> The Flea is evolving. Crocolore, what are you turning into? Oh, I Ooh, I like that! Skeledurge. Oh, you just got Skeledurge? Yeah. Fire Dude. Ghost. The Singer Pokemon? Oh, yeah, Sing that oh, took me by oh, surprise. Wait, yeah. Singer or Singer? Singer. The okay, singer. well. <laughs> well then. Uh, yeah, you, oh. you'll see when you use his special moves. That's, <laughs> that's true. Shelter only evolves the Water Stone. I, Skeledurge. I see his, uh... The Singer Pokemon. I got nothing, man. Yeah. Did you see his little? Did you see his little bird on his nose? Yeah. He's got a little firebird. Got a little firebird. It's like that that like symbiotic relationship. Torch song. It's like Parish song, but you, yeah. You torch song is them. insane. You fire. Ooh, hey, the user box. blows out a raging flame to sing a song, scorching the target. This also boosts the user's special attack. Every single time you use it, your special attack goes up. And like, so you can just sweep with Skeledurge. If you use, uh, if you use that a uh, couple of times, Just throwing a bunch of my candies on the stuff on this. So I think, I Wait, think it's, uh, it's probably been a thousand back. steps. Let's see. I don't think I want to level. You're trying to oh, is that what Bramblin is? Maybe. Okay. Oh, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I need to do. Uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, Palmo. I mean, have you, do you want to see the evolved form of a uh, Relor? Oh, the psychic bug. Yeah. Have you, I, oh, you've seen it already. Uh, I mean, I've heard of it. I don't know if I've seen it. Do you want to see it? Yeah, sure. Where are you? You're down here. <gasps> He's evolving. Hang on. Bam. Oh, God. <laughs> he has floats? Yeah. Apparently, cool. his, his shitball, like, achieves, uh, achieves transcendence. And his Pokedex entry says that his body is inside the ball. <laughs> He's got a big old smile on him. Oh wait, so is this this thing just like the body? The, apparently, the body that's supporting it is just a shell. That tracks though. He's kind of like a scarab, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, whoa! Holy crap! Yeah. So the 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 shit ball achieves transcendence and becomes a psychic orb. It's it's kind of like one of those. Po like oh, it's a, really a disturbing. A type thing, right? Kind of. Where the the shit ball is the Pokemon, actually. Well, no, the scarab is still the Pokeball. It just exists as the shit ball. <laughs> it's fucking Pomo. There he goes. <laughs> I gotta run. Yeah, you do. <laughs> ah, watch out for that side, guys! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the shit ball achieved tranquility. Exactly. Man, this is my bramble gas. This thing is so slow. What the fuck. Bramble gas. Bramble gas. I don't know how I feel about that Pokemon. <laughs> I was thinking, so I didn't, I didn't realize the smile at first. I was like, yep. it looks like an anchor. It looks like Delmize. Nope. They're Big both, old goofy smile. They're both grass ghosts. Rambling. <laughs> Rambling. Rambling. <laughs> have you, have you right. guys, have you guys seen what Caps, uh, Capsace Kid evolves into? Oh, Capsca Kid? Yeah. Oh yeah! Uh, oh yeah! Because the, uh, oh, yeah. the Ar Arvin or villain, uh, yeah, or uh, Arvin has one. Yeah, that, Jesus, this thing is is wild. Score villain is is oh, he's an adventure, and I love it. What is this thing? That's a growl. Oh. I kind of want one, but dude, get a growl with what? I'm fucking up. I mean, I could, but I gotta wait for this fucking little thing. To... <laughs> How many different colors of Squawkabilly have you found? He's done. Uh, I found two, and then uh, the third one, I was like, all right. All right, that's enough. I've, I've had enough. You've seen one Squawkabilly, you've seen all those. Yeah. I should evolve Smoliv, that which my chat lovingly named Pelican Mouth. Because it's, <laughs> it's a baby? Because yeah. it's a baby. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Well, dude. It I was mean, they're they're all they're all thrown into a into a random pool. So like, I just roll it, and and it came up with Pelican Mouth for small of. Pelican Mouth had to be on there like eight times though, right? It was on there once. Okay. Whoa. Dude, I saw um. I went into one of the towns, like, at the very beginning of the game, and someone's standing there with a Pelipper. Oh, yeah. And I and I was like, oh, my God. And the, the whole chat's like, Pelican Mouth, Pelican. And I went up and, yeah. I went up and talked to the guy who had the, the Pelipper, and my game crashed. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And I was like, okay. You, you, I didn't, think I, you, you didn't feed it the proper baby. I yep. think I, I saw the Pelipper, and then, like, I zoomed over to the left, and there was a little kid, and I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, might, might be too big to get in Pelican Mouth. But it'll this is find Plungo's away. crystal. This is Plungo's crystal. Don't this is, even this, try it. This is disc chips. Stay away uh, from me, Magnum. I don't know if I've run enough with this thing. Um, it's not a ton, so you probably have. Okay. Well, here. Ooh, toxic spikes, TM. Hell yes. Hmm. This I is Matt's you. crystal. I give you candy. Was it my crystal? Can oh, right. trust Pelican for giving good love to bitches. baby. Yes. Friend Pelican. I thousand bits uh from Flying Wolf Law saying I heard it. So here, nickname Mouth, personality trait, tender care of baby. Finally, chat. Murder mix evolves. Oh yeah, that's that's one of the ones that gets that revival blessing move. Oh, so he actually can, he could revive my Pokemon. Yep. I mean, while he's in battle, right? There we go. I finally, I get to see what Small of evolves into. Yeah, I haven't evolved to Small of yet. I, I see I a trainer in the background just turning. That's pretty neat. I think they're, uh, Dollar. They're shiny as a black Oh, yeah. Like that. Yeah, I saw that. That's really cool. There is, uh, the revival blessing. Wow, a fire greedent, huh? That how is... about how about you die? Dolive, the olive Pokemon. It's it, like its child. It's pressed into olive oil. They just revive. That's <laughs> so crazy. It's cute. I'll give it that. Where are you? I'll show you. I'll show you all of uh, evolution. Uh, I'm not gonna use it, but I'll grab it later. Oh, speaking of which, there's a green squawkabilly. Hey, buddy, get away from me. Shop Man. it! I need you! Come here! Why does every Pokemon that I was going to use in the beginning have a terrible nature? <laughs> uh, oh my god, he's, he's a he's lot bigger, yeah. Big! <laughs> Holy shit. This is like, he's, cool. he's like, he's like Raichu sized. That's bigger than Raichu. I think it's about the same size as Raichu, honestly. Uh, my, no Raichu. Raichu. my Raichu used to ride on my shoulders. You must have had I had Helen incredible Hel shoulders. <laughs> I had girthy shoulders. I had incredible neck pain. And smash. yeah, I could I could like cuddle this guy. He's he's a cute little guy. You both All have right. done uh star bases, That's right? At least uh, one. I've done two of them, yeah. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Oh, the dude. um I gotta get Rev of Room. <laughs> I I only uh, have a uh, Varum. <laughs> I have, yeah, a, I, I, yeah, I, my, I have a, yeah, my, I have a, I have a Varum at level 35. I think it evolves at 40. Damn, that's up there. They don't seem to be amazing Pokemon, to be honest. I'm, I need to figure out how the mice evolve. It's got a fun, um, it's got a fun typing. Like, I like Poison Steel. It's kind of a mm -hmm. fun typing, but like, yeah, it just doesn't it's, appear it's, to be an amazing Mon. It's wild that each of the Rev of Rooms you fight on Team Star. <laughs> Are the type that they represent? Yeah, so it's basically their form of terastalizing. Yeah. To, yeah, building a car around a Pokemon. Yeah, like that's torture, right? Like, oh, yeah, they, like the Team Star yeah. has tortured those Pokemon into being their creations. <laughs> that right? was like the first thing I thought. Was like, oh, man, <laughs> you guys are uh, pretty fucked up, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, one thing. One thing cool that I noticed that you could do is when you zoom all the way out in the map, you could see what order you've done everything. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Oh, so when like you. When you finished everything, it was like, here's exactly the order you did it in. Yep. I guess I'll fight. Is it poison? I would I would say it'd be an interesting thing to do stuff in, like, complete reverse order level-wise, but it would only be interesting for the first battle. And then yeah, and like, then you just <laughs> destroy everything else. All right, well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my easier battle <laughs> starts now. 
Oh, you know what I haven't oh, done, too? Oh, I've never okay. done a surprise trade in this. I haven't either. I've heard that they've already kind of, like, had to start reeling some of that in. What, like, hacked stuff? Uh, yeah, hacked stuff. Classic. I wonder if what? they took it down for a little while, because one of my friends was saying that they couldn't, uh, they couldn't surprise trade at all. Oh, really? What level did you evolve that, uh, Toadstool? 30? 30. 30. I've yeah, got let's, that much candy, I probably imagine. Let's send this Diglet out into the ether and see what we get. <laughs> like, actually oh, Diglet or okay. Wiglet? Uh, actually Diglet. 30, exactly. Mudshot? We have a team of all water and ground types that have to be consisted of all <laughs> Wooper and Diglets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, X? let's see. Sending Diglet to Volatars. Ghost type? I found a smooth rock. Oh, this guy sucks. Oh, brother, this, this guy, guy stinks! <laughs> Sent me a sun kern. Why would they do that? <laughs> why would they do that to me? <laughs> How, why, I have, I haven't done anything to them. Oh, I found one of those worms. Come here, you. Might as well evolve it and then or trade worm. it back out. Why do I have the mice out front? Good God. I guess I'll super fang it. Missed. Yeah, that shit. Missed. Fire again. Missed. Missed again. All right. What? Fire Sun Kern is evolving. Both Are you times. insane? <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this? Uh, are are you ill? Are you well? Should oh, I call nine? Should I call nine one one? Oh, I hate it. Oh yeah, these things are just not for us. So it's cool. Oh yeah, they actually kind of like an uh, like an Octorok um, oh, Deku it. Scrub hybrid. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Mycelium mite. The Metamycetes. Uh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, God. So it can guarantee a poison, regardless of, like, abilities and stuff. Oh, and uh, can it even but do it to steel types under the poison types? I don't know about that. Maybe, but... Because that's, uh, that's what Corrosive did in... Um... It says that... So, uh, the Pokemon acts more slowly when using status moves, but uh, they always are unimpeded by the ability of their targets. Interesting. So negative <coughs> priority exchange for always hitting. Yeah. That's depending on what it gets, that could be wild. Trade going right, out. Okay. If you could send me a Sprigatito or a Quaxley, I'd love that. I'm sure those are going around. Yeah. Fourth would... worm is pure steel type, or if it's bug type oh, as well, because I, I use think the it's pure element. steel. What did you take, Tom? What's your starter? Uh, Fue Coco. Oh, okay. I sorry, I watched you evolve. This. <laughs> uh, I could try and breed you a Sprigatito real quick. I could try to whip you up a cat real quick. <laughs> yeah, I'll see, yeah. I'll see if I can't do that in my sandwich shop, you know. That'd be appreciated. Thank you. <clears throat> see if I can't get you one of them. <laughs> Let me see if I can whip you up. <laughs> whip you up a big old worm. A, a worm. I'm looking at the worm, worm. right now. So Give me that worm. Give me that worm. I'll make you a cat. All right. It's Earthworm. The Earthworm Pokemon. It burrows and tunnels underground, creating subways, therefore giving people a place to travel better. Sometimes it overdoes it and the structure collapses. Oh. Ooh. Um, right. you guys want to do another raid real quick? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, I just fire, got out. An fire Ampharos. Uh, Orthworm. Oh, name? nice. Yeah, I'm down. Ooh, yeah, that's really good. Uh, fire Punch on that thing. Although, I don't think its attack is that good. Uh, Orthworm's nickname is I on its personality Pets. quirk is that it breaks into the da Daytona USA theme at inopportune times. <laughs> That's so annoying. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna, sh gonna shoot Raven a message, be like, dude, can I get a fucking ditto? I found. I, did I catch that ditto or did I? Oh yeah, it? same. I, I will also be messaging Raven like, hey, um, thank you for moving over there to get a ditto. I assume. That's yeah, that's yeah. I did that. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Oh, 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 yeah, the yeah, the, yeah. the, sh the shiny crate and yeah. Ditto, gotcha. Yep, he'll just uh, he'll be shipping out Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> his, 
Okay. <laughs> the, uh, Japan's main export. Ditto. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I don't think I've even caught Mareep yet. Mm, I don't have an excellent answer to fire, but when in doubt... Oh, is the, is the game up? Yeah. I didn't pop yeah. up. When in doubt, fudge. I didn't get the notification. Uh, terror raid battle. Let's go. Oh, Matt, it's going to turn into an abomination in the... What? <laughs> what? What you're using. Uh, I don't know if it can, quite honestly. Really? I think it might. Can I switch out in the middle of this? Well, is that your... Is that the one you evolved? That is the one I evolved. All right. Well, let's see what happens. I, it I might, think it, it might not, but... Uh, this thing's fire type, right? Uh, fire type, yeah. Okay. Probably shouldn't use the two mice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one gets incinerated, the other mice one's got trauma for the rest strong. of its life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use Morton. I'll use the Minecraft pig. Oh my god, that's what that looks like? I haven't <laughs> yeah. even seen that yet. <laughs> Thank you for using Claude's Ire. I've seen the final evolution, and I've seen the uh, the first evolution. I haven't seen the middle. Oh I haven't God. seen the first one yet, but I'm excited for that one. Oh, you haven't seen the so, first one? The, the, Nackley? I no, I've seen oh, Nackley. Really I, okay. I, I've, I've, seen, I've seen the first two, two but I haven't oh. seen the last one. Oh, the final one, too. So, the final one. It, it's a tank, too. I, I so far, them, so far, this thing is, a, is has been plagiarism the Pokemon. It, it, was a, it was a Mario Galaxy mushroom in its first form. It's a Minecraft pig in its second form. I can't wait to see how plagiarized for its final form. Have you heard of the pyramids? <laughs> Plagiarizing the know, ancient I, Egyptians. I, I haven't seen it. It's just a uh, pyramid of salt. That'd be amazing. Uh, yeah, Jeremy, I don't do shit. <laughs> yeah, nope, you're just a dolphin I'm still. Just a dolphin. I was really hoping. <laughs> Look at how Floyd crawls back. Oh my been, god. That salt thing. There we go. Cure it. There you go, there's a little <laughs> earthquake for you. Remove negative effects from itself. I wonder if it got rid of the salt here. Hiya! I hope this thing doesn't have any electric type move. That would really, uh, fuck me uh, up. It probably does. There's electric oh, terrain. Yeah. Oh, unfortunate. That seems like a setup for my demise. Um. Not if you're Claude, sire. <laughs> <laughs> Claude! I, if they if they show this thing off of the I anime, call. if they show this thing off of the anime, Claude, sire, I really hope it just sounds like Quagsire. Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, yep, I got it too. Uh, five seconds. Oh. Yeah, so you I like respawn. Oh yeah. Oh, interesting. The whole thing is that is that you got the time limit. I Got tried it. to use Yawn, it doesn't appear to have worked. Well, it's shielded. From Yawning? Hey, yeah, from Yawning. And it it still didn't fucking even do the thing either. Oh, good. Yeah, I, had to use, I had to use Sturdy to stay alive. <laughs> you love that, right? <laughs> You'll love to see it. I, I had to. <laughs> I had to. Oh, that's poison. That's good. Oh, okay. there were no other Pokemon on the screen for a brief amount of time. Oh yeah, that'll happen sometimes. Yeah. Yar! I might be kicked out of this because the, the time is going to severely drop for me. Uh, well, I think it it will drop for it's everyone. Like everyone, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We okay, are cool. getting close to not doing this. Yeah. It's poisoned. Yep, that'll help. Uh, right. Confused, well. Morton comes uh, yeah, back. I'm confused, so. Oh, at least they have Aqua Tail out. Oh boy, yeah, there's a big time drop right there. Oh, when we die, do we lose time? Uh, yes. Oh, well, yep. fuck. Broke the shield. You call yeah. him Fudge? Yeah, his name's Fudge. Good name. Well, I was uh, naming all my... Guard. I was naming I all my Pokemon after uh, food, and then this guy came out, and I was like, that's Fudge. Fudge. Oh, Fair. don't cotton guard! No, don't be confused, please. There you go. 
<laughs> I'm not dealing any more damage to this thing, I'm realizing. I don't see its health uh, going oh down anymore. Oh my god, yeah, I'm not really either. Uh, there we go. Okay, it's going down, but it's, uh, but, yeah, Cotton Guard, wow. It's ridiculously wow. slow. Cotton Guard really got us there. I got a good hit there. Uh, uh, I think it won. I think it oh, won, Oh, yeah, it too. definitely did. Oh it, my it, god. It, it just, it destroyed the arena. It did a, it did a, a dramatic finish from Dragon Ball, uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball Fighters. <laughs> On its way out, it killed Palafin, too. It's like, yeah, I got this. Yeah, fuck you. You and the others are uh, blown out of the cavern. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah, it just... Jesus. It shoots at the ground. <laughs> yeah, uh... Fuck this planet! <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. He just, he just goes freeze on you. My, my palafin might not be the greatest water Pokemon. Might need to look into that. My salt man might not be the greatest Pokemon. <laughs> Well, you're probably like I'm very severely under leveled. Yeah, you're under leveled, yeah. I'll let you guys handle it. I'm gonna great. I'm gonna go on to the next uh yeah, Fudge did amazing. I Can't like deny that, the though. potency of Fudge. But I like my Palafin. He'd be great if only he could leave. If only. If only. Oh. Oh. Um oh. do I because oh I really, I really do want mm. that. I, surely I have something that can, can suffice. I was thinking, like for for the for like the crafting materials. It's like, uh -huh. oh yeah, no, these are just like things that like maybe come off in battle. And then I got a little bit concerned with the fan pee nail. And then I saw like, what the hell's the the name of that like very sharp fish? Oops. Um, uh, Veluza. V yeah, Veluzula or whatever. You you get. Fillets of that one? Yeah, you do. Holy crap, what? <laughs> Veluzula fillets, yeah. Well, with Magnemite, like I'm killing right now, you get Magnemite screws. Hey, you do get Magnemite <laughs> screws. So you just go, give me that! I like how also you just, you're just blending all these together to somehow make a CD. Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, it's fire. I could... Do things, Hmm. I wouldn't mind going for that, but yeah. I'll Chat, what hint can you provide me for uh, for evolving Swoos right in? A small one. Breed Pokemon? Uh, you make a picnic. Is it the first and the last? It, it's just any two in there could. Okay. So well, you only have, very, have two in your party. We're gonna have an intimate picnic. Uh, a cat and some silly putty. Uh, cat, yeah. So that's uh. Oh, is it a friendship evolution? I don't have any silly putty yet. <laughs> I want a play though. I don't have any. Oh, a play though. I'd, I'd uh, fuck me. Do you want one? Uh, ditto. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll catch one eventually. I'm just okay. I, I only have one, so I can't like give a ton away or anything. But yeah, I, I can't be handing them out like Raven will be. You know. <laughs> gotta, gotta be some, uh, gotta be some res restraint Raven, there, right? Raven will be. <laughs> Raven like, will be handing out dinner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can everyone come to the picnic? Uh, oh know, yeah, maybe. yeah. We could, uh, we could join up on your picnic. We could all it make a, we could, we could all make a sandwich together. All right. Well, let's not put it that way, but. Yeah. Actually, actually, we to we to we totally should just so we can stack like eighteen ingredients into a single sandwich. <laughs> but the last sandwich I made, it still was a three star, but it had like three tomatoes flopping out of it. The bread fell off in a weird way, and like, <laughs> I think one ingredient was only sticking in because the back part of it was technically under the bread. The first, was... uh, <laughs> the first sandwich I made, the cheese clipped through the bread. Yeah. Very nice. That, that makes sense. You can um, make a certain Ooh, sandwich that has egg power, and that will make eggs show up more often. Uh, I could make a quick Sammy after I knock this dog out. Oh, they need a quick Sammy. Oh, let me wake up. Let, let me just whip up a quick Sammy. Never had Vegemite. I'll make you Sammy. <laughs> Sammy. I'll make you a Sammy. This is Plungo's crystal. 
<laughs> Gee, back to fuck off. Cool, this is Plungo's crystal. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> what do you think you're doing it, Plungo's you crystal? Yeah. Oh, this is all right. That's Plungo's crystal. All right, man. Have you guys ever seen the, uh, the, um... What was it? The, the show, the show Clone High? Dude, I, I've seen a couple of episodes of that. I remember that. Um, Clone High? Yeah, it's when, like, the kids yeah. are all, like, Cleopatra and Abraham yeah. Lincoln and Gandhi and shit, right? Yep, they're all clones oh, of, uh, I, of, of I, famous people. I yeah. remember hearing about that, and I never watched it. Like, I got, like, uh, yeah, yeah. There's an episode where Gandhi right. goes on a, on a drug trip because he smoked raisins and encounters an Australian dragon who tries to make him Vegemite. Oh, Vegemite. Jesus Christ. Do we do we know how That was a wild uh, show. Uh yeah. Do you know how terror types breed down? Uh no. I don't, I don't know sure. how terror types breed down. Interesting. I want to learn, but I don't want to Bingo! Do Arctic Okami, thank you for 44 months of tier one, saying finally home and able to sub, but missing the stream since I work evenings, but now uh now, but always love the content. Thank you. Let's make a sandwich. Gotta figure out what ingredients uh, do what. Oh, I just, uh, I kinda let it be a feeling, you know? Ah. I've got a feeling. Uh, ooh, ooh. All right, let's see. Are you both, like, in the camp right now? Uh, no. I'm, I'm making a sandwich right now, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm heading towards what I believe is the poison, uh, the Team Star area. Okay. Oh, nice. First of all. But I'm almost at a Pokemon Center, so I could fake. just fly to wherever you guys are. Second of all, I, I feel like I fucked up my hamburger earlier, so bacon and hamburger. Uh, let's get some Ooh, a pickles. bacon cheeseburger. You could Can't theoretically make a bacon pickles. cheeseburger just as a sandwich. You really could. Um, like me some egg on there. I want the bacon butts. I like how I like how part of your sandwiches as well could just be like crepe ingredients. So like, ooh, let me get banana, oh, yeah. strawberries, and whipped cream on on a loaf of ciabatta. Uh, what goes better what with bacon, Chibata hamburger, you? pickles, and eggs? Strawberries. Uh, oh. and a oh. little basil. <laughs> a touch of basil. Oh, my oh. favorite my favorite kind of sandwich. <laughs> jelly and ham. <laughs> That's, I was about to say, like, let's start by putting the jam on. Because people love that. Yep, they, uh, they must Jesus. call it... Listen, they call you jam because jelly don't shake like that. Yeah, That's true. Uh, after I got the jelly on, let's add some yogurt. Flavia, uh, salt and things. chili sauce. Ooh, yeah. I know, I know that I was supposed to be making a sandwich with a specific uh, effect, <laughs> but fuck it. Give me a giraffe <laughs> egg. <laughs> My entire chat, stay away from Subway. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt, and I'll be your sandwich artist today. <laughs> no! no, no, I don't think you will. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right, bacon on the bottle. A TM for takedown. I don't think that needed a TM. I don't think I've ever wanted to use that. Is this a dead giraffe? Yes. Is this a dead giraffe? <laughs> Hamburger. All right, I want to try that uh, that that torch song out. Oh, dude, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love the way you look. I guarantee it. Probably, uh, they'll go well with with the persona I gave my trainer the last time as the manager of a band of Pokemon. Oh, it goes with it very band. well. You've got a new vocalist, my friend. There you go. Hey, no. Co-vocalist. No, Quagsire they, stays. Yeah, yeah Quagsire, <laughs> Quagsire stays. stays. <laughs> Listen, Quagsire is already getting beat out in popularity by Clodsire recently, so... Clodsire is incredible. Incredible. I, yeah, I will say, but Quagsire has a special place in my heart and will never uh, be, be well, beat yeah. for me. It, it, it's true. All right. Oh, there's more than one basil leaf. No, heavy basil. That's gonna be heavy. Get, you get like a bee. Put three bay leaves on there. The bird. Whoa, that's awesome. <laughs> oh crap! Oh, this is a dead giraffe again. <laughs> My pile of food, and by that I mean sandwich with no top bun. It's complete. <laughs> Let's see oh, what the rating no. is on that one. <laughs> I, it was all stacked up so nice and neat. And then I put the top bun on it. And you know, like, whenever they're making the sandwich, they apparently just, like, arms behind the head, slam the bun down. <laughs> <laughs> I found a ditto! 
Oh, oh well, nice. Is it, 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 it Japanese? It, it was disguised as a giraffe. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's how they do that. Yeah. Uh, another banger sandwich from me. Nice. It's, I think this might be the first one where it looks really upset oh, with how I made the sandwich. <laughs> but I still got a three star for another Tasty Matt original. Jeez. Torch Song is also incredibly strong, too. <laughs> oh, it's a super strong move. Dude, I... I, you know, I got Torch Song, and then I taught um, Shadow Ball. Oh, I gotta get that TM. Hey, hey, yeah. guys, you ever make a sandwich yeah. so bad that your internet crashes? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you get kicked out of the group? It says there's a communication error. Oh, no. <laughs> it also yeah, I got a sandwich <laughs> so bad, the game says no. <laughs> I, got, I got kicked out of the group, and my picnic table disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> what was the rating of the sandwich? <laughs> it was three stars. Don't make me wrong. Oh, that's I'm good. Still, still very good at making sandwiches. Oh, I found a Voltorb. <laughs> the, the, the chat. Good. <laughs> the the oh. game banned Matt from multiplayer because of poor sandwich making. Yeah. Poor sandwich making. Like, You're sorry. not going to take this seriously. I'm right. <laughs> Then why are we here? Why are we here? <laughs> All right. Uh, in that case, I gotta disband the room and remake it so I back and join back in. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do You're this. You're gonna dis fucking band me? Disband <laughs> me. Disband me. Send me away. <laughs> disband me. Disband me. Disband me. Do it. Come on, I want you to hit me. I will disband the group. Group disbanded. Your group has been disbanded. I think that was a good sandwich. It was mostly just a pile of food with some jam bread, but. <laughs> All right, uh... Atropius. Form uh, group. Uh, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Oh, do I have sleep? Matt Damon. Or Gumi? I don't even know if I have any of these. Come here. Do I have you, Gumi? Uh, right. Hi, I'm Jimmy. When you're ready, the, uh, the code's in, uh, in, uh, recording chat. <laughs> All right, let me, uh... Let me it will teleport you away remember. from that place, Matt. Or, uh, Jeremy. All right. I'm gonna catch the Gumi in the Sligo and then I'll head on over. <laughs> I'm I be Gumi and I got some Gumi goo. <laughs> Don't say that again. <laughs> Gumi Gumi goo. <laughs> I got my Gumi goo. <laughs> I've received Gumi goo. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. Gumi Gumi goo. Where are Where you? Where are you? <laughs> yeah. You've left some goo on the ground. Oh, crate capture? No way on Sligu. Yes! I'll take it. Come on, Goomy Goo. I see you. It's hard to tell what you're thinking. <laughs> Sir, we need because to get you can't here. emote. <laughs> you don't know what he's singing about anymore. We need to get him off the premises. <laughs> get, get him out. Get him out. <laughs> Go Goomy, Go Goomy Goo and his owner Scraggy. I'm, Scraggy. I'm gonna, I have to do a cooking stream anyway. I think I'm just now gonna make terrible, terrible sandwiches. <laughs> just sandwiches from Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Send me the send me the recipes of sandwiches you made in Pokemon, and I'll recreate oh, them. Man, you don't want those. <laughs> Dude, I, I have never. Uh, thought of a more gross concoction of food than the stuff I've been making in this game. Listen, when I was a poor college student, the uh, the people at the at the uh, <laughs> campus store, they, there was a sandwich shop in there. I would get free food because uh, because like I would order weird stuff and they're like, what else would you eat? <laughs> what else would you do? So they would make sandwiches with the ingredient, like random sandwiches with, with the ingredients there. And they had a lot of ingredients. At, like jelly and uh. ham was one of them. That's from life well, experience. We're about to see if I can make another jelly ham sandwich. I mean, jelly and ham doesn't sound like the worst thing. You do like sweet things you, on ham. Oh yeah. I think when you no, that one butter. that one wasn't bad. Like they thought it was gross. It was. It tasted <sighs> oh, great. No, that I'm sure that's great. Yeah. When when you add butter and like ketchup with some mayo sides, I think it might not be great. <laughs> now, you're just over seasoning then. Oh well, yeah. That's the whole point of what I'm doing. I just, <laughs> I, I go down the list and I'm like, let's put all these on here. <laughs> Why not? Let's do like an hour long cooking show of recreating people's recipes from this game. I, I, I might do that actually. That sounds like fun. That's, I mean, I think it could be pretty funny. Just gotta figure out what all of them are in there. Gotta, fi gotta figure out chorizo though, because I've never made that before. 
Oh, making chorizo like from scratch? I don't. I have no idea if you could find it in the wild. I don't know. Do you hunt it? <laughs> I was out hunting some chorizo the other you day. You joining up, Jeremy? Oh, sorry. It's all right. I was, I was on the hunt for chorizo. Oh, oh, sorry, God. I was out here looking <laughs> I'm for I'm on the hunt for chorizo. <laughs> it just takes out a shotgun. Right, I forgot I can't just join this one ever. Right, 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 right. Wow, uh, chorizo. Chorizo. Was it? They, 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 they make steps forward, but they always stop just a bit short. Pokemon. They do. Yeah. I think you can from that, like, the portal menu, right? Yes. It doesn't have to be from a Pokemon Center, but you can't jump in once the game's already started. I just like uh, standing in the circle. And then those two numbers, and then this. Check the H-E-B sausage section for chorizo. Okay. <laughs> the chorizo are the people that help Samus. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am. Yes, I will set out with these members. Of course, the the team of Matt, Remy, and Plungo. Yes. <laughs> Never a greater team, is Never there? a greater team there ever was. Matt, Remy, and Plungo set a course. You desire Plungo. What adventure. The smug goth. I even remember to turn my camera back on this time. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hi. Hey, oh. Uh, Hello. Welcome. Can I make a picnic here? <laughs> can, uh, can, can you picnic in the city? Sir, this is private property. <laughs> Please leave. <laughs> Gonna picnic in the picnic city. Here. Uh, well, I mean, there's land over here. I don't know if you could do it there. Because th it might be, it might forbid you from doing it in cities at all. I would imagine what you just said is true. Oh, you know what? So, are we in the main city right now? Yes. We are, yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll go to class. <laughs> Uh, you should you go see the Wait, nurse can you first. encounter these magic carp? Uh, no. You can talk to them, but you can't encounter them. Carp. I mean, talking is kind of an encounter. Kill me. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> One of the oh, the trait of a, of a magic carp that I caught from chat was uh, only speaks in reverse. <laughs> Prakagam. 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 <laughs> I admire you doing that because I would read that and be like, that's too much fucking work. They're, they're a mute. <laughs> <laughs> they, trust me, they think in reverse. Prock, 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 prock again. Um, Where do you want to go? He's nurse's office? Area three. It's time to kill people. Is something huh? good in the nurse's office? Uh, Yes, the nurse. I haven't seen the nurse, actually. Oh well, my I, goodness! I would go to the nurse's office. I've had plenty of boo boo since I met her. <laughs> oh, hi! <laughs> that was what I said. Owner of a lonely heart. But you need to stay away from her, <laughs> <laughs> bro. You can have a Pokemon battle over her. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a Pokemon murder over her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's been talking about me, huh? Yeah, child <laughs> with giant smithing hammer. Use kill attack. <laughs> yeah. Use kill. <laughs> or, I mean, honestly, just use drop. I don't really care. Make it look like an accident, I guess. <laughs> oh, you dude, became... it's, Cl it's Clive, the coolest guy in school. <laughs> you became slightly closer with the nurse. <laughs> Hell yeah, what? dude. I, I know. <laughs> what? It's, dude, it's for it's, it's, it, it, the turn Pokemon to a dating sim. Date it, the teachers. It, it, really did. What? I had no idea this oh, was geez. a whole part of it. You can just buy bottle caps now? Plungo. Hey there, Director Clavel. I don't know why I put that effect on. As I told you, the name's Clive, dog. Please don't forget it. Berries anywhere? Is any, has anybody, like, uh, when you were, when you were, uh, speaking as Clive, did you, did you, uh, did either of you just, like, throw in, uh, old slang just to try to make him seem even less, less... Uh, I just, with, uh, I talked like Christopher Walken. <laughs> yeah. I occasionally would do that where he would just say, like, old, like, an older person type thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, I mean, the first thing he said was, how do you do, fellow kids? I mean... Yeah, oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> Let's go down to the sock hop. <laughs> My name is Clive. Please don't forget. My name is Clive. Yeah. This is bottom team Starfall. 
I pick up a conversation before where we left Professor off. <laughs> right, every time. Like, hi, Professor Cavill. I call them Clive. It's just me, slapping five, like Clive. I, I called him Clive, and he was like, yes, that is me, Clive. <laughs> Man, I like that way more actually. <laughs> yes, it's me. I like his Why? I like his theme music though. Nice little jazzy, like I like the snare drum in the background, just a little jazzy riff. Uh okay. Let me go picnicking. As I mentioned, dog, I joined Operation Starfall to resol resolve a totally not poggers situation and find out the reasons behind Team Star's <laughs> odd behavior. <laughs> <laughs> I think I couldn't say the phrase totally not poggers long enough to, to not, get it out. <laughs> not, not seriously. Okay. <laughs> like, that was totally not poggers. <laughs> but, uh, but the haps is, I want to know why the students of Team Star stopped coming to school. Definitely said haps a few times. Fall <laughs> <laughs> uh, swipe, hell one? yeah. Alright. Oh. I can. Puts me in like a different. I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I need to speak with the squads, because I am Clive, the the, the cool Pompadour kid. <laughs> You've got your ear to the ground, so I thought you could help me out. Man. Till then, catch you on the flip side, Plungo. Alright, what do I get for a hundred Pokemon? <laughs> so one of my chat was said some of the slang I should use was that was not very cash money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was Your not very, that, was um, very that is cap. That's cap. <laughs> that is cap. One hundred percent cap, dog. Dog. <laughs> oh my god, it's like junk's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Clevel's just junk. That's I, why. He's, that's why he's wearing the wig. <laughs> I want so badly to play this game with junk. Like. <laughs> Oh yeah, just like, <laughs> like I, I, I just I would just want to hear him describe the Pokemon to me. I think I'm like a few feet away from convincing him. Like I don't even want to like be doing anything or helping him. I just want to like be there while he's doing it. You know, like I'll I'll guide him through and help, but I I just want to kind of like <laughs> hang out while he's doing most of it. All the male team star grunts for me have been Joey Wheeler. <laughs> Oh, what am I? Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see a boss of the Navi Squad. Uh, take me at Don Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving till you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. People have seen you arguing. What do you want to do? Get a little closer. Huh? Huh? Oh great, here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would uh, be this much of a chore. Hello, oh, Mr. Grunt. I think this girl might be Plungo. Wait, Plungo? That kid who picked the fight with Team Star? Prepare to be raided. He knew it! Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else is in the base- uh, Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were up, uh, up all night last, last night playing video games. Leave it to me, Mr. Grud. I'll buy you some time when you go wake the others up. Yeah, what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if there's no one here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's a dear compadre. When crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally to, uh, to those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. Pelican. Did Matt get, Matt get booted again? No, he, my, his game, my froze. game froze. Ah. Because I, I tried to make a sandwich. Oh, so do we have to do we have to disband again? <laughs> you have to disband again. I'm, oh, we, we, uh, I'm in the middle. I'm doing a. Uh, I'm, I'm right. A, I'm, I'm doing a battle right now, but I'll I'll start yeah, it up yeah, once yeah. that's over. Take, take your time. It, look, I'm tempting the fate. All right, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, then prepare to face my wrath. Oh, nice. Yeah. I might do a battle too. Then while you're doing that, there's a little little sneaky battle there. I'll get a little sneaky cheeky battle in here. Let me just get Fudge out front. You sick. Gulpin. <laughs> I need I need my rock that is fudge. <laughs> I, I let you try to make the sandwich the last time. I'm not I'm not letting you do that again. <laughs> yep. I saw what happened. I know what happened. Yeah, I, I know what's going down. No, I was not. there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if I go in here, uh, and... there's no saving you. Guys, have you have you evolved uh, evolved uh, Tandemouse yet? No. 
No. Why? Do you want, uh, do you, are you good for spoilers? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, sure. Um, so, you get them to get the move Play Rough, and then you just have them in your party for a little while, and they have babies? Oh, nice. Wait, what? With Play Rough? They, That's you, you, you really just keep, funny. once they learn Play Rough, it's not, okay, it's not Play Rough. What, okay, once they get to, uh, level 25, Oh, you you okay. walk okay. You walk around with them, and then suddenly they have babies, and they're a different Pokemon. They're now called Mousehold. <laughs> Come on! So they just fuck. Yeah. No, nice. in your party. They fucked. In the Pokeball, straight up. Well, I mean, there's a lot of Pokemon in that Pokeball. I, I get it. Listen, uh, it, ha it has yet to beat uh, the record of six in one ball from Execute, or Phalanx. Yeah, Phil Phalanx has got, yeah. I wish you could have, like, more kids in there. <laughs> like, there's more than two. <laughs> oh my god, it's like different forms. So, yeah. like, you come back and there's like eight kids in there. That'd be great if it was a rabbit Pokemon that did that. I was hoping it would evolve into, like, eight mice that were stacked on top of each other to form, like, a bipedal creature. <laughs> it's like the mouse Megazord or whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What am I fighting? I got distracted by- by fucking mice. Well, you shouldn't be doing that, but yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I can go back in whenever you want. I- I, I guess I just won't make the sandwich. <laughs> you can make it before you come in. Will that give me the power? It should. Okay. If you say so. One in four chance for mouse hold to only have one little one. Oh, so it's like a one in four chance. I guess. Does the only child affect anything? I have no oh. idea if it affects stats or anything. Oh, I need to put the Surskin away. Go oh, fudge! <laughs> fudge! A 4% chance it'll only have one kid. All right, let's see. What level are your Pokemon? 62, huh? Okay. So we have a, we, we have, I, I would, if it would fit, I would love to name them Nuclear Family. I mean, just like, uh, change nuclear, like, be a little bit shorter or something. Yeah. <clears throat> nuke, nuke Family, there we go. Yeah, Nuke Family. Oh, yucky. Does this, this doesn't kill Fudge. <laughs> oh, you can't hurt Fudge. All right, Sandwich. Shrewdle. Oh, wait, I already know what Shrewdle <laughs> is. Nuke Fam. That's two layers of spikes. <laughs> Nuclear fam. Okay. <laughs> Name it so, 2.5 kids. I don't know how I get egg power necessarily, but this one has jam on it, so I'm gonna go with that. Creative jam. mode. Uh, it seems like it was a lot of sweet stuff for eggs. Is Shrewdle just poison or is it poison or, dark? to get egg power, I just put a bunch of eggs on it. Dude, every time I use Yawn with uh, Claude Sire, his quick claw goes off. It's every time I use Yawn. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm... <laughs> I'm trying to get egg power, so I put six eggs on the, uh, the sandwich. Is that, is that how you get egg power? <laughs> These work? are eggs. <laughs> I want egg power. Here is egg, therefore egg. <laughs> I egg, therefore I egg. Hi, bud. All right. Are you done, dark, done oh. barking at traffic? <laughs> One it's Pokemon like dead. A lot more eggs than that. It's eggs. <laughs> you just <Eggs>. made. <laughs> oh, it's one of these fights. Huh? If you just did nothing but eggs, let me see. Yeah, you would have a dozen eggs on a sandwich. Yeah, I did do nothing but eggs. It's more than a dozen, right? Because it was six egg slots. But they're but they're ha but they're halves. Oh, I guess it's through their halves. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, you might be right, because it's three egg halves times six. I think it's actually less now that I think about it. Oh, no, wait. Per I don't know. Math. We are stacking up these eggs. We are adults. I think it might be. I think. Oh, oh, nine, oh. It's, I think it's nine eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. Oh, ah! <laughs> like making a sandwich. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. Eggs fell down. <laughs> Oh my gosh! 
This, I am getting my ass kicked. <gasps> By what? Ah, uh, well now uh -oh. Flareon. It used Flare Blitz and it, it like kamikaze my bird. I'm in, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Do I need a kiss? I'm sorry, okay, I failed you. Okay, let's place the bread nice and gently. Slapped it Pongo, on. <laughs> are you all right, dog? <laughs> I was uh, standing watch when I heard all of the uh, heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that some, maybe something had happened to you over here. I know, fair. You had backup this whole time. Is this the dog? What is this dog? One of the academy students? He doesn't look like a funky, fresh Team Star member. You're right. I'm not a Team Star member, but, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you're. Uh, you have your reasons for being here, Plungo. I'd like to ask this little man some questions. You go ahead and get started on the Biggity Base. Might I borrow you for a rap, my uh, my man? Don't worry, I won't bite. Or sandwich, though. Wow, he actually used, uh, like, what? Clive actually used, tried to use some hip lingo by calling a child my man. <laughs> my man? He's, uh, currently standing next to me, filming me. I... I put, like, oh. roughly 15 eggs on this thing. And... <laughs> No egg type up. <laughs> <laughs> nice work dealing with the guard. Within that base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss Attica designed the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy's also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So since be honest, uh, so since be honest to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take it as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Attica shows his face. Ring the bell in the gates once you're ready to kick off the phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Navi squad off the map. The uh, pseudo, and I believe it's really stupid. Oh, it's how like did a, you a, hit a thunder to uh, Godzilla? Yeah. Yep. That's insane. Godzilla. Holy crap! It does a lot of damage. Wait, does Snoodle evolve into Grafii? Sure does. Huh. I know, right? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. No, <laughs> they don't look super similar, really. Go, Habanero! Uh, Ditto, is that you putting the egg in there? Wake up, you need to make eggs make for egg. and Tom. <laughs> make <laughs> oh, here's just wild Grafii, nice. I need to sell your babies. <laughs> I expect a Foy Coco eventually. <laughs> Oh, you can baby doll eyes all you want. It's time for me to sing you to death. Oh, do I have to recall my legendary? Damn. Oh, you all legendary? Uh, well, I mean, Coridon. Oh. Yeah. Right, chat? Dude's oh, no, got mad hops. Oh, okay. Alright, you can stay out here. Damn, I was hoping Gr Snarl wouldn't kill it, but Snarl killed it. Oh, bitch, you about to terrestrialize, aren't you? Is there a way? Is the oh, 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 I'm out? about to terrestrialize! <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> gonna terrestrialize! That's it! That's it! I'm, <laughs> I'm terrestrializing! That's it! I'm terrestrializing! <laughs> you wanna get me started oh, terrestrial? Oh, 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 you've done it! I'm terrestrializing! I'm a eh. big crocodile with a chandelier on my head. Whoa! I'm a big old croc with a chandelier your, head. Your Pokemon can kick this ball and launch you. Oh my oh. god. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Gorgeous, Allow darling. Me to sing your little ditty. A fifth? Oh, that did not do a lot. Uh, yes. You don't think Shadow. it happens over time? I'm pretty sure that I've read that like you just have to wait and it eventually gives you eggs. Yeah, I think so. And I, I heard, I think it, I don't know if it's true. I think it was just like a leak that was wrong that people said like you can tell when the egg is shiny, like it will glow, but I don't think that's the case. I doubt that's the I think case. You have, 
Graphi Eye, the toxic monkey Pokemon. Coming from a mouse, it just turns into a monkey for some reason. But it also sticks that finger where the sun don't shine of a lot of berries in order to make paints. He says before dying. <laughs> yeah, that's the lasting eye. effects of fudge on your feet. You feel that, don't you? You did. Uh, this uh, Eye's name is uh, is um, Tommy, and uh, it's Quirk. And uh, someone someone put this in here in memory of uh, of I can't remember his name unfortunately, but the the original Green Ranger okay. watches nothing but Power Rangers, but only the Tommy season. Ah, uh, very uh. nice. Oh, don't be sad that you lost. It happened because it happened. It happens to all times. To look up breeding. Mm hmm. Actually, both were donated by the same person, so I think it was on purpose. How do I do this in this game? Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I gotta do some voice acting. Uh, yours have been instant after that sandwich? Well, I did make a big egg sandwich. So. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Bragg yeah. and the big egg sandwich. Yeah. It was a very large egg sandwich. Egg salad. Oh, Scarlet and Violet. Quarter milk. Green Pokemon has become a large part of Pokemon. Yeah, okay, that's not what I asked. Um, so I don't have the daycare here, huh? There's no daycare. Walk around your picnic area, and eventually one will appear. The speed of Thank this can you. be boosted with meal power, but not by making a bunch of eggs on a piece of bread. Uh, I, I guess you might have to come up with a new recipe. I might have to just make it uh, one that I've I've seen. Yeah. Instead of getting creative. So do you just order the sandwiches at the shops, and that's how you get the recipes for them? Um, there's a guy who's like right by the uh, the the front of the shop. Oh, okay. And he's like, I like sandwiches. I make stuff. Dude, that guy and I have so much in common. I too like sandwiches. All right, jam sandwich. Ah, oh, the jam witch. I'll be lame and do what they recommend. Those orange guru in these forests. Damn, I got a coach. This is barely even a sandwich. There's only like three strawberries on it. I, like, really I, I do like the idea that you're just making crepes on ciabatta. How is this a sandwich, guys? Well, mm. Where's the leaning tower of ingredients? But, like, I, if it's not all on the floor, what the hell is this a sandwich? Oh, I gotta read the Pokedex entry for mouse hold. <laughs> Stupid name. See, if you guys are happy with this, this is, I guess... Just enjoy it, I suppose. Look, look at all the other ingredients we could have put on it, but... Could have put so many other ingredients on it. I could have. All right, uh, out of here, swoosh right in. I guess I don't need to evolve you anymore. He didn't like that sandwich either. It's just it's, it was literally strawberries and bread with jam on it. <laughs> I shall save. Egg power up. I shall quit the game, and I shall reset it because we're not in the, uh, the thing anymore. I'm actually going to take this opportunity to use the restroom, so I will be right Go back. For it. All right, well, there was no eggs in there. I, I tried for eggs. I'm also going to run an ad in the meantime, so uh, be right back. Get up, stretch, do what you need to do. We'll be right back. Do I time these ad breaks well or what? All right, um, back to it. It suddenly started raining. I have a long ass oh, cutscene nice. going on. I, just <laughs> <laughs> I figured you were doing something like that. Uh, I have an egg for both of you. Oh, nice. Yeah. You finally did it. I did. I had the right sandwich. They're also asleep, but they, I assure you, they keep making eggs. They don't quite know how <laughs> it works. Mousehold, the family Pokemon. Inside the Pokemon, mysterious things happen that are not safe for work, and suddenly two children pop out. 
What if with that with mousehold you could just like you could just see before uh, it evolves into uh, into mousehold, like one of the one of the mice is like noticeably noticeably oh. pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna have a bigger family, but <laughs> that's a very good idea. Um, some of my chat uh, they said that they run two ditto for breeding uh, because it's faster. Uh, an egg and a level two sandwich. Ten well, let me know when you're all ready, basket? so I'll start the oh, start the group so up. Much. That's so much time for a full basket of eggs. <clears throat> Man, uh, yeah, give me give me a sec to get one more egg. I am not getting lucky with these gimmick ghouls. Are oh, you trying to catch them? The no, no, no. Uh, with the uh, with the coins, rather. Oh yeah, they get I like run, I run into them and like I used to get like six or like. Somewhere in the somewhere in the the high high single digits, but now I'm getting like one every time. Uh, if you just beat the shit out of the chest ones, they they drop like fifty at least. Oh. Like I I caught the first one I think, and then after that I just started killing them. <laughs> this forest, man, this forest slows down the game immensely. Yeah, I mean I guess you could do five dittos. Only th only downside of that is if you have a ditto that's like got really good IVs and that's what trying to breed it with. <laughs> you got the one shitty ditto you don't want to breed. Alright, I have them. Alright. I won't wait till Jeremy's ready. Oh wait, I hear more more um, Alright, I think that cutscene's finally done. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you guys want the eggs or you want me to hatch them? Uh I'll I'll I'd like the egg. Okay. It'll give me something to do. I will take uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? I don't know, so, man. This is so aggressive. <laughs> whatever. A lot of vitriol whatever. there. We're going to talk to the fucking director again. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Where did I put my Pokemon? Get back in the party. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes, game. I know. I did this before. All right. Uh, back in the party. Group's open. Oh, 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 that's why I was explaining stuff to me, because I did it while I was offline. I reset the game just because it was uh, it was lagging a little bit. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that seems to be a thing. There's like a memory leak yeah. right here and there. I hope they actually patch it at some point. I, uh, won't hold my breath. <laughs> I mean, I hope they do, but I doubt that they'll do a lot. Oh, I'm offline. All right, code's in the, uh, in the chat. I forgot that I was not connected to the internets. Aardvark Matt Damon. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Chat hanging up to look at me. Sorry. Ba, ba, da, da. I keep clicking the wrong button. All right, kicked me out of the office again. <laughs> I got the, I got the group up. All right. Jay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I see Mia. It's got good music, at least. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Was there always a Gengar behind the front desk? <laughs> uh, sometimes it's a Psyduck. Oh. I saw, a, the, I saw the Gengar. Down. I saw the Gengar for like the entire time until one time it was a Psyduck, and my chat was like, Gengar got fired. Oh, hang on, getting a phone call. Did you go get fired? Uh, wait, so you got the lobby open, you said? Mm hmm. The other uh, code's okay, in the chat. Uh, yeah, I'll jump in right now. Why didn't Gengar unionize? Mm hmm. Every opportunity. Education, man. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Doo -da -doo 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 -doo. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, okay. Union circle. Whatever it Join takes. Join a group. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Now, if that first thing was a number or a letter, would you say it's a number? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. I was about to say, I actually don't know, and I realize I'm in the group. So it Which seems like you figured it out. I, I figured it out. <laughs> Why do they separate it into four and two? Uh, because there's a space between those. I don't know. Yeah. It's weird. I yeah. imagine it's a holdover from their past code game. <laughs> from their yeah. dark past. Yeah, their dark past. <laughs> <laughs> well, because uh, uh, the um, so the offline union room is only four. Oh. Ah. <laughs> well, Incoming. Once they, once they add that internet in, they need two more numbers. Mm-hmm. Here I come! They also generate themselves because they're probably sick of people connecting to each other with 6969. Yeah. Or BOOB. I don't know who would do that. That's I don't know either. Yeah, that's weird. That's insane. Uh, I mean, but imagine, imagine like 8008, 3, and 5. That'd be crazy. That would be weird. Yeah. Boobus. 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 Oh, right. Hey, uh, Tom, how, can, oh, yeah. how do I trade with you? Um, one moment. Probably link trade, right? What uh, is this? Poke no, Portal. Hello. Hi, Cricket Tot. You know the only thing I really don't like about this? What? Like, Tom, you and I have the same thing. And Jeremy, you have, you have the purple. That is the extent of the amount that we can do with this. I... <laughs> Can we really Wait, not link trade just by these. just by being in the same lobby? I think we gotta do a code, man. That's stupid. <laughs> if we're in the same lobby, I can't like trade you a Pokemon. Link trade. All right, I guess I'll do. Let's do uh, six nine eight zero zero eight six nine for the code. Six nine eight zero zero eight. Six nine. Ooh, the damn. Code. Wait, how do I? Oh, begin uh, searching. There we go. Begin searching. Wait, are right. eight zero zero eight six nine? Trade partners been found. I, I hope it's you. you. I Plungo guarantee wants you. to trade Pokemon. I could accept if I wanted. <laughs> Plungo is my trade partner. Huh. I wonder. So I guess it sends like an open invite to everyone in your lobby. Oh, okay, that that's a little bit better. Yeah, do you want? Because I got the invite there when you started. Oh, that. buddy! Hold what on. What happened? Yeah, he went for what? the toilet paper. Hang on. Oh, classic. <laughs> well, now I'm just waiting on this egg to go into the fucking. <laughs> <to> the <internet>. <laughs> 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 Can you trade an egg? Uh, yeah. I hope. <laughs> he said he wanted it. Why are some of the Pokemon jumping on my screen? Because they're, you know, they're fucking happy, bro. Oh, maybe they, maybe Tom doesn't have these. No. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Um, what was I going to do? Surprise trade. That's what it's called. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. All right. Oh, they are. Demon thing. They are ones he doesn't have. That's interesting. Oh, the ones that are hopping? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that too. That's cool. Uh, what should I give you? I'll Why tell you, surprise trade is hopping? fast. That's good. I mean, it, it took a while in Sword and Shield, right? Yeah, it did. This, I'm just like, surprise trade, and then immediately it's like, yep, got it. This Psyduck's just watching me do it like a freak. I just said waiting on the other person. This is going to Jason! Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out Jason? what to give you. I'll give you this one. Jason! It's an oh, iggly dude. buff. I Thanks, need dude. A bombardier. But I guess you knew that because it was hopping. Mm-hmm. I want my egg back. I need to make a sandwich. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> sprigatito egg sandwich. <laughs> here, take this fucking iggly buff someone just gave me. Get out of here. Its name, by the way, is Matt Demon. Oh, that's Good actually name. kind of perfect. Yeah. Hi. Come on. Sprig, uh, Tito. Sprig, uh, Tito. <laughs> Matt Demon. Hungry. Oh, do you want... I'm, I'm literally about to give you a Sprigatito. I know, but I'm just, like, trying to... <laughs> trying to get out of the game. 
<laughs> so I have a pointless egg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, let it, I, I can get the egg. <laughs> yeah. All right. I got a watch roll. Um. Okay, okay see, if it if it sends like a like a general like alert to all y'all, then then I uh went. Then you don't need the uh, the the code. I don't think then. Yeah, I just got like a general alert when when uh you open a trade. Oh God. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, I'm gonna go take on the the okay. poison team star area. Begin, oh, have fun, dude. Begin search. I oh, hope. Matt wants to trade. You see it? Join. I think. Do do do. Trading Pokemon with friends. Search. I need to go grocery shopping soon. Yeah, I gotta go tomorrow. You gotta get stuff for uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, All right, I'll find I, something that was. Shut your oh, damn God. whore mouth, Google. Damn. I thought you were really upset with me for having Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> suck on this. <laughs> How could you? Oh, you give me uh, a gulpin? Yep. There's a high chance I don't have that. Ah, uh, you don't. It was jumping yeah. around. <laughs> even, even if I saw it, there's a chance I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Isn't this... I think this one's a stone evolution, actually. Let's see. Bye, egg. Yes, it is a stone evolution. And it's probably exactly what I think it is, because I fought one of these in the gym battle. Oh, I can oh go. it's a, oh, it's exclusive. Go. Okay. That might be why I don't have it. Egg. Oh, wait. Which one's exclusive? Uh, Gulpin? Oh, okay. Golbin might be an exclusive, yeah. Yep, 100%. I, I evolved the, uh, the tadpole into belly bolt. The stomach poke. Oh, yeah, that's a, uh, that's a stone, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just Oh, stomach. wait, no, no, I don't want to, I don't want to send you that. Alright, 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 alright. All right. Belly bolt, the Ella frog Pokemon. Everything it eats gets generated into electricity, stored power, as it were. Then, when it feels threatened, it unleashes all of it and loses a ton of weight. And I remembered to turn the effect off this time. Whew. Uh, evolved into belly bowl. I guess I should get a belly bowl. Those are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now I just drive around while holding the egg, right? Her ability is nuts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, flame body would help, but I don't think I have any mons that have flame uh, body. Uh, it actually does. Is Giraffe Egg's evolution straightforward? It's just level up. Or is it or item? I would say it's simple. Move based. Okay. Probably like double hit or something. <laughs> Drop the egg. It's all over. Am I past the level of the loot, the move that it needs to learn? I'm at 28 right now because I caught it at that level. Hmm. See, I, I just. Oh, I wish they, they changed a little bit about the eggs where it's like, yeah, make them vaguely the color of the thing they're going to be. That'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, this is Plungo's crystal. This is Plungo's crystal. No. Oh, I forgot that the sweet apple is an evolution item. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Snag a uh, flapple. You get applin or flapple. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, that one's applin. I think flapple's the tart apple. Yeah, so we'll definitely take rock slide over smackdown. Hi, gimme ghoul. Give me that. Thank you. I actually really Oh my like, god. Uh, Hello. There's a wild Riolu right here. Ooh. Hey, oh well, that's Das, done das is good, that's das is good. Sure. You gonna parse the sparse? Uh, nope. No, I will not. You're not gonna <laughs> I you're, will not do that. You're not gonna parse the sparse? Uh, I weirdly enough had no problem looking at that and walking away easily. But the sparse must be parsed. No, oh, no, it's it's super easy not to do that. <laughs> I, Every I, opportunity. I, I don't know how to uh, parse the to sparse. Get the new one, but I really, really do want to see more about it. I, I had to fight one earlier. I can't wait to see one. I'm hey Fletchender, excuse me. Oh, the child is evolving. The Which child or... is that? Uh, oh, it has a middle form. I didn't know that. The uh, the, the the child that has the uh, the the giant hammer. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tinka tough. I. Tinka tough, the hammer Pokemon. It wildly swings its hammer around in defiance because it does not want to make swords and armor. 
Dude, the music in this game slaps. Oh, it's great. So good. 100%. Yeah, they did a good job on the music. It's also, like, pretty cool that it goes in and out uh, almost, like, effortlessly. Mm, yeah. Know. I rarely notice that it's changing. Uh, what is this? A fight? Ooh. A yep. fighting... A fighting Larvesta. Ooh. Oh, Larvesta. That's cool. I wonder how many of that of its weaknesses it would cover from that one. Probably, probably just rock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it would still get hit with flying. Yeah. Watch my tiny little kitten. No, God, tiny. Yay! Who's your little kitten? Who's your little kitten? Who's your you little kitten? You are the little kitten. Oh, you little kitten. Oh wait, not the first three Pokemon I currently have in my party. You crazy? No. Poison. Oh yeah, it, it just pulls from like the first three. You're a little kitten. Oh, I think this is Plungo's crystal. This is Plungo's crystal. <laughs> oh, I see. This is Plungo's crystal. Oh, I seem oh, to have this, a. This is Jeremy's. This is Jeremy's. Oh. I raided somebody with that message. They're like, uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> they were pl they were playing Pokemon as well, so I guess they hadn't done multiplayer yet. Yeah, what are you talking about, Bungo? <laughs> uh, Seems right, this folks like uh, behind a, the uh, Operation Stop Fool are finally making the move against our base. You know what that means, gang? Time for us uh, for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. A little intruder, just so you know. Uh, I've got a ghost. Hall You've got the skill. Uh, if you get the skill to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss might give you worthy to meet in person. <laughs> Break a leg. Sure. What now? Uh, this is what, what, what was all that now? Uh, we, I have a Ghost Hall <clears throat> Ninja raid. Oh, no, ooh, just... ooh. Yeah. So once you're done with your uh, thing, we can... Yes, yes. Uh, oh, I have actually beaten. I'm in the market just so I don't forget where it is. Oh yeah, Team Team Stars track is fucking awesome too. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. Remix by Inspector Gadget. Aw, oh, look at this Grafai and his family of Shrudel. Die! I I really hate Shrudel. It it took me a bit to kind of come around to Grafai. When I saw Shrudel, I was like, oh, it's a bug type. Whoa, no, it was not. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was a bug. I mean, it's got giant fucking eyes, dude. Normal poison. Normal poison. How are... How are very have people that have like under a hundred Pokemon to finish the Pokedex. Game, game came out like three days ago. Oh, hey buddy. Yeah, come on, calm down guys. I Jeez, mean, that, that being said, <laughs> easily, I've easily spent 12 hours a day since the game came out. But, <laughs> yeah. What are you doing today? Yeah, I still have quite a ways to go before I finish the decks. Oh, same here. I've been like trying to do it like consistently as I've, as I've been playing, so. Yeah. That's. I feel like I'm behind on the story because I get so distracted. Oh, you. Around. These guys, they can't do this to me. <laughs> they can't do this to me. They, I'm, oh, Plungo. Yeah, I'm Plungo! I, I'm Plungo! <laughs> this, this is my crystal! I gotta find something else to kill. Because they, they, threw, out, the they, right. they threw out a Wooper and a Clodzire against me. I can't do it. Oh, damn. There we go, this is the family of Grafii again. Sprigatoon. Nice. What? Sprigatito's evolving. That was fast. Yeah, well, I caught a very high level Cricketune and... <laughs> Florida. She's way above our level, we gotta get the boss! Touch. I did do Mouse Holt's Pokedex, yes. Like finding dive balls in the beach. <laughs> so, when do, so when do we get a car for our, uh, Vuvu Room or whatever it's called? Oh yeah, the car attachment? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I just drove into a lake and I went. <laughs> I went full under the water and then I got into a battle, and the camera <laughs> it was just Claude Sire's face. <laughs> Nothing else. Claude. Did oh. Oh, uh, I. Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel Plungo, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge into the grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard! No? Uh, just here? <laughs> yeah. Now, where, where might one find one of those? Just uh, if they were looking. Top right area. Oh, that place is all frozen. It's like right next... No, it's the area near the, um, yeah, fighting... I haven't been there yet. Challenged yeah. by Atticus of Team Star. He's a ninja. Do you think he was trained by Koga? Maybe. He talks like a weirdo. Oh, I like that guy. Not but punishment awaits thee, wretch. A plague on your house. <laughs> Paldean oh. Koga. Oh my god. All right, time to, time to just terrestrialize my alligator and keep using Torch Sun over and over again. I'm, yep. I'm home. I found my house. I mean, like, for the, for, the, for the scope of the game, where it's like, it's all based around the school, these guys are great villains. When, oh, you, had, yeah. when you had, like, the space-time shenanigans of, of, uh, and, like, interdimensional travels of sun, sun and moon, and you had, like, wannabe gangsters as the villain, I think, uh, I think they missed yeah. a, a little slot there. Yeah, that was, that was strange. A strange play. I'm just trying to figure out why, like, everyone seems to be so in on the school. That's, like, the whole, the whole thing. Oh, these are alive? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, God, I don't... fudge. <laughs> Certain moves can poison with mere graze. Tremble, scoundrel, for, for thy Pokemon's sake. Oh, oh fudge. Oh, fudge, you oh, killed fudge. another one, dude. <laughs> The squawkabilly on your house are alive. <laughs> and <laughs> I threw out my Pokemon on the ground. It's just looking up at I'm on the roof and like directly in front of it. I had your team. Come here. Can you stand a quick ball? Sure, let's catch it. I don't know if we have a green one or not, but whatever. Pokeball go. Pokeball go. You want to be oh, a Pokemon God. master? To be a master. Everyone got two XP for that. I will be waiting. You think you can give me a taste of my own poison? Fine, this battle shall be mine. There's no way this would kill it again. What? Damn it, Fudge, you've killed another one. <laughs> fudge, you've done fudge. it again. You've done it again, Fudge. At least it's on the roof. All right, I got, I'm terrestrialized. Ooh, Noxious Torque, don't, okay. Don't you do it. Don't poison me, okay. Ooh, that's a little less good than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I wonder if there's any reason to go see your mom. Oh, there's that. Other than she's hot, like. I wonder, like, uh, like, it would be, it would be interesting because it's so remote if there was like, if she said something like every time you got like a new badge or something. That would be interesting. I mean, she's pretty uh much of a pain to go back to, especially for a while. Like now, I can cast the world around her, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. So glad Noxious Torque never got the burn on me. It felt so contained when you started. And the pain. Oh, I'll take a hundred brick balls, thank you. I'm sorry, what? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> And off I go. I've done it. I have killed the car. Are you, are you like what the ship or the plane? I I'm I'm the, the high speed is, bullet train. The car is dead. <laughs> Forgive <laughs> me, friends. Train. Yeah, you know, bullet train. I load it into the chamber and I shoot a bullet train at people. Uh, all right. <laughs> so what's the thing with uh, bottle caps? <laughs> what is that? I really hope that. Uh, bottle caps, um, 
I forgot how that works. Ma is that, they, is that they uh, max the uh, IV? Max IV, okay. Of one oh. Forgive me. It took me goodly. Uh, it took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Whoa, sick! These boots are insane. Ah, uh, yes. The move flame charge was my use for those particular pieces. This outfits everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of your great infernal air uh, of the great infernal airy. If it aligns with your vision, the great um, then I am content. It seems seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up. Then thanks a ton, Atticus. You two looking like absolute beasts. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crossed us will be sweating bullets. Protoss with a hundred bits saying, just hope they don't get the extended car warranty before you destroy it. Or they got it, rather. You're so good at these sorts of crafty, th crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you you geek out over fa uh, old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninjas are rough and, fr and fraught with thorns. Uh, I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. All right, gang, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle training so we're all prepped for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what, uh, that's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I'll devote myself heart and soul to honing my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my uh, very s heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Bow. You're, you're actually bowing, right? Yeah, oh, you, you, okay, cool. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows you to cut one to cover their foes in gunk. TM-102 gunk shot. Plungo is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Don Atticus! M my compadre. It seems this little, this little man, this big man has been dying to speak with you face to face, dog. Don Atticus, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way out here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? The other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad. You and the rest of the team star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. Without the team, the very the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We've no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours with a, uh, a great deal. Who exactly is this home slice? In truth, one does not, uh, not one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own word, they are recluse. As with the rest of us, twould seem bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases, awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But, but still, don't you don't ever think that Team Star is all you have done, Atticus. You have a long life, lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. My compadre, I owe you a great debt. It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's, uh, Team Star's truancy, and the bullying at the academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships, they, they have homies, they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do so. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how, uh, uh, how oblivious I've been. <sighs> I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I have been mistaken. How art thou, fellow kids? Plugo, it's me. Atticus the Star Badge is yours then? 
I see. Now that its boss has been taken down, the Navi Squad's days are numbered. Now Atticus too. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind right now. So Operation Starfall, you've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. Seems like a good time to let you know that we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and create a team star, the one they call the Big Boss. Who is Big Boss? Who knows, they control the five squad bosses from the shadows, that's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star. Since the big boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the bo squad bosses are out of action, the big boss will finally, have a ch uh, will finally have to take the stage. Now buy your reward. I've transferred some LP to your phone, as promised. 7,000. 7,000 LP! Konami, more TMs using the TM machine. Have your Pokémon learn strong moves so that they can continue to be of use to our operation. My supply unit rep should be with you soon. Hey there, Plungo. That, uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. I guess! Uh, I wasn't talking to you! Nuzzle nuzzle, lick lick. Nuzzle nuzzle. You smell of ham! Ham child, this one also smells of ham! That mastermind you were talking about. Cassiopeia has mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who's caused all kinds of misery at the academy. If we don't take them down, we'll, uh, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. You lose your treasure? Uh, no, I just... Um, that's right, you need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. Lots of Pokemon materials. All right, well, I'll be off then. Oh, and Plungo? Don't lose to those guys. Snacks thing. Oh yeah, like a lollipop olive thing. P Penny has yeah, the best backpack. Oh yeah, she killed the skin of Navy. Oh yeah. Yep. Like as a show of dominance. Yeah. Yep. Want to do a raid oh, yeah. there, Tom? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I heard you guys yeah, yeah, yeah. like Eevee. Anyway, it's dead now. <laughs> if you like it so much, why don't you wear it? <laughs> All right, then I will. Eevee backpack. Available at Kohl's. It evolves Everything into the ghost type. <laughs> that's how. Was... That's why no one can figure out how to evolve it. No one's bold enough to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> what color are your what eyes? Show like... me those eyes. Blue. Okay, you're allowed to go. <laughs> what is it like? The greatest triumphs require the greatest sacrifice. <laughs> she here, has Eevee. the only ghost type Eevee evolution. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, Eevee. You got the you, have, you got the raid up? Uh, I'm driving to it right now. Ah. Vroom, 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 vroom. Arcanine, please. Arcanine, please. Skirt. Okay. Skirt. You done, Sparse? Hey, Gumi. Gen Gen six is the last time we got an Eevee evolution, huh? Yep. Yeah. It's uh, it's been a bit. It's been a it's been a hot moment. There's a TM over here. Hurry up and get it. There we go. Then hit Y. <sighs> oh, what are we fighting? Uh, ghost type Halucha. All right. Yeah. Yo, oh, think's... wait, no. Ah. Oh, you're locked in. Dude, it literally popped up. At, and it, it just weighed long well, enough. It, I mean, like, it's, it's dark type, right? I need to click it again. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. It, yeah, you're good. Uh, it's just I don't have any ghost type moves on, on Gator. much better. No ghost type moves on Gator Golf. Ghost type, huh? Dark. Uh, ghost. And that's it, huh? My terrestrialize won't yeah. matter. Oh, yeah. this is my not. I don't have a lot of. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna bring the Gator. Okay. Dude, yeah, just keep flame charging or uh, the whatever the voice thing is. Yeah, yeah. See, so pumping up your special. special Pump attack. up. Is, is your voice like a uh, fire type? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Jimmy got hit start. <clears throat> <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> yeah, he like whips out a fire microphone. Ooh, somebody, oh, cool. somebody in chat gave me a little, uh, a little fun fact about, uh, about uh, Halucha. Uh, What's that? Terrestrialized flying press becomes flying type plus whatever the Terra type is. Oh my god. Oh wait. 
flying friend? Are you serious? Yeah. Apparently, according to according to, the, to Dr. Zock in my chat. Type. So this would be Flying Ghost. Oh, that's pretty cool. Dark uh, I'm going to flinch it with Bite. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah, that thing's definitely a singer. Oh, my attack harshly fell. Oh, my God. Well, see ya. <laughs> oh, bye, Matt. You get destroyed. That's, that's why I wanted the monkey. <laughs> it removed I mean, negative was... effects from itself. Oh, I didn't want to use Snarl. Did that thing use a bug type attack? Oh, what it did. I saw you use Feather Dance. We're, we're hitting that, that it pretty dang good. That primate oh, is wild. Again? Crush Ashes. Dude, what, what if like in the what? if they Why? continue the anime and Ashes Primate comes back as that? I would love I that. I would absolutely love that, yeah. Primate, you died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, it goes back to the guy he was training with. So that was an accident. Your yeah. Primate got hit by a boulder and... Uh, uh, hard to say what really happened. <laughs> uh, who could tell? Not one way or the other, really. Close. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've died like three times. Now. Yeah, I mean, it happens. And there comes a giant fist! No fight chat stat changes on my side. God damn it. There goes all my torch songs. God damn. The flying press kills me every time. Oh, did it just get you again? Is it only attacking me? What the fuck? <laughs> I think it actually think, is only attacking me. I think me. it's attacks go for everybody, right? I don't know. I just see Matt getting rinsed. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it does. Just Terrestrializing takes so goddamn long. It does. It would absolutely decimate that green dude. Ooh, that one hurt. All right, I guess we'll, we might have to try it again. Before we get, uh, we're gonna get, yeah, we're gonna it get would definitely be out better to not do this with this fucking bat. Halucha. Oh, flying press! Ah, oh, I died. It got me there. It, it it blasted me out of the arena. Fight, but I'm crystal this time. Killed me in one hit again. You and the others are playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, <laughs> lesson learned, Matt, don't bring, don't bring cat. Don't bring the cat. I didn't want to. I wanted to bring Annihilate. I want to bring yeah, Annihilate, yeah. I mean, Annihilate still gets, real, like, real hurt, but he can at least put down a lot of damage. Yeah. I still oh, hear you guys died. fighting in a white void. Oh, you already uh, got blasted out? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got blasted out a, a little bit ago. Oh, it attacks everyone. Oh, I hear I heard somebody faint. Oh, the music started. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, actually, I'm out. Uh, I'm out. So am I. <laughs> I'm I'm in the black screen. <laughs> I don't know why it's, it was so far behind for everybody. Dude, why did they? What was that thing? I just can't figure out how it like decimated me that well. I guess because I was weak to it, but... You were well decimated. Oh, yeah, you're you're weak to... You're grass dark, right? Yeah. So you're weak to flying. That's just, that's crazy that flying press did that much damage to me. I wonder if, like, maybe Ghost is giving it, uh, is giving it stab as well on that. It, it definitely gives it stab on, uh, like... Well, we give it stab well, on... Yeah, I don't know I if we'll give it stab the... on flying press, though. I'd imagine it would. Well, because flying press picks between like multiple types, right? Yeah, I don't think you get All double right. stab, but I think you get at least one stab. Well, but if it goes, try one more time. Ghost, go. It could get the double stab to it. Going ghost. It depends if that like sees it as a ghost type. How do I? Where's the? Where's this path to the mountains here? Ah, okay. I if I go from Zappa Zappa Pico. Did you start up the room? What this guy's up to? Yeah. I imagine your annihilate's stronger than mine, though. It's called annihilate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, should I go this route? This would be stupid. I kind of want to, but. God, I love annihilate. 
Annihilate, dude. Yeah, it's such a good That's a name great for name it. for that it, thing. I mean, I love the, the Pokemon itself. Like, po the Pokedex entry forever has been like, it gets so angry it dies. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is literally after that happens. Yeah. I wish I just had one so that way I could so that way I could we could just have three annihilates going into this. No, I, I almost took Gimme Ghoul. In the little chest. Oh damn, yeah, that would suck. <laughs> yep, he only knows astonish. <laughs> uh oh. There we get go. that my, chest. Oh, my, oh, stream, my stream died for, or my uh not my stream, but my uh my capture card died for a second there. Oh really? Yeah. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Are we in the raid? Oh, I, I heard very peaceful music in oh, a yeah, white voice. Oh yeah, it got a little peaceful. We're in. <laughs> we gotta get kind of lucky with what it does. You could also, um, Tom, you could do the the attack boost. Oh yeah, just cheer you guys on. Up our attack. Oh hi, Glilly. Because they already have such a high attack. Annihilate. Go all out. Excuse me, feather dance. Oh, my attack fell. Shit. Oh my god, that does do quite a bit. It does. Remove negative effects from itself. Nice try, jackass! Ooh, flying press. That's scary. Energy oh, needed to gather around Halucha. I fell for the taunt. Rage fist. It's okay. Go all out. I'll just keep bolstering your. This is the this is the second turn I've had in this entire thing. Because you're just bolstering stuff. Well, because it takes it takes a while for me to for me to like uh, when like I keep getting interrupted by stuff that's going on in the raid. Oh yeah. Tom, it it harshly lowered my attack. I need your help. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. God, it does like nothing without you grasping. I know, and the thing is, what I realized is my Tarantulas is fighting type. I mean, mine is too. So I, yeah. I you don't even get the benefit from the ghost type. Well, but you don't like. Oh, it's pretty, you take away the, the ghost type. You don't. Lose <laughs> All right, <me>. well. <laughs> you don't lose the stab though. Yeah. Oh, my attack harshly fell. I need your help, Tom. I'm out of cheers. Oh. You have max cheers. You you can only do three in one in one go. Oh. Well, that sucks. My attack. Once the shield is down, I might be able to do something. Because, uh, because I that raises attack and special attack, right? Uh, yeah. Every time you use that move, you're okay. So I'm sitting at a I'm sitting at a at a plus five for special attack. So uh, this next attack should do it. Oh, I hit him with a good rage fist it's, there. It's fucking dead. Yeah, it's gotta die. He's got fucking five. There we go. Killed me. <laughs> oh, he got me too. <laughs> he's he's dead though. I think. Is he dead? Ah. It, well, he, he it, the the bar is empty, but I'm still able to fight. So. Uh, yeah, I, I think he's dead. He's I think he did. Yeah, I think you got it. There's there we go. a lot of things <laughs> happening on my he's screen. He's dead right now, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. What's the shiny like? It's like black and purple, right? Yeah. Uh, let's say you get some green to it, too. Uh, dust ball. Um, yeah. Well, oh, I think you would already know if it's shiny, right? I would assume. I think it's shiny in this Oh, it's, sh it's shiny at, while, you're, while you're battling it? I, I believe so. Interesting. I could be wrong. <laughs> I really like that they have the I've got my ass kick animation. Yeah, like, that's really it's, cool. It's barely staying alive. <sighs> I can probably use some of those for, uh, for... Hey, nice. Probably use some of those animations for, um... What do you call it? Like, when you get, like, put to sleep or something. Oh, yeah, like, drowsy type stuff? Yeah. How does it look so much more ripped? Is that in this game, yeah. by the way, being drowsy? I don't think so. I think it's just... Okay, it's just, it's just straight up sleep. sleep. Gotcha. Yeah, they yeah. got rid of hail, but, uh... Yeah, they added sn snow, which is very bizarre, yeah. because... Ice kind of needed that bolster from Hail. Ice is well, a terrible defensive typing. Well, but the snow apparently, like, 
massively boosts the defenses. Oh, interesting. So kind of like how Sandstorm does for uh, for rock types. Yeah. Gotcha. Weird though that like Sandstorm does that for rock types, but also hurts you. I don't know why they got rid of hail. <laughs> <laughs> but they All right, Tom, disband us. Okay. Uh, but wait. What? This is Ziggs again. I gotta do Stop something it. real quick. Halucha, the wrestling Pokemon. It likes to jump from the top rope and slam down on its opponents. I don't get a Ziggs again. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> Give Halucha a nickname? Yes, I will. Oh, thank God. We got it. Actually, it wasn't Zigzagoon. I'm sorry, it was Zangoose. Uh oh. I'm an idiot. Uh, I also haven't seen a Zangoose, so. Well, his name is Monokuma. Did he? Zangoose actually might be a exclusive. Uh, it actually, that would make sense. You probably have Survivor. Yeah, that would, uh. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've seen Survivor, but. Uh, the poison star base has survivors. I've seen the one oh. around as well, yeah. But I don't have the Pokedex entry for it. I have Aspiquin. Ah, and its trait is that it thinks that T Pain comes after Spain in the alphabet. Very nice. What? <laughs> you heard him. I, uh, you know, I did. No, right. Let's not kid ourselves. Yeah. And. This and yeah, Survivor is in. Oh wait, Survivor isn't Scarlet. Weird. Uh, oh, yeah, Survi Survivor isn't Scarlet. Yes. Oh well, I just found Zangus. So. You have been disbanded. Oh! Oh no! I pulled a thing out of the ground. <clears throat> and the All right, gentlemen. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it was, was fun. fun. We'll have to do some more later. I gotta. Yeah, we'll I got it all out. Yeah, once once I once I catch up to you guys in terms of story progress. Yeah, Tom, get up here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hurry up. <laughs> all right. See you later, no. guys. See ya. Yeah, later, guys. Bye. Bye. That was fun. We got like uh, we got like ten minutes left. So in terms of stuff to do, uh, I guess I'm gonna try to make it through the mountain pass to take on these two gyms. Uh, the best place to start to get oh to get there though. The entrance to the mountains is well through where the normal gym is. So that's something. We also got a lake here for the the dragon type. So I guess Cascafara would be my uh, my best bet to go to. Wonder what's down there though. More Evos? We could do more Evos. I guess I'll take on the normal gym first, I suppose. Just Skyrim horse like a real man. Listen, I may have the ups, but I don't have the, the super ups. The super ups. I've got gliding, I've got jumping, but I don't have climbing. Alright, uh... Yeah, I guess all these, all these still need to evolve, so I guess I'll keep them in the party for the time being. I should heal, though. That was fun. And I got a lot of evolutions out of that, so I'm really happy about that. Just Skyrim horse, like a real man. We are coming to like the end of like this all weekend marathon, but I will still be playing this on the regular. Uh, I, I actually, I, honestly, I might dedicate, I might dedicate whatever streams I don't already have planned, uh, this week. To playing this game. I might play this on Monday. Honestly, I might just play this like all week until I'm uh, until I'm able to uh, to you know get to like beat the game. So I might play this tomorrow, but probably not for as long as I as I normally would. Well, I say normally would. I probably do it as a standard stream, like the standard four hour stream for this. Uh, because I have been, I feel I've been neglecting my poor dugong by, uh, by streaming for this long every single day. What's I doing? I was checking my box to see if I have anything I can evolve. Okay, so based on the context clues that I got from talking to them. Uh... The dolphin. It has something to do with having two people having the dolphin. Is that right? 
No. Does it have to do with multiplayer in general? It does. Uh, shot in the dark, uh, max happiness and, and, uh, someone needs to talk to it? No, man. It's rough figuring this one out. Uh, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go south. Oh, I'm at the wrong end of Cascafara too. Simpler. You just need to send it out in front of somebody? Actually, what the frick? How do I get over there? A little more. What other mechanics are there? Not even that? Trade it? This one's really hard to figure out. Oh, oh, there's the path. I gotta go, I gotta go to a uh, Porto uh, Marinata. I had the answer that I sent it out of the question. Send it out and spin? How did I have it then lose it? I should make some TMs. I might do like a couple of things off screen. Just so I can just get them get a moseying. Uh am I going the right way? Yes. It could be a specified level as well. Uh multiplayer is necessary, huh? Specified level's 38. I'm, I'm good with knowing that. If, it, if it's a level level, uh, I'm good with knowing like what the level evolutions are. Overthinking it's really simple in multiplayer. Okay. I need to be in multiplayer. Does it require being in proximity to the other person? Or do they just have, or do we just have to be in a multiplayer lobby? Whoops! Just a multiplayer lobby. Like, do you just have to be in the multiplayer lobby and level it up? Is that it? Pulled the stake out of the ground and it crumbled. This is our second needle. We're suddenly playing Mother 3. Okay, cool. Secret of the Dolphin is gone. That needs to learn a move to, to evolve. Anything else I have that I that evolves that I need to be wary of here? Of the newer variety? I think we've we're we're almost pretty much caught up. We got uh Snoodle there, but that evolves into Grafai and already caught that. Unless new worm evolves, which I don't think it does. I have everything in my party that can evolve. I'm just gonna save up uh EXP candies to get that. A lot of a lot of families around here. Wait, wait. Oh, hold on, we're at a lake. This is where that Pokemon that Rob wanted me to catch is. Tropius. Wait, what is that? What the flip? Tatsugiri. Level 50?
Wait, did it just kill itself to do that? Yep, it did. <laughs> I got experience, guys. Who's learning poison jab? Uh, the car. Better that it has that. It doesn't matter because I'm not going to use it in the party. Plus, it's got terrible nature. If it's a physical attacker. God, is all this stuff around here that level? According to Rob, I'm looking for a big fish. Probably not Gyarados. There are a lot of Gyarados in here. This is like, like, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, that's Zoomeral. Oh, I'm heading towards the Titan. <laughs> hey there, Plungo. Remember how the false dragon Titan looks somewhere in this lake, yeah? Not a single person, not a single person's ever caught a glimpse of it. Must, uh, must be some kind of truly terrifying beast. But how are we supposed to search for a thing like, a uh, thing when we don't even know what it looks like? Uh, sure be handy if it just ran around crying, I'm the Titan or something, if only, right? If I get this, then I get the ability to climb up rocks. Ooh, a Dratini! Are you level 50? Oh, I found it! 49? Good God! Wait, does Wish Cash evolve into that? Dragon Rush! Rain Dance. Torch Song, probably, probably Torch Song's not gonna do anything to this thing. That did more than I thought it would, actually. What am I even doing? I guess Dusk Ball, because it's technically night. Oh yeah, that's gonna kill Flea. Almost did kill Flea, actually. Uh, I just need like one more tiny hit on it. Thunderfang? Good, it didn't kill it. Safeguard. All right, Dusk Ball, please. I can't use this thing yet, obviously, but... Oh, boy. There goes my seafaring lizard that hates water. The rain stopped. Uh, it's using water moves, huh? I have nothing that resists water. Morton's got good defense, though. All right, Minecraft pig, let's catch this thing. I should just kill this thing for the experience. Uh, I've got sturdy, so this is gonna this is gonna kill it no matter what. Salt cure. It died anyway. All right. Is the giant fish still there? No, but I did see it, and I'll have to catch it at a different point, because I cannot... Uh, I cannot get... I, I just can't at this point. Woo! Alright, 
so I'll I'll go to that sometime later because that's obviously gonna kill me. Guess I'll do the normal type gym and then we'll end. Flappy, flappy, flappy. Look at the flappy little paws. Uh, Tropius. I guess I'm too powerful for Tom right now. Yeah, you're. You know what? You're right. Wait, it's a pink version of this. Is this the same Pokemon? Tatsugiri? Oh god, it's still level 52. But it's pink this time. Is the normal type gym leader supposed to be like the last one? I get the feeling I'm not supposed to be here. No, good God. Uh. Underbits from Flying Wolf Lol, or 300 bits, sorry, to give some more personality uh, to the stream. How about personality trait believes that Zor Zorua can't transform back into its original state? Power level. My power is maximum! I hear the creaking and the squeak a deking. This is just a high-level area. Good to know for, for uh, coming back here. Tatsugiri is really cute. I want to say, weirdly enough, I feel like I saw Tatsugiri, like, like somebody posted a picture of it or something like that before the game came out. And, like, I just completely erased it from my memory. It just only came back now. Uh, do I have any revives? I have one. Plus a max revive, but I don't want to use that. Uh, this thing is, uh, this thing's steel type, right? All steel? Give me your coins. Pure ghosts! I may have made a terrible mistake. Torch it up! I probably should have terrestrialized for that, but torch it up! Astonished. That's super effective! Didn't do as much as I thought it would, though. Give me, give me Corrin. Give me Corrin. Boo! Huh. Am I trying to raise up right now? Uh, Giraffe Rig, who is immune to astonish. Go, Spud! It used a different move, guys! Psy Beam. Level 29. Give me, girl, give me 50 coins, please. The elusive evil wob swimming in a lake. All, uh, all massive with its huge mouth. Am I gonna, am I gonna, to, uh, am I gonna put Snorlax in a chokehold this time, too, like I did last time? I think I still have that art somewhere. I think, uh, like, I think Sondolin did it, right? Golduck. Golduck. Thank God. Thank goodness I have a fast gator. All right, now get me the hell out of here. To the west. I might as well fight this trainer while I'm at it. Pop you in the top slot. There's a town to the west, but there's an opponent right in but uh, there's an opponent right in front of you. I hope you don't have level 50 Pokémon. Valentina the Cook. It evolves again? I didn't Wah! Oh, I am become error. Oh, no. 
Bloody, uh, Blood Eyes, thank you for the uh, raid of six. It doesn't effectively. Here come the countermeasures and boop. Okay, okay, okay. Its moves are probably gonna be not very effective or it might be prudent to heal at a time like this. Super Potion. Okay. I forgot, does Petal Blizzard have an effect? Gator Man! Thank you, Blood Eyes, for the raid! Oh, Lord, Lord of Veggies, thank you for the, uh, the Seed Sower. Oh no, it's like the, oh no. Ah, did a lot of damage, not very effective my foot. Screw you. Okay, flamethrower. Oh, I should have terrestrialized! Oh my god, I beat it. So it's like Santa Conda's sand spit ability. The flea wants to learn Shadow Ball. We're gonna get rid of... Probably either Thunderfang or Snarl. I probably don't need both Torch Song and Flamethrower, but having a little bit extra power is nice. Snarl. Defeated Valentina the Cook. <laughs> you're strong regardless of what direction you're headed, huh? No! I'm actually not! You still have the picture of your head- uh, oh! Nickname is evolving. Enjoying the Skeledurge? Love it. Are you kidding me? How? <laughs> How? Flittle was an egg. Lumina Crash. Uh, this is a peculiar light that even affects the mind. Harshly lowers the target special. Jesus Christ. I should have known from the frills. God damn it. I spent all my time trying to evolve this thing and it, 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 I already had its evolved form. Into the box you go, nickname. I guess I'll start raising up the dolphin. It's Lady Gaga! Actually, I guess I'll put Pelican Mouth back in the party so we can get that evolution. I don't have a leaf stone though, and it might be a stone evolution, so I think I'll be I'd be better off with with raising up the dolphin. Yep, that's another one of them. Man, these come in a lot of uh, a lot of different forms. Oh my god, the pouch on its it's got a pouch that makes it looks like it look like it's on it's on a sushi rice. Ooh, slowpoke. Very strong slowpoke. Cypher! Oh my god. Oh my god, is this, a, is this a better area to be in? Am I going to die? Oh, there's, uh... Mabostiff's here. Been to Medali? I have not been to Medali. No, but how much? Baby, baby, baby. Uh, auto heal, please, because that is my strongest Pokemon. Huh? Medali's famous treasure eatery is gets a one-star review from me. Wait, what? Emilio, the student. Fighting Tauros. It's everyone's favorite pseudo legendary. I'm part. I'm. Uh, I'm partial to Metagross. Uh, let's pop. Uh, Nyarlato. 
Nyarlathotep. Nyarlathotep. Liam, thank you for the raid. Here come them countermeasures as we encounter the Black Bull. Why am I glowing? Why am I glowing? Why am I fighting a Tauros? Why am I dying? Why is this face here? Why any- What have you done? I just give it a kiss. Oh, just give me a kiss. Critical hit. Level up. Gamers here's your seven zero zero gift your tier one sub to Liam six. Thank you, thank you for gifting that sub to Liam. Hi, Kath, hi, Kath. Flipper leveled up. Persian's got big ears. Also, Persian's here, which means theoretically you can transfer a Lolan Persian and Perserker into this game. Anything that usually, when something has another form, you can transfer every, uh, when a Pokemon has a, a different form, you can transfer everything of that Pokemon's form into the game. That's how it's been so far, though. One thing I'm gonna do off stream is uh, is make some TMs, but the problem is like, I know what I, I know what I want a lot of my final party to be. Um, it's just a matter of like putting it all together. <laughs> I'm kind of the main attraction in my cafe. She looked down very very sadly. Elsa the waitress. Save for legends. Are there different forms of Pokemon you can't transfer into it? Uh, guess I'll bring this back. No, Alolan, Geodude, or Galarian, Mr. Mime. Interesting. Maybe it's not always the case. Uh, no, I think, uh, oh, I'm still in the squad stream, aren't I? This squad. Leave this squad. This squad has been disbanded. Leave this squad. Payday! Coin scattered everywhere. <laughs> I like how you how I encase it in a rock to do that. It's super effective. Defense has gone down. Nyarlathotep, uh, shook off the, uh, shook it off. Hey, dude! I'm getting a lot of money from this one. <laughs> oh, boo hoo hoo hoo. Hey, don't steal my appeal. You know I'm for real when I'm stealing your appeal. So you'll have to deal. You feel? Now kneel. Oh god, why do people always go behind the behind the back there? At this point we're gonna do uh one more gym. And then we're going to uh to call it for the night. Finison, I need firepower. Best of all, Paldea! Oh, your Pokemon. I think your Pokemon is saying it wants to you come eat here at my restaurant. Horrid criers. Wait, I thought there was somebody in front of the sandwich shop that, that talks to you. Oh, this is a bakery, never mind. Every area has a sandwich shop, and I gotta get my recipes. I got- I- I have to complete the hoagie decks. Hoagie deck. 
Dex, Hoagie, Dex, Hoagie, Dex. Is there a sandwich shop in this town? God, I hope so. There it is. How about a sandwich? Even more tempted. Wait. Oh, I have to go into the sandwich shop for that, right? Yeah, Liam, is that your emote? The uh, yeah, <laughs> Liam, arrive. I love that one. New sandwiches. Oh, it's you again. I thought some new recipes. Learn how to make some new sandwiches. Those recipes make a mouthwateringly good sandwich. Give them a try sometime. I think of new recipes. I'm a short teacher to you. Looks like Peter Griffin. Uh, P. I collected 54 recipes for the hoagie decks. I have no idea how many there are in general, but. Dine spice. Dine spice. Every kind of sandwich, every which way. Is this which which? Zesty jam, tropical marmalade, and avocado. Can't be having that. <laughs> I should change the Tom Dex so it's the the Tom Dex emote so it's two slices of bread with the Pokedex printed on each side, like it like the bread has a screen. We had the, like we got the Tom Dex, but you know, in all reality, it's all about it is all about the Hoagie Dex. Oh, Pokedex sandwich. Hey, Plungo! I saw you going into the gym and I came running. Listen, I'm really sorry I couldn't battle you last time we ran into each other. Wait, don't get me wrong. I didn't chase you down just to battle you. Then again, I guess I wouldn't mind a battle or anything if you wanted to. What do you say? Sure. Yes, battle time! You and me, Plungo! Wait, hold on. But be sure to pick the right Pokemon for where you're at in your journey. Sorry, give me a second to find two of my team, then we can battle. In fact, while we're, you're waiting, go ahead and take on the gym. You gotta help me. Welcome to the Medali Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Plungo, yes? Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Larry, uh, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Medali Gym, that means ordering a special secret menu item. Specifically, the menu item at the Treasure Eatery, a much-loved restaurant here in Medali. Order correctly and you pass. Right now, there are three other challenges around town attempting the gym uh, test. Each challenge has been given a different clue that'll help them discover the secret dish. You'll be given a clue as well. Please find the other challengers. The loser must tell the winner their clue. Oh, it's like Battle City rules. The goal is to gather clues and use them to determine the secret dish, then order it from the waiter at the Treasure Eatery. Only the challenger who's able to order correctly will pass. Your clue is how the regulars season their dishes. I guess you uh, you start by hearing what a regular uh, at the Treasure Eatery has to say. Larry. Larry. Lawrence. I mean, secret menus are marketing gimmicks, but they're basically not anything that you can't just order by asking, you know? <laughs> you there, regular customer! Medali's most famed restaurant, the Treasure Eatery, is right here. We also have a secret dish for those of you who are currently taking on the gym test. Holy cow, this place is giant. Ah, oh, one of the gym chest test challengers. I hope you'll be able to figure out our uh, special secret menu item. Gym test, order the secret menu item. Now tell me, what will you be ordering? What the flip? Grilled rice balls? What serving size will you have? Medium? How do you want that cooked? Extra crispy fire blast style. If you garnish your order, lemon. Me and serve a grilled rice balls, fire blast style, fresh lemon on the side. Gotcha, medium rice balls, extra crispy, extra crispy with lemon. Rumble, rumble. 
Did I guess it? Congratulations, you passed the gym test. Oh my god! You now have the right to challenge the gym leader. Complete please make me when you're ready to battle. <laughs> Unbelievable! Eat oh, Oh, but why am I poisonous with a waterer? Yeah, the yeah. Actually, Owen, Owen Cologne is cute. I'll say it. <laughs> Actually, it kind of reminds me of a Sharpay, which is probably why I find it cute. I can't believe I guessed that right. I talked to this guy just because I was like, yeah, I am the child of ham, predictor of recipes, completer of the hoagie decks. I hear it is said that there's some kind of amazing gimmick to, in the treasure e eatery. Uh, is it that? Do we just boot everybody out of here to bring the menu up? Huh? Secret menu item? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. I do, apparently. This place is rave reviews. Thanks for the meal. Welcome. They take your order at the front. I just want to talk to everybody in here because I just blew past this! Normal type, huh? Well, actually, no, I still want, uh, the dolphin out front. Do you want to face the exceptional every- every man himself, Gym Leader Larry? Yes. In that case, please head into the battle court. Larry! You're up! <laughs> Hello. I'm Larry. I'm assigned to work as the gym gym leader, Medali Gym. Good job in making your way through the gym test. And well, maybe try the other dishes in the menu too sometime. Everything's good here. Anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit chatting. Let's get this battle over with. He's just the salary man. Thank you for doing business with us today. I, Larry, will be at your service. You're challenged by gym leader Larry. Send out Kamala. I just ate, so let's not go too hard. Kamala is drowsing. Oh, it knows wood hammer though, so I'm gonna step up with Nyarlato Nyarlato Tep. This is a really good design. I like Nyarlato Tep. Hi, bud. Uh. I forgot what my Terra type is on this thing. Oh, it shows me. It's steel. Well, let me check my let me check my power first before we get into this. Oh, it's just like quick and easy. We'll go in and out, no big deal. Little did I realize how quick and easy it would be. Uh I'll terrestrialize and use flash cannon. Well, terrestrializing already, are we? That's something. <laughs> ow! 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 There's an axe in my head! Well, that did not do a lot. If I switch out, will will uh will she still be terrestrialized? 
Draining kiss? Or just give it a kiss. Yes, it's like Mega Evolution. Okay. Ooh, Sucker Punch did a lot. Wait, that's it. Does Fairy not resist Dark anymore? Oh, I'm not Fairy type, right? I'm just Steel. Did he switch out last time? I don't remember. But it failed. Torch song. No! 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 Gonna use yawn? You gonna use yawn? God, Torch Song is nuts, because it's it's basically like... Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Uh, Torch Song is basically like, um... Uh, like if, like a special version of Moxie, but for using that move. Shadow Ball is going to be completely pointless here. You've done well, minion. They they flee, fell asleep. Uh... Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da... Dunspar's got an evolution? <laughs> I love it! Oh my god, I love it! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Yeah. <laughs> it is... Bigger Dunsparce! Oh, people have been riding Game Freak's ass for a long time for a Dunsparce evolution, and we finally got it. Why? 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 <laughs> Is Generation 2 so perfect? It gets the best Pokémon, and the best evolutions! The Dunsparce! Oh my god, this thing must have a ton of HP. Because original Dunsparce had a lot of HP as well. Oh, I didn't want to be glared at. Torch Song again. I love- I would love it if the uh, whole idea behind this thing the Dunspars! Oh, it's so good! Star Raptor! Unique. This is still better than getting cornered by my boss. Oh, good thing I don't use attack. Let's max. Uh, no, no, no. Let's full restore it so I'm, I'm not paralyzed. Done this boss. I'm thinking like, oh, what's this thing gonna be? It's gonna be like they're gonna make it. They're gonna go like full ugly duckling on this thing. You're pretty good. I might end up losing this. Come on, Larry, step it up a notch. We got hungry customers waiting. Give them some. Uh, give them some uh, to cheer for you here. Oh, is this the heel turn? Let's do it. Is this the face turn? Show us what we got, Larry, and you too, kid. Well, you heard the good folks. I suppose I could put on a bit more of a show. I was really hoping he'd, like, go full face turn on it. Oh, 
I don't know. Oh no, you can't use normal type moves on me because I'm a ghost. And you're dead. Dolphin learned charm. Dolphin should learn charm because that is dolphin. Focus energy. I feel like going with the alligator makes this uh, makes uh, this a little bit easier. Oh, you certainly threw me for a loop. Yeah, like Yakuza style. So, oh my god, that'd be amazing if he just if he just beefed up like like uh, and turned basically turned to a uh, Kazuma Kiryu, and then there was just like text in the bottom that just said like, in the uh, in the 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 Yakuza style like Larry, normal type gym leader of of Medali City. You're rather strong, aren't you? Enough to bring out my poker face, even. I lost. That uh, so that means I have to give you a badge, but. That battle made me a bit hungry. Care to join me for a meal? Kiryu chan! It's a lot of rice balls, man. Can I see these photos? Having five gym badges in hand makes it easier to catch Pokemon up to level 45. Oh, and they'll actually listen to you, too. This is for you. Though hopefully a child like you has no need to put on, put on its namesake. TM25 facade! The dish is here. They've all got flavor. Good flavor, I mean. Oh, don't worry about the bill. I do earn a salary, after all. I better get back to work, if you'll excuse me. You like, you, you want to ask him a question, so you go to the corporate building, and there's just like a whole like line of cubicles that are just all filled with other people like that look like Larry. And they're all named Larry! His back tattoo is a dun dun uh, the dun spars. And the gym leader defeated. Well done. We can inform me that there was an unusual trainer worth keeping my eye on. Seems she meant you. I'd guessed as much. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic skill you showed. If you managed to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank, I'll be very interested in inviting you to the uh, to the Pokemon League and. Hey, hey, Plungo! I've got my team all picked out! I saw you battling the gym leader! You just keep getting better! Good to see- how good to see you again, Champion Nimona. Certainly has been a while. Whoa! Wait! La Primera? With Plungo? Why do you call her that? Wait, did I forget to give you a full explanation? Everyone calls Miss Gita La, La Primera because she's just that. She's, uh, the real number one, even higher than us regular champions. She's the top champion! I do indeed hold that claim, alongside my role as chairwoman of the Pokemon League, that is. I thought you were too busy to spend time, uh, your time checking in on gyms. I'm not here to inspect the gym. I've come to scout some rather promising young talent. Whoa! I look away for one second and you're famous, Plungo! But hey, I found Plungo first! You may be La Primera, but you can't go stealing her from me! <laughs> I suppose I'll have to get in line. That's right, come on, Plungo, time for our battle! Quick, let's go! The battlefield's calling! One moment, please. Huh? What is it? I would very much like to observe this match, if that is alright. Ooh, haha! <laughs> totally fine by me! Sounds fun, right, Plungo? Yes. Thank you kindly. I'm already excited to see you two face off. Let's be on our way, then. She looks like a character out of Pokemon Coliseum. She looks like, uh, what the hell is his name? Nascor? The guy in, like, the purple jumpsuit with the white, uh, tentacly hair? You remember how it all works, right? Once you get all badges from all the gyms. Oh, you get to throw down against the strongest Pokemon trainers around the world! Yes, you must face the Pokemon League. It is located to the north of Mesagoza. The Pokemon League is where trainers are reborn as champions, the greatest honor that they might dream of. Collecting eight gym badges sets you up to take on the champion assessment. 
you could face the challenge of the final examiner and win, you'll become a champion. Just imagine how that moment would feel. Try getting into that champion mindset. Now set your sights on reaching that big important stage and let's battle. Excuse me one moment. I believe Plungo's Pokemon may still be a little fatigued. Do I get my Terra Orb back from that? Sorry, I got a little caught, caught up in my battle hunger. I, no, you don't have battle hunger, you have battle thirst. Well, you should do- you, sh uh, you should all be in great shape now, thanks to La Primera. Okay, Plungo, time to put our, uh, our game faces back on. Let us have another fruitful battle! She's got battle thirst! 100%! She's fight sexual! Ooh! I know Love Premier is watching, but no need to get worked up. Just stay cool. Battle Lust. Rock, eh? Beans, you're on! Actually, I, I probably could have sent out the uh, the. I, I probably could have sent out the child with the uh, with the uh, with the hammer. Danger child, as I'm gonna call her. Excel Rock. I just realized if I wasn't uh, if I wasn't deferring nicknaming to chat, I would have totally named I would have totally named Bean Speed Buggy. <laughs> Oof, that was a good one. Your moves really had some zing to it. Live. Yes. Gain experience, Dolphin! Ooh, good. That... I don't think that should replace Draining Kiss. I'm gonna get rid of Rock Smash. You got the other file in your Violet game, I believe. The other file? Oh yeah, true! I could just think they even on there. I'm probably not gonna try and catch as many Pokémon on that one, though, since I'm kinda doing it on this one. Pomo. Electric Fighting type. Electric Gut Buster! Uh, let's- let's pop in, uh, Emmett Selk to get more, uh, experience, and then switch over to, um, Flea. I just realized how, uh, how, uh, apropos naming Fue Coco Flea- Flea was, considering it evolves into a musician. I thought he was supposed to look like a pepper! Knew that was gonna happen! Oh my god, he is a ghost pepper. Red the hot the chili pepper! I'm gonna get rid of this thing first before I before I get uh, commit to healing. Yeah! So Sprigatino's final evolution is dark. Uh, yeah, dark. Um, dark grass. That would make Quaxley. Would have to be weak to ghosts but strong against dark. Not much is weak to ghost. Huh, I have no idea. I think I'm Gumi. It's not weak, I guess that, yeah, fighting, I guess it might be fighting. Because uh, while it's not weak to ghost, it can't hit ghost. Man, what level does Gumi evolve at? Is 
Is it actually fighting? Dragon Pulse. Craxley is fighting, okay. Play prop. Sleepy Wolf is a level 40, okay. And then 55 for, uh, for Gudra. Oop. Oh, yep, okay. Yep, we're about to evolve here. Twin Beam. Shoots uh, mystical beams from its eyes to inflict damage. The target is hit twice in a row. Better than Psy Beam. Level 50 for Gudra under ra rain or fog. Okay. Meowskara. Oh, wait, I've already seen that one. Oh, that's gonna be unique. Wow, you seeing this, Primera? I'm getting, I'm getting backed right into a corner. Meowskarada. Also could have been called Meowskarade. Uh, actually, Nyarlathotep Nyarlath would be perfect for that. What is this thing, Tinka Tough? I mean, she is built Tinka tough. Time to terrestrialize. Watch, I'm gonna make La Primera's eyes light up. <laughs> that thing is so smug. Okay, I'm pulling out all the stops. Get ready, I wanna see you stand up to this. Flower trick. Ooh, that was uh, a critical hit, okay. I was gonna say, that was not very effective, huh? Play rough? Please don't crit again. It always crits, doesn't it? All right, you know what? I'm gonna send in beans, heal up flea, and then take it out. Always crits and never misses. They gave the stars in this one really good moves this time around. Go, speed buggy, go. Base power of 70. So it's basically, so if, if it always crits and it technically has a base power of 105 every single time, plus it pierces defenses. I'm sorry, I'm still in shock that I managed to guess what the, uh, what the secret, what the secret item, uh, menu item was. Yeah, plus stab on that. Plus terastalizing. Damn it! Ah! How'd I do that? I don't know! Random chance! I went for what sounded the silliest! All right, Minecraft pig, you're gonna have to take a hit while I revive uh, my crocodile. Yeah, flower trick is really good. Fitting move for something that's essentially grass type Lucario. Huh? 
It tried to use- Oh my god! That was a legit strategy! It got me another 1 HP and then tried to- tried to- uh, wow! Alright. I'm like 90% sure this won't kill him immediately. Okay, good. Oh, I got a bad roll on that one then! Cause I had like 37 health left and it dealt- and this dealt 36. Actually kinda looks like grass type, uh, grass type Zara Aura on it, if I'm if I'm being perfectly honest. I didn't send I didn't kill the giraffe rig, did I? Thank god. Spud is evolving. Blah, 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 blah. Spud evolving to Ferrigaraf. Ferrigaraf, the long neck Pokemon. Every time it's, it chomps down, it can't get a word. Well, that was a Pokedex entry. An amazing display of talent. Even against one as skilled as champion Nimona. That was a splendid match. I enjoyed watching very much. Now even La Primera thinks you're one to watch. You've got so much potential! The way you're going, I better watch my back. You know, since the first time we met, I've been weirdly sure of one thing. You're gonna become a champion, no doubt about it, Plungo. The rest of these gyms, you could take them, 100% no problem. I agree. In fact, you should take this. Consider it an investment in your future. Terra Blast. Uh, if the user has terrestrialized, unleashes the energy of its Terra type, this moving inflicts, uh, damage using the attack or special attack stat, whichever is higher for the user. Only works when terrestrialized, though. Pokemon uses that move while terrestrialized. That the move's type will change to the Terra type of that Pokemon. One day, Plungo, Plungo, you and me are gonna have the greatest battle of all. I know it. I'm gonna go train up even more than I already have been. She shows so much support and friendship. Or perhaps, perhaps she hopes you truly might rival her. No, I think it's no mere hope. She seems to have complete faith that you will catch up to her. At any rate, allow me to return you to the gym where I found you. I brought this child of ham back! How did you know that? Ground control to Major Spud. Ground control to Major Spud. Do ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do. Ground control to Major Spud. Ooh, look at this amphitheater! Decked out with murals of Oink Cologne. New classes are available to take. The next time we play this, we'll probably start off with the classes. Check the door real quick. Wait. Ooh, I wonder if that has something to do with the needles. Can't check the door. There's a gym hint there? There would have been a secret item menu, uh, secret menu item clue there. What? I just skipped over it by guessing it right. Did I heal? I did heal. All right. Oh my god! We have fan art. We're gonna show off the fan art. From Satsy. My god. 
Hey, Tom, you saw the picture of you choking out Snorlax. Can you text it to me? Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look through it when I'm, uh, when I'm done with this. Uh, we got... As soon as I get this up... Uh, Wug Trio, the Save Loy Sausage, from, uh, from Sassy the Matted. Oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. Actually, yeah, the little tops of them make them look like sausages. Forgot about it, just wanna see if it's funny as I remember. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Or, I'll, I'll give it a shot, take a look for it. All right, all right, all right. What an incredible end to that stream, where I guessed the secret recipe, or the, the, the secret menu item. My... Oh god. I'm probably gonna raid somebody who isn't playing this, because everybody else is probably way ahead of me. What should our raid message be? <laughs> I'm terrestrializing over here. I don't think anybody I normally raid is online right now. I'm terrestrializing over here! We're gonna raid... I'll give him a surprise for when he comes back, because he's away right now. Octopimp, who's currently playing Super Mario Galaxy Blind. So give him some of that, tell me his love. Don't spoil the game for him, but I'll see you all back here. Maybe tomorrow to play more of this, because I'm having a great time. See you all then, later!